The clicking echo is in a weird way very satisfying such a it is definitely an echoey place. I don't look too much into the places I uh, stay at when I travel around, but this place is huge. Hopefully I don't annoy the neighbors with, uh, with any of this. There certainly are neighbors. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. I love the idea of this Nancy Drew motif giving TBW flashbacks. He wasn't even part of the marathon. He sold it out to his fellow BR buddy. But it all came out very well because now Brelix streams somewhat regularly and his streams continue on that Nancy Drew quality. So yes, I have landed in Austria. I am in no hurry to return to Sweden. And I figure the best way to celebrate that is by playing the Germanic Nancy Drew game. This is the Captive Curse. Uh, Dr. Neatram ran this during our Nancy Drew Marathon, and fortunately I managed to forget almost everything about it, so I should be able to enjoy playing it through without knowing the solutions to the puzzles myself at all. So, Nancy, what's this one all about? For centuries, a fearsome monster has been stalking Castle Finster. Legend has it that once it is on the prowl, it won't return to the woods until it finds a new victim. A wealthy German investor, Marcus Baum, has called me to Castle Finster to help him scare out the truth in this bizarre and terrifying case. Of course we're senior detective. I don't think a single person went junior defective, and I'll be dead before I'm the first. And so it begins, and the first puzzle is finding that first puzzle, so let's ring the doorbell. Hello? Hello? Open up, please! No, thank you! We already have one! What? What? This is Nancy Drew. Please let me in. This is Lucas. Please let me out! What? What? Is this what you sound like when you say that? What? Can I talk to someone else about coming in? No, but if you can find the match, maybe I'll let you in. All right. Yeah, I think we're all devastated by the lack of Gabriel Knight, myself especially. But this, on the other hand, we should be able to see through no problem. Uh, if there's ever any issue with the stream, do let me know. I do anticipate there being some, so let's try and stay on top of that. At least uh, Nancy Drew runs in a very small window, so I can actually see chat and my own OBS setup. So, let's get to it. This is Nancy Drew, which means we got puzzling to do, and it seems the first thing we need to do is match up the similar ones. Well, probably the frowny versus smiley face, the trousers and the eyes are things to go by. 
So you two look pretty similar. Is there only one match, or are there a bunch of matches? Hmm. See, I don't know because you look a lot like you, don't you? Nope, not right. Okay, well they don't like that. Maybe there's a bunch of them that are the the same. Or maybe I mistook these two as a match somehow. They look pretty similar to me. They look pretty dang similar to me. Ah, but you've got longer sleeves, don't you? Ho ho! What about you though? You've got the longer sand and the shorts going on there. Hmm. Ah, some of them have this wee pouchy thing here. Actually, you're the only one to have the pouchy thing, so you're out. How about you? You look very similar to this guy now. Short sleeves, same color and all that. I got it. Oh, well, that was easier than expected. Okay, I solved it. Nice job. Now for part two of your test. Lucas! You passed, good job. Gotta go. Nancy, sorry about Lucas. I'll have a little talk with him later. Come meet me in my study on the second floor. Second floor. All right, up we go. Is this the wee rat house or something? Ooh. Right, we've got to do the whole Nancy Klepto Drew. These are pretty dull, but they might come in handy. In what context, Nancy Drew, is that something that's going to be handy? Unless we're going to go around shanking these poor people. Well, now that we mention it, no one around here. But ooh, once again, grab everything we find. Musical notes quiz. Okay, great. Hopefully I can keep I can't keep that. Come on, Nancy, where's your where's your sticky fingered instincts? Game back. <laughs> That's just say yelling in German. Right, up we go then. Second floor he said, right? What kind of second? I found here that they actually do the ground first, second, third routine. Just after I'd gotten used to not seeing that. Hi, Ned. Sorry, the reception is a little bad here. So when are you getting in? I've got the perfect romantic getaway planned for the two of us. Took a lot of work to put together, but it's gonna be worth it. Well, there's been a hang-up. Sorry. Of course there has. Does this mean I have to cancel our plans again? Yes, but I promise I'll hurry home as soon as possible. I've heard that one before. I'm sorry I can't be more available, but I'm in the middle of something pretty important here. So what? I'll just hang out at home being bored? Nancy Drew, international sleuth, gets to go out adventuring, while Ned stays at home. Again. I'm sorry you're not having a better time. If you're not having fun, then go out and have fun. You know what? Forget that I even said anything. I can see that I'm not that important to you. So forget it. Fine. Fine. That was... Not great. Poor Ned. He just gets a short end of the stick every single game. Especially in the Iceland game. Oh boy, you can... You can really stick it through his heart there. Right, this place is unnecessarily large. Where is that weird German guy? Is that not a door for us? No, it's not a door for us. This How about must you? be the room that Carl set up for me. Ooh. It's all very fancy. Die Ungerudelichtig Nacht Festival. Celebrate the safety. Oh god, I hope this isn't part of any puzzle. Surely not, so let's ignore it for now. I think we can take photos with our phone, right? What a weird looking phone thing. Right, so if I come out of you, grab you, can I slash should I take a photo of this? Never know when this is going to be handy. Maybe I should have done it with the other piece of tat I found hanging around. Jinx, it's been a long... Wait, what was that? Ooh, there's money for me. I assume. Let's grab all the Dutch marks that we can. Might as well raid the gift shop while we're at it. But later... What else do we have? Oh god, this phone. I remember this phone. That is something I remember from um, from Nitro's run. Give Ned another call, patch things up. Hello, you've 
called Ned's telephone. Please leave a telephone message. And we won't even do that. What else? Oh, we got Frank and Marcus. Frank must be Frank Hardy. Marcus. I don't recall a Marcus. Hi, you've reached Marcus. I'm out. My assistant can be reached at any hour of the day or night. Hi, you've reached Frank Hardy. I am busy. What a shame. No one's to talk to us. I was hoping when Marcus he starts talking, I get flashbacks of Herr Dr. Klingman. Otherwise, doesn't seem to be too much of note here. The difficult part is actually finding the German guy I'm looking for. And yes, I know weird German isn't reducing the number of people or suspects at all. It's funny, I thought he said he'd be up in the second floor. Did I miss something here? Very much unlike uh, Professor Layton, the real puzzle in Nancy Drew games is often just finding the puzzle. Like, I want to go through here, but no, apparently I cannot. It looks like I need to match the glass pattern, but I don't have all of the pieces. Okay, we're not touching this one with an eight-foot barge pole. Look at the complexity involved there. No thanks, especially not when I don't have all the pieces. But when we find them, we will hopefully remember to come back here. What about you? Oh, no, 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 no. Another thing Nancy Drew Games love to have is a bunch of reading that you're never going to use. Never gonna want to use. Otherwise, note to be had here. How about you? It's the chief irons of this game. You must be Nancy, yes? That's right. I'm here to help you take care of the monster sightings. There is certainly no monster, Fraulein, and there have been no monster sightings. Everything is fine. There is no need for alarm. We have a huge monster problem here, literally and also figuratively. The monster is huge, and it is also a huge problem. I need your help. Why are you doing that? Doing what? Talking so loudly. Who is listening in? I am the Burgermeister, Nancy. If I appear to be scared, how will everyone feel? The last thing I need is the castle newspaper picking up on how bad things are. The castle has its own newspaper? Of course. Doesn't yours? I don't really live in a castle. How do you protect yourself from peasant uprisings? It's never really been an issue. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? What? You want details? It's a monster. It is monstrous. Get rid of it, please. And thank you. I like your later, Hosen. Yes, yes. Get it out of your system now, Fraulein. What do you mean? No one likes later, Hosen. Look at these. All of these straps and hooks and what have you. It's like I can't be trusted to keep my shirt on. Do you know how long it takes me to put these on in the morning? Nine minutes! And it's not like they look good! I look like a sad old Pinocchio! Then why do you wear them? It's part of Marcus's barbarianization of the castle. He wants to give tourists a more authentic experience when they come here. It sounds like you're not a fan of that idea. I grew up here. I know authentic. If he wanted authentic, he should have come to me instead of stuffing the castle full of idiotic tourists. Uh, no offense to you and your fanny pack wearing loud talking country people. It sounds like you don't like tourists. We have no business having tourists here. It isn't right. Earlier, you hid some things when I came in. Were they dolls? Fraulein, these are not dolls. Okay, what are those? Items. These are injection molded, professionally crafted, physical, tactical, multi directional place holding avatars. Oh, right. Therefore, a fully immersive, strategic, map inclusive campaign tabletop set I've built. Okay, I know those words, but that is the extent of what I took away from that sentence. You Americans would call it a game. Oh, yes, we would call it that. But that is because in the rest of the world, games are not taken seriously. Here, we take games very seriously. Very
very seriously. That is why German board games are the best in the world. It's so good. Oh, man. Glad we get this out of our system early. I don't think that's true. I don't know what is worse, doubting me or doubting German board games. <laughs> Both of these things are a problem in my opinion. Just so you know, many of the most popular games throughout the world actually were created in Germany. And now I'm working on creating a new game. When it is done, it's going to turn the strategy world on its ear. Which now that I think about it, as an expression, does not make a great deal of sense. Why is that? Because why would it be on its ear? This is preposterous. No, the other thing. Why is this game so... important? You'll have to see. Tell me your play. It's not perfect yet, but it's pretty great so far. At least that is what I think. But you should be sure to tell me what you think. Don't be shy. I can always use constructive criticism. Sure, I'd love to. Great! It's called Raid. The game is very simple. It's just about using the best strategy and, of course, finding the coolest looking character. Ready? I'll play blue if you play the other two colors. Oh, excellent. Oh, bollocks. I think we have to play a lot of this. Well, no pussyfooting around here. Let's go hard. Oh, no, I hate deck builders. Okay, t uh, is he doing something? He just put his blue-eyed white dragon crossways and face down. Okay, spin pawn 65 cards. Boosters are available, random, spin, move the pawn, color determines next action. Red is strength, blue is magic, green, health, orange, wisdom, purple is steel card. Ooh. White is just move forward, black is move back, heart is card, sun... Thing is... lose a card. Okay, I'm not great with card games whatsoever. Uh, any... anything about what the... okay, strength, magic... Okay, makes sense. It's like strength, mana, green for health, other one is wisdom. Those are the stats. So you're on red, which means we're fighting based on strength, which means I'm going to destroy you with the golden hunter. Whoa! How did Ty's result? Oh, I am in a giant empty room, actually, Arnold. That's probably why things are very echoey here. I have little doubt that they are. Right, I got a spin to win. Yeah, I also get two. Which means I also need to challenge you on strength. Wait. Why are they showing these? I figured I'd be choosing a card here. Maybe it's something about when we land on the same tile. Red is challenge using strength. I don't know, but why are there two opponents? Well, it doesn't matter. I never do anything right. Oh, I need to choose who I challenge, I suppose. But why would I be able to choose you? You don't even seem to be in the game. Anyway, we don't have a lot of strength. Actually, I've got three of the same crummy cards. I'm probably going to lose here. Oh, dear. So what happens when I lose this challenge? Ooh. Turn is just lost. Where, where are we finding this third person to to play with, though? Right, you land on blue, and blue is probably a strength test. Well, not a strength test, a magic test, right? It is, and it just so happens I have the magician. Oh, get shrackled. All right, I win. What happens when I win, though? Do I get to go forward? No, it's just you go back. I shouldn't burn good cards on that, then, if I don't care. The Lederhosen is playing both opponent. Well, that doesn't seem even remotely fair. Once again, I have all the same crummy looking cards. Okay, whoa, 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 don't go back. Don't go back. Oh, okay, right. If you ever click back, you come out of the whole game. Can I just flip his table then? Or loot his stuff while we're here? What are you doing? Just poking oh, around. I'm just uh, turned around. 
Nancy, I'm shocked. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just uh, turned around. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just. I don't really uh, understand around. what you mean by turned around here, but sure. Just getting a feel for your office, man. Jake, will you upgrade your internet soon? Uh, I'm not in any sort of permanent dwelling here, so hopefully. Nancy, glad you're here. Big news! The International Board Card and Dice Commission has announced that they will be accepting new games for review. That means I can send Raid in! That's great news. Only... What? I am... I have very bad luck is a simple way of explaining it. Always have. But this doesn't seem bad. Not yet, but you'll see. Nothing good ever just happens, not in my life at least. I'm sorry you don't want to hear any more of my old man problems. I actually need your help. With what? Since you're the best raid player I've met, will you help me Excuse create me? a new character? I know this probably won't work out, but I want it to be perfect. Sure. Oh, excellent. Yes, I just knew you'd help. Maybe with your help, this won't be such a disaster. I'd like you to help me come up with a new character. It is going to be based on the bare-skinned creature from the old tales. Should it be male or female? Female. Thanks. Who's Lucas? Lucas is the castle's other monster. What do you mean? He's the head of security's son, so he's always wandering around, meddling, talking, endlessly talking, chattering away about some inane thing. It never ends with that one. How could someone who knows so little talk so much? The talking is more annoying than all of the pranks. Can you catch me up on what's been happening with these monster sightings? The castle is emptying out. I've never seen people be this nervous. You've got to get to the bottom of this quickly. What has happened with the monster so far? I don't know. I've heard all sorts of things. Magda saw him out in the woods last week. She was out gathering herbs. After a rainstorm, she drops her basket, and when she looked back up, she saw him standing there. She was sure she was going to get it, but the monster just walked away. Where is Magda? Can I talk to her? You can try, but good luck with that. She's bolted her door and she hasn't come out since that night. Come to think of it, you should leave her alone. I just want to ask her a few questions. I know exactly what you want to do, and I'm telling you that you need to leave her alone. See you later. Goodbye. Yes, off it is into you. Need something else? I'll let you go. Bye. See you later, Nancy. Ah, oh, damn, I thought he said offices and... Okay, with that in mind, is there anything we can loot from right in front of him? I'm really liking the spooky music. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Can't get me away from Raid. Oh, that's bad. Look at that mess. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I will. <laughs> Me and a typical Magic the Gathering fan's home. <laughs> Kick everything over. It looks like I'll need to get the trays to their original levels. But what was the original level? Holy smokes, everything here is so small. Ah, but the numbers are somewhat legible. But what's the difference between monster and the other things? Monster, hero, magic. I mean, right, that, that looks fine, right? Mm. Maybe it wants to only consider the number that the color is, so this one's going to count the... Uh, the mana, the strength, and the wisdom, and this one's going to count the mana, health, and health, and this one will be the wisdom, health, and physical power. In that case, 
What kind of number are we even looking for here? Oh, a lot of moving pieces. Um, hmm, okay. Let's imagine that we're looking to make about 30 everywhere. Thankfully, we've got some good Germanic music kicking in. So you'd be 12 and 7, and do we have an 11 to put up there? No, we don't. In that case, I'll give you 12 and an 8 to make it 20. Was that really what I wanted to do? I don't think it was. I don't see anyone with 10 on their other stat. Mm. What if you had 12 and 13 for 25? Do we have anyone with 5 in... You know, it says magic there, and that is very confusing. Maybe there's something to be inferred by the use of odd and even numbers here. If there is, though, it goes beyond me. Based on the lines in the background, they have to be at that respective height. Ooh, yeah, hey, that might be it. But what's the bit we're even looking for to be that? Ooh, right, I can, I can tell that it is working the way I was talking about, because, see, I put down this with a tiny amount of um, health, and it barely weighs it down. But if I put down eight, oh, what a difference it makes. So what needs to level out here? The cards or the bottom of this? Hmm, heavens knows. Maybe, 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 it's just a case of we need to shuffle them a bit until we reach the right part. So you, for example, I want you to be a bit heavier, which means oh, you're already pretty heavy on these two. Or these ones need to be lighter. Or oh, this one needs to be a lot heavier. Mm hmm hmm in that case, that's quite a lot of weight on there. That's quite a lot of weight on there. That's not a lot of weight going there. Hmm. You'd think that'd be a ton, but apparently it's not. This seems to be oh so much heavier. If it's the heavy, if it's so heavy, why don't we just put the heaviest of everything we have here? So that's a 15, and the hero, oh, it's green, so what's our best green? 8, 9, 11. And then our yellow, we've got a 15 here, so that's about as heavy as I can do you. And then you need to be the second heaviest, so what do we have going here? It's about, no, it's not the best, you're the best blue that we've got. You're the best red remaining, apart from you. As for wisdom, well, we got 13 here, we've got 14 here. And then how about you? This one's already up too high if I put in these ones. This one just does not have the weight that I'm looking for. Hmm. Don't know why. I gave it the highest values that I had. Unless it's working out some other way. Maybe there's something that I'm missing here. Strength, magic, health, and wisdom. Distance forward, backwards. Mm hmm. That's weird. This character has something special drawn here. Who does? Oh, they've got that wee key thing. Hmm. How very strange. Maybe there's a type that is monster, and then only monsters can go on to uh, the monster one. Yeah, see, it's saying type here. Monster. Oh, goodness. Placeholder. Oh, hey, that's uh, Nancy's one will be there. <clears throat> okay, so this complicates matters a bit. <clears throat> I actually need to... I'll bring everything down, and then 
sort them out accordingly. Oh, Christ, but the book has the info and the book is down there. And I can't use my phone here, so I actually need to figure out which of these are monsters and which are not, but I can't, can't barely read them. I don't even know what that is. Right. Oh, well, one at a time then. Weird fairy thing is probably a magic thing, right? Weird fairy thing is indeed magician. So let's put fairy on magic. What the heck is that? Okay, something very dark. That's a ferocious wolf. It is a monster. So ferocious wolf to the monster. You, on the other hand, what is the weird half pigeon thing? It's a hero. Okay. Could probably infer guesses on these, but too bad. The donkey is surely a hero. Oh, I don't like making assumptions like these. Right. Donkey is indeed hero. Hunter is magician. And the pirate looking thing is a monster. And that leaves... Let's see. I'm not even sure if you were in the, the batch there. The robber is a monster. And the other thing is a hero. Robert is a monster, you are a hero, which means that weird magician looking guy must be magician, right? Abs positively. Did you get your FTP Sims? No, Sims 4 looks like ass. I'll stick to Sims 3, thanks. Okay, so now I want you to be the heaviest, right? But it's checking for the red number, which is good. Also good. Mm, poor wisdom. Do we have a monster with much better wisdom? We do. We have you. So that's going to weigh you down nicely. Um, do we have any heroes with more green? No, not really. I want you to be a little heavier and you to be a little lighter. Just a teensy tiny little bit. And that should be okay. So let's try swapping the heroes. Eh, okay, let's try swapping the monsters then. Mm. Eh, let's try swapping the magicians. Oh, no, that, that's bad. We don't like doing that. Maybe we can swap both the hero and the monster. Got it. Wait, what's that? It's sheer brilliance, Nancy Drew. You wouldn't recognize it. Nein, du hast kein Underwall. Du musst den Anweisungen verließen. Thanks, Marcus. I have to translate that. All right, let's go and talk to Mr. Leidenhose and see if he understands. Or can we loot more of his... No, 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 no. We're not playing this stupid game. Even though it is German and therefore the best game in the world. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello! Thanks, see you later. Bye, Nancy! I guess he's not interested in this. I don't think you rub items against people, do you? To translate that. No, you, uh... You do not. What did you do to Ned? Hi, Frank. I'm serious. You better hope his brain is under warranty, because you have broken it. Oh no, is he really upset? I've never seen him this upset before. Joe's working overtime to cheer him up. I don't know exactly what's going on, but you might want to give him a call. Ugh, this connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. Let me know what you're up to. Joe and I will keep an eye on Ned. I'll let you go. Bye. Catch you later. Nancy must run up a hell of a phone bill, though. She's always using her American phone way out abroad. I think they even charge you for long distance within America, don't they? I have to translate that. No, we really don't, Nancy. She's been using her phone in uh, Ireland, Iceland. Uh, did she go to Scotland? Mm, I forget. She certainly went to to Britain.
Which hotel is Jake at? I'm not in a hotel right now. Are you on vacation? This is certainly not a vacation, especially not for tax purposes. Alright, Nancy's feeling a bit thirsty, so time she got herself a, uh, a load of water. And Nancy bravely explored the well. Oh well. Just grab ourselves some coins. Uh where where did the coins go? Phone numbers for Marcus, Ned, Frank, and Joe. Observation. Had a fight with Ned. Not good. I'm sure we'll work things out yet because he's such a wet blanket. Owl Castle seems very worried. Called in. Finish off the... Oh, maybe that's... Maybe it goes from bottom to top. Yeah, I think it does. I'm a senior detective. I don't need a task list. Although they went back on that in later games and you do get a task list as a senior detective. It's just nowhere near as uh, as good. I imagine. Wouldn't know. Never been a junior defective. Never will. Oh man, I'm in for a long night here, aren't I? Um, forgot how disorienting it is navigating around in Nancy Drew games. I don't want to leave yet. Right, can I go into any of these places, or can I just annoy people? I'll go away now. <laughs> All right, I should most certainly take a photo of this. Looks musical, and music is far from my forte. So we'll need all the hand-holding we can get when it comes to that. Where was I where I found the phone? Was it up there, or was there another place that I was up at? Actually, I think it was over there, wasn't it? Come on, Drew. As far as I can tell, we don't seem to be having any problems with the... Uh, the stream dropping frames or anything it'll like. So that's good, I was quite worried about that because <laughs> yeah, the internet here is god awful. On the other hand, I did turn the settings down immensely. Certainly not reading that. It's 99% uh, of the time a waste of time. Speaking of wastes, Hi, so are you the one who tried to keep me out of the castle? Probably. I've been known to do things like that. I'm Lucas. I'm Nancy Drew. Hello, Nancy Drew. Do you want to play Monster? Okay, what's that? The best game ever. I just got it. It's really pretty awesome. Let's play a round. We'll play two rounds, and Zavin goes to the farmer with the most live cows remaining at the end. This time, I'll be the farmer, and you will be the monster. As a farmer, I'll place all of my cows on the board. Then you get to choose three cows to become secret monsters. When you're ready, start the round. Ooh, I do actually like games of deception. So, 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 so. You, you, and you. Choose a cow to kill in any pasture connected to one of your monsters. Mm. Oh, but that's going to make it easy for you to find out who my monsters are. If I did... Oh, well, no. If I did you, you wouldn't know, would you? Mm-hmm. Once a cow is dead, you'll need to move any scared cows or monsters in adjoining pastures to a new location. Wait, I have to move them? Okay, doesn't that make it very obvious who the monster... Oh, oh, no, because I'm also moving my monster. Then I'll guess which of my cows is your hidden monster. Once I'm done, it's back to you to make another kill. Be careful, because if no live cows are connected to a live monster, you'll have to skip your turn, and I'll get to guess again. Ooh, I like this. I like this rather a lot. Okay, nice. So, how do we play around with this one a bit more? If I... Ooh, jinx. I need to move my characters around so there are more suspects. So I definitely want to kill you, because there are four suspects. Much lower chance of me being caught. 
and then I'm going to want to migrate you over here. But doesn't that block other movement? Lucas might have mentioned something about that. Or maybe they can go very far away. Ooh. Then I guess correctly. One of your monsters will be killed, and I can either choose to guess again or pass. We'll continue taking turns until either all three monsters or all the cows are dead. What a morbid game. I really like it. I'm trying to think of other games of deception I played that were uh, pretty cool. I definitely don't want to kill a cow that's adjacent to both my monsters. That's double the chance that I will be discovered. You, on the other hand, are going down. Now, if I move you particularly far, it's going to be pretty obvious that you're the monstrous one. But I do want these cows dead. So I'll move you over here. Move you there. Move you there and there. Oh, jeez, I think he's cheating. He is most assuredly cheating. Well, probably. Uh, all right, you need to move. What? The round is over, and we switch roles. You'll be the farmer, and I'll be the monster. The second round is over when either all three monsters or all the cows are dead, making the farmer with the most survivors the winner. Let's play! This kid is definitely cheating. Right, wait, I'm, mon I'm choosing monsters again? I thought I was the farmer. Something wrong with this kid. Something profoundly wrong with this kid. He has the power of beer and lederhosen on his side. You don't stand a chance. I wonder if more would be brought to tears by this game. Alright. Let's just make our Mickey here. Oh, come on! <laughs> he, he has a marked or something. He must do. There's no way he could have known. Okay, good. I do like it when he has to kill his own cows, though. Mm, if I kill you, you are the only possible killer, so I can't be doing that. Actually, my monsters are in a terrible location, but I will slaughter you and go for a one in three. Nice. I'll take the 50-50 on slaughtering you. And then I'll move you really far so it looks ultra suspicious. Ah, they saw through my game. Right, you, there's a million different candidates. Oh, I shouldn't have moved you there. There's no one for you to, to kill. You're, you're just killing your own cows off. Ah, mm. oh, so close. Almost got the suicide. And... Move my cows. Oh, yeah. Now I have to find where that little runt is uh, doing me in. So it's one of one of you, probably you. Do I choose another cow or do I pass? I should pass. Right, you died. Huge number of suspects. Very suspicious that you moved there. Oh. Another huge number of suspects. Only... Oh, they're connected there as well. Hmm. Only two suspects. Never do anything right. You fool. 
first game. Here you go. Should I pick a set? Yes. Oh god, do I have to beat him to get stronger cards to go and defeat Ultra Laden Hosen Man? Oh, I should make my choice carefully then. Sucky magic on these sets. Mm, but we do get the swole looking farmer guy. Hmm, lots of strength to be had here. I can't argue with raw strength. Can I? It's a card for that game that Carl is always playing. They're pretty cool, actually. I have a bunch. I'll give you some, if you can beat me at Monster. I have seldom seen a face I want to punch quite so much. Okay, what about the monster? What do you know about the monster that's been terrorizing the castle? I heard that it's a forest yeti. Hmm, what's that? It's the saddest and most terrible of the monsters. It lives alone in a big cave usually, and it gets so hungry that he thinks he's going to die. But he doesn't want to eat because he has to eat people, and he doesn't like to kill people. So he tries to eat vegetables, but they make him sick. But one day, he can't wait anymore, and he runs into the town, and he grabs up a whole bunch of people and eats them all, and he goes back to his cave. And he's so sad about all of the people he's killed that you can hear him crying and howling for miles. Lucas! Sounds kind of like that. What do you think of all the tourists who come here? They're so boring. Every group says the same thing, no matter when they come. They all make the same stupid jokes, and I always have to pretend to be amused. Why are you always pranking Carl? I tried with everyone else, but they're not good at noticing. Carl is, though. He notices everything and gets all crazy and red when you mess with him. Have you seen all of the cool stuff he has in his office? When I get to use it, I'm going to build a small version of the castle with all the secret passages. Secret passages? I don't know what you're talking about. Where are the secret passages? Where do they go? I can't tell you. They're secrets. Plus, there are a few places here that I'm the only one who knows where they go. Have you seen the monster? I don't know. How can you not know? I saw something. I don't know what it was. Where? Down in the passageways. It was awful. I think you're making this up. Why did you ask me if you didn't want to listen? Are you back to play more monster? Not now. Okay, sure. I think you're the one behind the monster sightings. My lawyer has advised me not to answer that question. You're what? Isn't that what everyone says on all of those TV shows? My lawyer. I need a lawyer. I ain't talking without my lawyer. That's TV, not real life. You're not answering my question. And I ain't gonna do it, see? Not till you get me a real Class A briefcase jockey. That sounded good, right? Aren't you worried about getting in trouble with Carl? Oh, Carl can't catch me. That's just how it is. Carl couldn't catch a cold that was looking for him. He couldn't catch a ball if you glued it to his hand. He couldn't catch an acorn if he was the ground. I can continue if you'd like. Okay, go ahead. He couldn't catch a... a thing if he was a different thing. I really didn't expect you to say yes. Have you always lived here? Yep, the whole time. My dad's the head of security here, so I know pretty much everything there is to know about everyone here. Most of it's boring. But not all of it. What do you mean? I can't tell you I'd get in trouble. But it's bad. My dad says all castles have bloody histories because they're built by greedy men. He says that a lot. What does he say about the history of this castle? I can't tell you. Also, I don't really know. See you later. See ya! Didn't we just finish talking? See you later. See you later! Okay, I was hoping I would get anything to work with there, but no, I just got infuriated. So we gotta move on. Also, Chronomus, nobody said this is a punishment. Because it's not a punishment. Guten Abend, Frau. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Sprechen Sie... Oh, do I speak German? No, sorry. No, no. I am the one to apologize. Carl, the Burgermeister, is supposed to tell me a little bit about each guest, like the language you speak and where you're from. This way I can have everything prepared for your stay. But again, he has not done this correctly. I'm Anya, the Castellan. I'm in charge of guest services. I'm here to help you with anything you need during your stay. Nice to meet you. 
I'm Nancy Drew. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Drew. You sure picked an interesting week to visit. You must have a... what's it? A strong heart. What do you mean? What? You don't know? Then it's nothing. It must be something, or you wouldn't have said anything. The castle's worked up in a panic right now, so I have to warn you that your visit here may not be the world-class experience we aim to provide. But I will do my best to make sure that your visit is a happy and safe time for you. Why is everyone a little spooked right now? Oh, it's... Well, I suppose you'll find out about it anyway. I might as well be the one to fill you in. Mind you, don't get upset. Are you the easily frightened type? No. Good. You'd tell me if you were. There's nothing wrong with being scared. I'm not. Promise. Okay, good. But you do not need to worry about this, I see. How do you say this? There's a monster situation potentially taking shape. A monster situation? Well, that's the buzz around the castle. You need background. We, this castle, has a history. Legend around here says that a monster lives in these woods. Once in a great while, he returns, seeking a victim. People think that time is now. What makes everyone think the monster is coming here now? As long as I've been here, people always pointed out signs of his return. Cows would go missing, flocks of sheep would disappear, claw marks would appear on the trees. Everyone would say, oh, the monster will be here soon! But when he doesn't come, everyone calms down and forgets about the legend until strange things start happening again. Are strange things happening now? Yeah, but, uh, different this time. How so? The signs are the same, but everyone is reacting differently. It's spooky. I heard once that before a tsunami, all of the animals will run to a higher ground. They just... know. That is what it is like this time. We all just know. What can you tell me about the monster? I don't know, Nancy. A lot of the older people here say they've seen it, but none of them will say what it looks like. Why not? Not sure. Maybe they didn't see it. Maybe they did, and they don't want to remember. But everyone will tell you about the strange things that have been going on. Like what? Look, I could get into a lot of trouble for telling you things like this. Can you promise me that you won't tell anyone that I am telling you this stuff? I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. It is. I love this job, Nancy. My job is to make you feel more at home, not to scare you. I'd feel much more comfortable if I had an idea of what was going on here. What's a Castellan? I'm in charge of the overall guest experience here. Carl, who you may have met earlier, is the Burgermeister, sort of like the mayor. Or, I mean, that's what he would really be if he actually did any work. I'm sorry, that wasn't really appropriate. Long day. So, how did you get such a cool job? I get asked that all the time. It's really fun here and pretty competitive. I got my job by working my way up and managing smaller households and attractions in the area. Then one day there was an opening. I turned in my resume and crossed my fingers. You've got some great stuff in here. Is any of it for sale? Of course. This shop is very popular with tourists. Most everything is for sale. You'll find the prices listed. Can you tell me a little about Lucas? Has he been bothering you? Be honest now. A little. Very sorry about that. He's my nephew. His father's the head of security here, so Lucas has pretty much got the run of the place. Although, that goes to his head now and again. Don't let him pester you too much now. And let me know if he's bothering you. Will do. He's got too much energy for sure, and he's a little too smart for his own good, but a good kid still. Do you believe there's a monster on his way here? What do you want me to say, Nancy? I can't answer anything like that at work. Please, I won't tell anyone what you say. <sighs> I do. It's stupid, I know. 
But there is something terrible out there. I can just feel it. We all can. It's taken everything I've got to stay here through this. What do you think of Carl? I think that Carl has been placed on this planet to test my patience. So you two don't get along, I take it. The fact that that man got elected makes me wish we were back in the days when you had to pull a sword out of a stone or a lake or something to assume power. He'd never be able to figure it out. Too many steps. What with the pulling and then the not dropping it and then the remembering to tell people about what happened. Do people around here trust Carl? Apparently enough do. He's still got the job. Has Lucas always been such a prankster? Ugh! Unfortunately, yes. I swear he was trying to trick us before he said his first word. Even as a baby, he had this glint in his eye like he was up to something. It was less cute than you'd imagine, actually. Why does he seem to target Carl? I know. You are thinking I condone it. I don't. Lucas's father is always so busy running security. Honestly, I think that Lucas is a little lonely these days. He doesn't have a lot of friends at school, from what I can tell. He must like the attention. That being said, I think most of these so-called pranks are Carl's doing. What do you mean? The way he blunders through life. It's not surprising that he always thinks he's the victim of some practical joke. He's the victim of a joke, all right, but it's more cosmic than practical. What do the people who live here think about the monster? People have stopped talking about it. Those who can have skipped down. Those of us who really live here... Let's just say you're not going to be finding many open doors on a night like tonight. People are scared. This monster, does anyone know why it's supposed to be here? Legend says he comes from the forest whenever the girl in the necklace walks the castle halls, and he will stop at nothing to steal her away into the woods. Well, then what happens? No one knows, but these girls, they are never seen again. None of them. I'd like to buy some souvenirs, but I'm low on money. Any idea how I could make more? People are always dropping coins around the castle. Oh, and Carl has been offering to pay for people's help on that silly game of his. You mean I played his crappy game and I didn't even get paid for it? Okay, this situation needs rectified. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. Besides, don't I have like 25 coins? Didn't Sell me something. Just talking? See you later. Bye. Want these pig eraser pencils? No? Okay. The cups? No? Anything? That was fast. Did you want something else? See you later. Bye. Hmm. Maybe we have to look around here for the, uh, the tat. Hmm. Come on, Natsy Drew. We'll just trust her to have read that. Seven euros. Yeah, no, I, th I think they're just using this as some kind of stunt to make extra money around here. It's clearly a Scooby-Doo man in a suit kind of affair. I can't seem to buy the clocks, can I? Surely they've got price tags. 49 euros for that, no thanks. Nancy Drew Games actually have built-in achievements, and I would suspect there's one for buying all of the useless tat here. I will probably not be buying any of it, especially if the pig head eraser is not available. Boxing Wolf? Okay, WTF, why would there be an uh? You're the one who has to explain that, not me, Acronymous. I came to see the creep. 21 euros for a t-shirt. Never would I ever. Come to think of it, practically all the t-shirts I have are ones I got for free one way or another, mostly through work. I got three euros for a postcard, holy. Well, what do you expect? I did buy some tourist hat once in a castle. I got myself a giant glass, uh, well, a giant glass from, I think, Castle Mosna in Poland. 
It was a good glass though, no regrets. Ooh, could I get myself some wiener brood? Now this, this is some top tier Germanic industry. Alright, need more. Um, yeah, we got the wiener, but now I need the brood. <laughs> I'm essentially walking Paradox merch. Hey, God, even the t-shirt I'm wearing today is um, my Paradox... Uh, what was it again? It says in the back, but I can't see it right now. Um, the, the cavalry, the Paradox cavalry running club t-shirt. Okay, so are we just keeping those or do we scoff them down? I assume we scoff them down. Sadly, I can't take out the shears and uh, plunge it into the lady here and then steal all of her stuff. That would be a kingdom come deliverance way of dealing with things. Now, oh, oh good lord, he's right there. Hi. I hear you have a reputation as a prankster. If you want to call it that, I guess that you could. But really, they're not just pranks. They're something better. Like what exactly? I don't know, but pranks are stupid. I've got better things planned than just stupid pranks. What do you have planned? You'll see. Something good. The people around here will be talking about it for years. Do you like living here at the castle? Yeah. It seems like a weird place to grow up. I don't know. It's not boring like some places. Did you know that hundreds of years ago, they used to have a gallows here? And you could see it right from my window? When I visit my uncle's place, he just has a grocery store outside of his window. Do your school friends like to visit the castle? No. Really? It seems like a place where all the kids would want to hang out. Yeah, well, they just don't, okay? I don't exactly have a lot of friends. There's nothing wrong with that. Good friends are hard to find. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Well, it's true. Maybe for other people. Hey, Nancy. What can you tell me about Anya? She's the best. She's the most fun person in this castle by a mile. Why is that? She's taught me where all the fun places are in the castle. And she knows a lot of games. And she's good to talk to if you have a problem. I wish she wasn't always so busy. What's she busy doing? I don't know. Probably something with Carl. Why do you say that? They're always fighting. Do you visit Anya in the shop much? Oh, yeah. Want to hear a secret? If you give Renata food, she falls asleep in, like, a second. It's really weird. What is Renata food? Also, I feel like there's some awful undertones going on here, but let's not worry about that. See let's ya. go and find out what that is and force-feed it to her so we can mug the shop. Nancy, what happened? You look very sad. It's my boyfriend. Well, you can always talk to me about it. Us girls have to stick together. Thanks. What's with a glass display? Ah, you noticed. Glass blowing tradition is very strong in the areas around Bavaria. We do quite a bit of glass blowing here ourselves. Normally we have demos, but it's been so hectic here the last few days, we'd have to stop them for the moment. You make glass here, in the castle? Oh, yes. I wish you could see it. Glass is everyday magic. Out of all this power and fire comes something delicate and strange. It's sad how easy it is to forget just how odd and beautiful a simple piece of glass can be. I guess so. It's one of the old things. Renata is always saying, the old things are the best. Do you think she's right? Not really. I'm with you. Glass is nice, don't get me wrong, but I like it even better when it's part of a TV or a light bulb. Can I see the glass shop? Oh, sorry. It's locked until everything settles down. Only Carl and I have keys, but we're both too busy to supervise anyone down there at the moment. Sorry, Nancy. 
I need some boyfriend advice. You came to the right place. I think I need to apologize, but at the same time, he needs to let me live my life. Of course, I want him to be a big part of it, but I don't know how to explain that. Well, luckily, this one's easy. For me, at least, as the advice giver. Tell him exactly what you just told me. That's it? That's it. Talk it through. Relationships are like plants. They grow stronger if you talk to them. Eh, that one works better in German, I think. Thanks. I'll give it a shot. I know it will work. Oh, when I was your age, I had the most wonderful boyfriend. The whole world was always just so perfect when we were together. There's nothing like love to bring order to a scattered world. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. Still not a single off we does in. Okay, this is still feeling like a whole lot of nothing going on, but if I can find that phone, maybe I'd be able to give my boyfriend a bit of a call here. Oh no, don't be net, don't be net, don't be net. Self reception is not appropriate up there. Give me a call back on the landline in your room. My, thank you, thank you for reminding me it's in my room. That's right, we had a, a room that even said for Nancy Drew on it. but I can't get past his voicemail. Well, Joe's been keeping him company. That's good. Ugh, relationships. Tell me about it. It's funny that I'm more comfortable tracking down some dangerous saboteur than I am having one of those relationship talks. <laughs> Same here. Occupational hazard, I guess. So, what's going on in Germany? I'm in a pretty spooky old castle, and the people here are being terrorized by a monster. What's your take on the situation? I'm not so sure. I've got a really strange feeling about this place. Well, if you need anything, give me a call. Will do. I could really use some money. Try seeing if there is anything you can do for the people around the castle. The people here must be scared. I can't get them to answer their doors. Really? You've tried? Yeah. No one wants to talk. They must really be scared of this thing. I need to find my way into the glass studio. Have you asked for a key? Someone must have one. This has not been one of my better days. What's going on? Well, Ned and I aren't getting along, and I'm in a damp castle that has monster problems, and the airline lost my luggage. Oh, that's awful. That officially qualifies as a terrible day. Anything I can say to cheer you up? I don't know. Maybe. Give it a shot. I'm sure you'll solve the case? That helps, I guess. Your luggage is probably somewhere great, like Tahiti, enjoying a nice tropical vacation. With all the traveling you do, it deserves a break. True. Thanks for the effort. No problem. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Actually, the voice actor for Nancy Drew, Rolling Ninja, is uh, like 80 years old or something like that when, uh, when doing these. And they chucked her out for the latest game because she didn't sound young and hip enough, which was a tragic loss because the new VA was nay great. Right, Nickerson. Pull your knickers up, we got talking to do. Ned, I think we need to talk. Nancy, I'm so glad you called. Ned, you know the truth is I'd love to have you here with me instead of all the way at home. I feel the same way, and I know that. I just forget it sometimes. Oh, Ned, you don't need to change. I like you just the way you are. I gave what you said some thought, and I think I'm spending too much time waiting for exciting things to happen to me like they do for you. After we got in a fight, I did a lot of thinking. Me too. And I came to a decision. I may not be an internationally known sleuth, but I'm happy to have one in my life. And maybe it's time for me to be a little more daring. I'm happy to hear that. I'd have you along on my adventures any time. That means a lot. Thanks, Nancy. It's true. Well, maybe one day we'll work together on a case. You might be right. Wait, really? Oh, I'd better start working on my sleuthing. I could use your help with my case. Sure. What's going on? Okay. Long story short. Wait, let me guess. You're in Germany, so you're probably in a castle, 
And if you're in a castle, there's probably some sort of a problem. Exactly. If I had to guess, I'd say a monster and an eccentric German board game expert. You were keeping tabs on me, weren't you? Of course I was. I know you're capable of solving these cases on your own, but I still worry a little bit, especially when you're so far away. Frank kept me up to date on everything that's going on. I'm not surprised. So, what can I expect from the new and improved Ned? Well, I'm not sure. I'm still in the planning stages. I think maybe I need an edgier presentation. Get a motorcycle, maybe. Stay out past 10 p.m.? Return library books at the wrong branch? Oh, no. No, that might not be the solution. Don't forget, I like you just the way you are. Then you'll like new Ned even more. Once I settle on just what that will involve, maybe I could get a hobby. Not a bad idea. It's really strange spending my time with you and Frank and Joe. You guys always have such great stories to tell, it makes me feel like I live a pretty boring life in comparison. You guys are always like, remember when we were chased by that abominable snowman that really turned out to be an international art thief and also a spy? My best anecdote from this last year is the time I accidentally said something horrible in Italian to the waiter at the pasta place. Yeah, what you said was pretty unforgivable. I had no idea. I'm just teasing. It was just a misunderstanding. And anyway, you have great stories about school and football. It's not the same. It'd be nice to stumble across a nice mystery now and again. It doesn't exactly work that way. Maybe, but maybe I've just not been looking hard enough. I'll let you know what I find. See you later. See you soon. I like this idea. What could Ned have pro possibly said to an Italian that was that offensive? And yeah, there is a lot of echo here, because I'm in a large room, but contrary to popular belief, I'm not in someone's basement yet. Marcus here. Hi, it's Nancy. So, what's everything look like at the castle? Have you got everything under control? So far. Great, I'm on my way down. I'm about four hours away, but I'll try to be here if you need me. Thanks again for helping me out. It'd be great to have the whole thing tied up by the time I get in. I'll do my best. That's what I'm expecting. I'm bringing some foreign investors to the castle tomorrow. Big money, big time investors. I, I mean like stupid rich. Like happy birthday, I got to the town in France you wanted rich. I want everything tied up by the neat bow. Sign, seal, delivered stamps, the whole hundred yards. You're like my personal stylist here. You gotta make me look good. Stylist? I'm here to get rid of the monster, right? Nancy, business is built on metaphors, fast talking itself, aggrandizing anecdotes. Like the time the Prime Minister told me that my job was fantastic. Right. I knew you'd be a fast learner. That's my favorite type of learner. Favorite type of car, too. You prove yourself to me in this case, I see big things in your future. Look at me. I started as small like you. Now I've got four houses. Three in Berlin and one somewhere. Told my realtor to surprise me. Really should track it down someday. Also, I own a castle, but you know that. What can you tell me about Anya? Anya's Anya. Always has been. I was surprised to find out she was working at the castle, but that's synchronicity for you. Why were you surprised she was working here? We used to date. You and Anya? Really? Yeah, it was years ago. She didn't mention that. Well, I'm not surprised. The breakup didn't exactly go well. Well, no, no breakup goes well, right? That'd be weird. Anya was pretty upset, and she ended up acting a little strange. Strange how? It's not really... It, it wouldn't be very gentlemanlike to get into what went on. Let's just say she is the reason that I make sure my shoes are tied before I break up. Wait, what happened? Oh, I'm just being dramatic. It was rough. We got through it. When I find out she was working at the castle, it was weird at first, but stranger things have happened. Look, Anya and I have had our problems. But in business... Skill comes first. She's very good at her job, and customers love her. That's good enough for me. What do you think of Carl? Uh, he's not my ideal manager, but he does an adequate job when he's not working on that game of his, that is. You're the one who broke up with Anya? Yes, I'd rather not get into the specifics, but I did end the relationship. Have you tried Carl's game? No, 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 no. I do not play games, but if I did, I would not play them with Carl. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? No, other than that it was a terrible timing, which is rude, by the way. I don't deal with these sort of things. I, I hire people to do it for me. I'm big picture, Nancy, like, like a dinosaur's yearbook. I don't do small print. Why do you insist that everyone dress up? 
The castle isn't a hotel, Nancy. I, I'm not renting out a room. I'm providing an experience. I want our guests to create memories that they'll never forget during their visit here. Like seeing a monster? Are you implying that I'm behind the monster sightings? Well, it's not out of the realm of possibility. It is so far out of the realm of possibility that it has crossed the sea of you are wrong and landed in the realm of ludicrous accusations. But I do admire your thoroughness. Good hustle. <laughs> and we have found the best character in this game. I'm not even sure we get to meet him. Uh, we will, however, phone this guy at every opportunity when we think we have any, any more dialogue with him. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Starting with right now. Nancy, hi. I'll let you go. Bye. Get it done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. He can win me over in just three words. Can we just ignore that? Oh, Jesus. It's the monster. He struck again quickly. Follow me to the courtyard. What happened here? It has gotten past the gates. Uh, this has never happened before. Nancy, this is different now. You better leave. No, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. That is not a smart move. I'm going to tell Marcus that whatever happens to you is no longer my responsibility. I'd better find a way to put out that fire and fast. Okay, well, there is a well, so how about we start with that? And then out. Wait, what? Do I get to carry the what? There we go. The monster did some major damage out here. There's something strange stuck in that door. So what? It smashed a window, two windows even, and set one fire. What a peculiar looking burr. If I can find out where it's from, that could help me track the monster. Okay, maybe somebody around here knows a bit more about burrs than I do, which would be anything. I'll go away now. And hang on, wasn't there someone in here? Hmm, perhaps the monster ate them. Okay. Starting to feel like progress, maybe. One can hope. You know, when Nitro ran this game, it took him between seven and eight hours. I'm hoping I can get it done faster than that, but you never know with these games. I mean, I like to think that Alpha Gamma is fairly confident. Uh, not confident, competent. But uh, a game that took Doctor three hours to run took him uh, longer. Hello. What do you think of Marcus? He's the man who owns the castle. Oh, okay. I don't know him. I think I heard my dad talk about him a few times. I don't think he likes him all that much. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Did you and Marcus date? Yes, but that was a long time ago. Were you too serious? We were. Or at least we thought we were. <laughs> You know how it is. But that's all in the past now. We chat every now and again for work, but that's about it. So Marcus is okay with you working here? He wasn't at first, but he asked around and found out I do a good job. We both decided to be mature about it. See you later. See you later. Okay, I'm, I'm not buying it. There's something more going on. Oh, Christ, get that thing away from me. Right. Really, there's not a lot of characters in this one, which means there's not a lot of suspects. It was one of the reasons that one of the worst Nancy Drew games is the Mystery of the Seven Ships, or whatever that piratey, islandy one was. Because unless you consider uh, George and Bess to be uh, suspects, there was only one suspect. Kind of, 
kind of kills the mystery a bit, doesn't it? Right, oh, Crivens, have I looked around here at all? Oh, evidently not. There was another exit to the... to this place, the gift shop. Oh yeah, sure, the monkeys did it. The monkeys kidnapped Beth. Beth? Bess. Bess Marvin. Have to translate that. <laughs> I think the malice is implicit here, Nancy. Uh, speaking of, we have not saved our game even once. Let's change that just in case we get a horrible crash and lose all our progress. It locked. I mean, imagine playing some kind of detective game. Not saving at all and losing about five hours of progress. There's a whole lot of not much here. Nice looking castle though, but a little too ornate for my likes. My liking, rather. Hang on, I saw something here. I have to translate that. I can't even see it. At Vorsicht Stufen. Probably means watch your step or something like that. But what's at the top of it? I have to translate that. Gefahr. I saw that in some signs uh, around here today, actually. I did a lot of hiking around, but there was also a lot of private property that insisted I wasn't meant to be there, so I was getting mixed messages. Knackered from it all, though. Beware stairs. Not really something you have to be aware of. Right, okay, well, nothing else is working out for us, so we need to go and talk to eccentric board game loving German. Where was he again? Oh, Kriven's another place I haven't been to. Ooh, I need that. I need that for the little box puzzle that we saw earlier. I don't know if we're going to need more, but... Oh, thank goodness the Germans do their newspapers in English. Mark on your calendar, two days until the start of Die Ungerhauerlinket Nacht Festival. We saw that earlier, didn't we? German vocabulary, bitte. The solar system has Die Sonne, Der Komet, Der Mond, Der Planet, Der Stern, Die Erde, Das Sonne System, and Die Astronomie. Hmm. German's actually a language I'm coming to like more and more with every passing day. See, when I was in Sweden, hearing Swedish around me was just so grating, but uh, here in Austria, hearing German around me is actually quite enjoyable. Right, another suspect. Perhaps the most suspicious of them all. Let's steal her stuff. I shouldn't do this right now. Oh, come on, Nancy, it's never stopped you before. I shouldn't do this right now. Nancy Drew, is it? I understand you and I have much in common. I'm not so sure. I don't believe we've met officially. Meet officially? What? With papers and a stamp? What is this? Meet officially? <laughs> Silliness. I am Renate. Officially. And you are Nancy. Officially. Is that official enough for you? Should I invite a third party to witness the exchange, maybe? No, that's all right. What did you mean when you said we have a lot in common? Uh, perhaps I'm wrong about that. You are here for the monster, yes? I hope you die. Yes. This this is not a wise thing to do, especially not for you. What do you mean? Let me tell you what I know. You're here for the monster. Now I tell you something you don't know. This monster, he's here for you. What makes you so sure of that? <laughs> I'm a storyteller, Nancy. I deal in fate and tragedy. And when a young girl suddenly finds herself called to a monster's lair, it is always the first breath of a tragedy. I should know. Leave while you still can, Nancy. I'm not going to do that. I didn't think that you would. You are part of this story now. How well do you know Carl? Him? I know him as well as anyone can, I guess. What do you mean? The way he locks himself up in the castle. He never leaves. He's hiding from the world. Why do you think he's doing that? I don't know. Me either. What are the chances that the reason is a happy one? Probably not great. Right. Do you think the stories are real? I know. I, I think some part of the story is. I do not know. But you, 
You need to live as if it was true. You said I know. What do you know? I'm an old woman who speaks many languages. When I'm tired, sometimes the words do not behave as they should. You're right. You know the expression truth is stranger than fiction? Yes. It is true, especially here. Where are your favorite places to visit? The places with the best food. The people in the north are dull as mud through dirty spectacles, but they make a knockwurst and apple fritter that will take up residence in your soul. Oh, and in the Black Forest they make cakes. Hey, not chocolate worst. cakes with cherries and cream. Oh, what I would give for one right now. There is nothing like having a full belly and taking a nap near a fire. That does sound nice. It is. Sweet food is my one true weakness in this world. It isn't great for the old teeth. It makes me fall fast asleep. But those are small prices to pay. Oh, all this talk has made me hungry. Have you heard much about this monster? Let me tell you a story a friend told me. She stayed here with her family a long time ago when she was a young girl. Back then the woods outside the castle walls were a very dangerous place, especially for a little girl. That's why her father told her she was never going to the woods alone. This little girl? She had a small red scarf that came all the way from India. It had a parade of gold-stitched elephants all walking in a line. She was very proud of it, and how far it had traveled just to belong to her. One day when she was playing in the field, a gust of wind carried the scarf deep into the woods. When the girl's older sister saw her walk into the forest, she tried to stop her, but it was too late. She couldn't catch up. Two girls went out into the woods. One came back. What happened? There were monsters in the woods that night. What kind of monsters? Does it matter what kind? That girl never came home, never saw her family, her friends ever again. Who cares what name, what kind of monster it was? That means nothing. The story about the girls. Who is this friend who told it to you? You wouldn't know her. I'm just curious. Is she your age? Is she from here? Why won't it matter to you? Leave it alone. What did you mean when you said I was part of the story now? <laughs> You'll figure it out. I think you're just trying to scare me. And if I am, is that such a bad thing? You have good reason to be afraid. Afraid of what? <laughs> if you don't know by now, look around, think. It is a dangerous time to not know who you are and who other people think you might be. Why are you here? I'm a traveler, much like you. I see the world, I tell stories. But why are you here now? I do not know yet. If our time together is a comedy, then I was brought here by coincidence. If our time is a tragedy, then it must be fate. What do you think of Anya? You ask me? She should be in charge of this castle. She's smart. She's strong. She actually understands the history of the castle. Why is that important? When I'm here, I try not to tell the stories of what has happened at this castle. Why not? Fate has a cruel habit of digging in its claws when tempted. But I will say this. In the event of disaster, I'd rather have Anya in charge than Karl. Why don't you tell stories about the castle when you're here? This land, this castle, has known more than its fair share of misery. There is a saying from where I'm from. When death goes to take a ride, he follows the road that serves him best. If that's what you believe, why are you here? My affairs are mine alone. And anyway, a good storyteller knows to leave the big reveal for the end. What if I don't want a story? What if I just want to know why you're here? You're very persistent. I was right to like you. Still, my life's work is words. I know them well. When to speak. More importantly, when to stay silent. Would you like some food? Oh, man. <laughs> I thought Nancy had eaten these, but we're actually just carrying them around. Some cold wurst and some cold pretzel. Here you go. Welcome to my world, food! What do you want? Would you like some food? That looks delicious! <laughs> oh, hello, Nancy. I'll let you go. Bye. Goodbye. Right, she likes the sweet stuff, though. Let's go and get her that cake. Then we're gonna steal all of her stuff. Nancy, call me 
me back on the land by. Yes! Yes! Okay, this is what we're here for. Uh, but where's my room again? As I said, it's so easy to lose your bearing here. Or at least I find it very easy to lose my bearings here. However, wasn't it around here that I can go back to the gift and shoppin? Hello. What do you think of Renata? I love her stories. Sometimes when she comes, the two of us stay up until the sun comes up, just chattering away about this and that. You ask me, her reputation is completely undeserved. What reputation? It's... it's difficult to explain exactly. She's... a lot of people say that wherever she goes, bad fortune follows. Do you think that? Not really. But she does always have peculiar timing. Come to think of it, whenever the castle gets to talking about the monster, she's not far behind. Really? Do you think she has something to do with the monster sightings? I'd be surprised. But then again, no, never mind. It's nothing. What? Okay, I shouldn't be telling you this. One time when she was here, and again everyone was all worked up about the monster, and she told the stories that scared everyone who listened half to death. So later that night, when everyone was locked in their houses with the windows shut tight, I caught her snooping around the castle. What was she doing? That's just the thing. I couldn't figure it out. She didn't come back for a long time after that. Actually... That was the last we heard of the monster for a while, too. See you later. Goodbye. Yeah, not here for you. I'm here for the food. You can lose your bearings in a straight corridor, please. Well, actually, I got lost earlier today. So I don't have much of a leg to stand on. That looks like a Black Forest Gatto, which I'm pretty sure she was talking about earlier. Six euros for that doesn't seem too extortionate, but I'm not a cake man, so wouldn't do it myself. I was hiking up some route to get to some castle ruins today, and uh, getting up, I definitely did not take the intended path, and getting down, I couldn't find the intended path, so I went down a rough way, which wasn't easy, especially since I was in full kilt garb was not the way I wanted to go, I'm sure, but let's force feed old granny here. What do you want? Why are you really here? What do you mean? Anya told me you have a habit of showing up whenever there's talk of the monster. Is that true? Trust me, I don't keep track of gossip when I'm traveling. The weather, yes. The gossip, no. From what I hear, it doesn't seem like a coincidence. I'd watch what I said if I was you. Hello, Nancy. Do you have a home, or are you always on the road? Of course I do. Where is it? Here. Here's home. Wherever here may be. It seems like it would be lonely, always traveling. It is. You're always leaving home. But then again, you're always heading home. Do you have a family? I did, a long time ago. What happened? I've lived to be very old. Not everyone is as lucky as I am. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. We had beautiful days while they lasted. Have you ever seen anything as strange as this monster on your travels? No, but I've heard stories. Every place with a history and a dark corner has its own monster to worry about. Why do you think that is? Two possible answers. The world is either full of bored people or extraordinarily shy monsters. Where are you going after this castle? I don't know yet. Wherever I'm needed next. Do you think you're needed here? I must be if I'm here. What do you mean by that? You must learn to relax. Don't pull all of the mystery out of your life. It's no fun that way. Would you like some food? That is just what I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> she, she eats terrifyingly. Right, let us save. And then steal. I need to get to that box without waking Renata up. Why do we think the box is so important? So what do I do? Do I move things such that they don't make a noise? Oh! Oh 
Okay, so I must not make, uh, let anything drop down as I get to that box. Gok! <laughs> it's the heaviest load of snacks we've ever seen. It is considered a compliment to snoop through someone's bag. Oh, okay, no. No, it is not. Okay, so... We gotta put things down such that they don't make any noise at all. Does that include you? This incredibly heavy pen-like thing. Oh ho ho! Oh god, there's a bell. Easy does it now. James, I didn't think there'd be actual gravity physics there. We are the villain of this. We are the villain of most of these stories. There's nothing that uh, the Drew crew cannot attempt to steal. Can I put you here quietly? Okay, good. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, okay. <laughs> this, this is the Nancy Drew experience I was always looking for. So we can't really move you or else it all comes tumbling down, so to speak. What if we somehow prevented the tumble? Easy does it now, Bell. Can I put you here? <laughs> it's a little terrifying the way she turns to us, actually. Starting to really feel how big and dark and quiet and echoey this place I'm staying in is. So what was the problem? Oh. I was just trying to click through. Okay, okay, right. Let's get our super sleuthing going. Sticky finger Drew will have this taken care of. Just quietly, quietly. I bet some weirdos speedrun this game and this becomes a trepidatious point. Moving you there caused a bit of oomph, didn't it? Still need to move somewhere though. Oh, oh, is that working? Putting you down came with a giant thump though, didn't it? stays upright, which is good. Could you just go here? Right. Oh my days! This old bat has bat hearing. Right, wobbly pen, just stay right there. Other wobbly pen. I wonder if I can just straighten out this pen a bit. Oh, God. <laughs> Did Nancy, like, mess up her hands in one of the previous Nancy Drew games and she's actually got them all wrapped up or maybe replaced with giant mechanized claws?
Easy does it now. Just let that shaky pen shake with the other pen. And then maybe we can just move you over there with them. Throw everything against the wall. <laughs> okay, somehow the the bell wasn't the problem. Okay. Can we put you here? If I move this, it's probably all going to go thump, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, crevins. Do we, do we just need to choke out the old bat here. Right, what's the main problem? The main problem is that this big thing needs to move, but you're in the way, so... What I likely need to do is have a lot of space available for these things. Oh, world's heaviest pencil. I'd also like to know why an old bat who complains about her teeth has a couple of bags of crisps on her, but maybe they're for Lucas or Carl or one of the other weirdos around here. You're a problem. If I could just straighten you out, I think you'd be less of a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this how Nitro ends up with a better time than me? Yeah, I haven't really tried moving you, have I? And perhaps I never should, but I have a funny feeling. Huh. Well now. Get a clue, Nancy Drew, just very carefully and quietly. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, what in the world made that start falling over? I think I'm onto something there, if I can just otherwise support those. Oh, oh, not sure we like that, but put you here anyway to try and keep it up whilst we migrate you. And the world's heaviest pencil. And the bell. You are the next big thing, though. Where do I even put you? You want to go here? Okay, that's about to fall over. It's not the only thing about to fall over. That's fine, that's fine, that's very fine. Get you down here. Okay, good. And then you just go... Oh, come on! What? Oh, this old bat. We used to have this day way back. I don't know if it's a Scotland thing or just a local thing, but it was called Help the Aged. And it was just a day that we were meant to... I'm not even sure what we were meant to do. Helping old people in some way. Even if it's like writing letters so that they don't get so bored sitting around doing nothing all day. Well, I'm feeling quite the opposite of what that whole day was about right now. Oh, boy. Maybe it's secretly a rhythm game. You have to do it with our snore. Really? Nah, nah. I think anything that makes noise is going to be waking her up. It's a UK white that would really... Crivens. 
that just ain't right. Tumbling, tumbling down. Hmm. Oh, oh, again with the click through. How long have we been on this for now? It's starting to feel like uh, 15 minutes or more. Oh my. I just want to straighten that thing out. Maybe I could actually keep you there. It's not the world's worst place for things because I can make myself a make myself a bit of a pyramid here of sorts. I don't want that thing falling down here. They seem to not like the noise that makes. But maybe if it just gradually glides down with that. Oh. Ah, damn Goku turned on the two times Earth gravity again. Seriously, that works. But you need to go somewhere. Can I move the pencil back here? This weird thing, whatever it is. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought I was onto something. I was going to make a flat thing to drop this onto. Is that, is that going to be okay? Easy does it now, Pen. Quit your shaking. Quit your shaking. Doesn't want to quit it shaking. Not for love nor money. Okay. Mm, yeah. Hold! It's not holding. It is far from holding. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Stop. Ah. Uh, okay. Now maybe we put the owl over here. Easy does it now, owl. Owl! I think it's okay. I can just leave you be, as long as you have somewhere to go. Oh, oh dear. Oh bother, right. Oh, oh we couldn't hold the line. Granny's bag of noise was too powerful for us. Oh right, yeah, that, that stuff just falls over at a... Falls over at the drop of a hat. Not always though. Maybe this will work. Maybe. There's a lot I don't trust about this. Ah, oh, Christ. My life gets a lot easier when this thing just flattens out. No, no, no. Could, could, we should just clock this old lady. People will assume that it's old age that did her in. Alright, tell you what. This thing is the big problem. We're gonna put it over there. 
No jingling all the way either. That wants to glide down. I don't want it to glide down. Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Turn off her hearing aid. I think she would feel that, just a guess. Oh, I can move you. These things drop without issue. I still think you are a pain in the bum. Um, I don't know much I can do about that, although I have just increased the angle here, which is not going to help anybody, I don't think. Can I put you here? No, I can't. Granny's precious stone was too much for us. Can this even fit down there? What if I store you here, put you there, and then maybe... Ah! Must distribute the lateral force. I still think that was pretty good, though. Good hustle. Oh, oh right, yes, the pen. Is the goal to rearrange her shit? Now, the goal is to steal this box for some reason. Okay, and I can't just grab it and say to hell with the noise. I really think I was onto something. Shove that along. Maybe grab this pen first since it's such a, such a pain in the bum. Not have any jingle jangle. Easy does it, pen. Now, what can we do about the pen? <sighs> oh, jeez. Are you sure there's no otate button? Pretty sure there's no... Oh, man. <laughs> oh. I feel ill done to here. Give me that. <sighs> I need to figure out the color code to open this. Ooh, it's Mastermind. I actually quite like Mastermind. I've forgotten how to play it properly, but uh, let's not worry about that. Two colors, and then, well, two of one color and then two others. Where do we press to, oh, there's our submission button. So one color was correct and in the correct spot. So now we try. Hmm. Could have been one of the blues. We don't know that. How do you how do you how do you work forward with that? You're right, we don't know it, so what if we go with that same pink and well no, it shouldn't be done there because uh we don't know if they're right, but anyway, pink, green and then a couple of reds. Nothing is correct, so one of these blues is correct. We'll find out if it's that one. If it isn't, it'll be this one. Um, we know there's no red, no pink, and no green, so let's go with a triple light blue. Hey, so... We still don't know if this is the correct one in the correct place, though, because it could be that one of these was correct. So what we're going to try and do is light blue here and dark blue there, and then we're going to do a double orange. Oh well now, that is promising, isn't it? One is in the correct place. Could be one of the oranges though. What do we know? So why don't we start making some profound guesses, like... Well, we know it wouldn't be that, otherwise we'd have two in the correct position here. So I'm actually going to say you, 
you, you, and you. The problem is you're dealing with the mastermind master here, so old lady never stood a ghost of a chance to begin with. What's Renata up to? It seems like she's tracking the monster. Yeah, There's no. a dungeon in this castle. I'd better find it. There's nothing remotely difficult about Mastermind. It's just a game that you go through the, the motions for and get it right. The problem is if you don't know the motions. And I used to know them, but have since forgotten them. Of course. So what, we're going to put this back? For? I don't want to play this stupid game again. Get me away. <laughs> Mastermind is probably not a German-made game, so it cannot be one of the best games ever made. How are you holding up there, old lady? Right. We know someone who would know about these things. However, there's a far more pressing concern. There's a hilarious German we want to talk to. Uh, uh, I'd better find something else to wear. I really wish I had my suitcase. Really? Must I? We don't get to see Nancy Drew in the games very often. It would take quite the turn if we got to see her now. Marcus here. Do you believe that the monster could be real? If it is, I know a guy who will pay through the nose for movie rights. That didn't exactly answer my question. Didn't it? What do you know about Renata? Nothing. I is that a person? Yes, she's a traveling storyteller. Oh, okay. I I'll add that to the list of things that you seem to think that I need to know. Thanks, see you later. Call me when it's all finished. D didn't he just call us asking us to phone him? I called Ned. I heard. I'm glad the two of you could work things out. Me too. I didn't doubt that you would. Thanks for being such a good friend. No problem. It's good to see you two back together. Thanks. The people here seem to think that the same monster has been attacking the castle for years, maybe even centuries. Have you ever heard of anything like that before? Interesting. Well, nothing could live that long. Maybe it's a handy scapegoat. A scapegoat? Well, growing up, every time Joe broke something, he'd blame me. I'd do the same to him. Maybe whenever someone does something really awful, they take advantage of this monster story to throw suspicion off of themselves. I've met everyone here. It's a pretty strange bunch. How so? Well, Carl, the leader here, is off in his own world working on elaborate board games. It's Anya who seems to be running things. What's she like? She's certainly no pushover. She's also a little difficult to read. Who else is there? There's Renata. She's a traveling storyteller. Interesting. What's she like? I'm not sure. She can be a little cryptic. There's something she's hiding. Knowing you, you'll get to the bottom of it in no time. Then there's Lucas, security guard's son. Loves causing trouble. Seems obsessed with pulling pranks. Yep, that's pretty common. Really? Oh, yeah. I had a prank phase. So did Joe. What made you stop? Got too busy. I think I still have a notebook full of ideas somewhere. Although most of the ideas involve variations on the bucket of water over a door theme. Gotta love the classics. Who do you think is behind the monster? I don't know. It might not even be any of them. The monster, or something, attacked the castle. Wait, really? Yes, it was pretty creepy. When it left, I found a really weird burr. I think it might be a clue. You should try to find out where the burr comes from. If it's unique enough, it might lead you back to where the monster lives. How's Joe? He's great. He says hi. Oh, also, he wanted me to tell you something. Hang on, I had him write it down because it was too weird to remember. There we go. Dear Nancy Drew. He used your last name for some reason. I am glad you and Ned are back together. You go together like peanut butter and jelly. When you're apart, it's like peanut butter and sadness. Or jelly and uncomfortable silences. 
Either way, you're looking at a sandwich that no one wants, and probably no one will buy it ever. Yep, that sounds like Joe. Tell him I say hi. Oh, you wish that was the end of the note. It goes on. A world where Ned and Nancy are not together as a couple is as disturbing as it is dangerous to the quantum makeup of our interstellar plane of reality. You know what? I'm just going to stop reading there. That's okay. I think I get the picture. It's really sweet that he cares so much. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Hi there. Apparently, Anya and Marcus used to date. Anya and the castle's owner? Yeah. She seemed really reluctant to talk about it. It might be a sensitive subject for her. I think it might be. She seems a little upset still, but I think it's in the past for both of them. Well, if that's the case, I wouldn't worry about it. So, how's your search for a mystery? Not great. So far, I've solved the case of the missing keys, and that's about it. They were in my pocket. Well, I wouldn't be worried. There are mysteries everywhere. If you keep looking, you'll find one. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Oh, yeah. Ned Nickerson's definitely got horrible, crippling depression, but that's okay. He's got a solution to it. He's going to propose to Nancy Drew, and then you get to shoot him down in the Iceland game. Oh, it was great. Oh, the whole Nancy Drew marathon was just fantastic. Right, is Nancy getting a change of clothes or what? I mean, that looks to be a changing wall thing right there. Oh! Oh my. Are we wearing what Anya's wearing? Because that'd be good. This might come in handy. Mm-hmm. Anything more for us to pilfer? In our own room? Seems that's about it. I, I'll check just in case getting dressed was a trigger for Marcus. Hi. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. Calling people on their phones. I'm very much glad that has fallen out of, pa uh, out of fashion these days. Right, let's go. You know, Borum, occasionally I go back just to listen to the Nancy Drew rundown that we did to hear you try and join in, and you just go, Hello! Is anybody there? Ah. Uh, makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Ah, so does money. So let's grab that. That's right, Worm, you make me feel as good as money. Yes, we've seen that, but you, you... Ah, what are you wearing? You look like you're in a cartoon. It's for the festival. It's so puffy. Are you sure you're even in there? Thank you very much, Lucas. You're welcome. What do you know about Renata? She's not so great. My dad says she's lucky that they let her come here. She has a reputation. What kind of reputation? I don't know. She steals or something. No one here trusts her, and she's always trying to boss me around, stopping me from doing anything fun. How so? Does she stop you from bugging Carl? She's just in the way. I don't like her. You must have a reason for not liking her. You ask too many questions! Sounding more like Calvin and... what was the babysitter's name? Rosaline? Right. Surely we had something that we couldn't read, right? Or was it not something we picked up? Maybe it was just something lying around. I have to translate that. Yes, well we have a book for it, don't we, Nancy? I wonder what these orders he's talking about are. No, you don't have a choice. Follow the orders from... Ooh, Marcus. Could it be that Marcus is behind everything? I don't want to believe that. Marcus is a top quala bloke, so no thanks. Otherwise, there were some signs that we wanted to read, right? Hello again, Nancy. Did you leave this costume out for me? No. Someone must have left it out for you for the festival. It looks great on you. Huh. What? Oh, that dress. It just looks really familiar. I wonder where I've seen it before. Auf Wiedersehen. See you later. There's... There's a very unique feeling to when a woman gives a fake compliment, especially to another woman. 
and we just got it there. Poor Nancy. Oh, screw Nancy. Poor Ned. Poor Ned Snickerson. Like now that's a nice touch. Uh, okay. Thought I could open it up and get a Nancy Dies ending. Many of the games have Nancy dying, although not in quite as brutal a format as Laura Bow dying in her games. Now, I saw Baron play one Laura Bow game, I was won over. I do hope to stream Laura Bow games myself. Someday, some way. Right, we haven't seen Mad Later Hosen Man in some time, so let's go and track him down. Trouble is, I keep forgetting where he is. Of course, he won't be here, this is the guest area. He's out. Oh, okay. Um. What are you wearing, Nancy? Change out of that this instant! What's the matter? It's just a costume for the celebration. It was left in my room. Who left that in your room? I don't know. It was just there with a note to put it on. I still don't see what the big deal is. Change out of it now! No, change first. We will talk later. Fair enough, I guess we have nothing to do with the old bag anymore. Ah, yes. I, to translate that. I wanted to translate you as well. Stairs ahead. <laughs> Why have a sign pointing that out? If you can read the sign, you can see the stairs. Germans, man. Will I ever understand them? Will I ever want to? Check out that bench. Ooh, oh, ho, ho, ho. There was nothing to translate in this. Anybody able to hear and understand that? I'm sure somebody can. Go away. Go away. Ooh, okay. It's not very nice. Jinx, how can it be so hard to find my way around here? Let's grab ourselves a pail of water just in case. <laughs> I don't think he was saying that, Nemi Blob. Nancy Drew key, uh, games keep everything very much above board. Another thing to add to my bucket list of things that I got from a bucket. Excuse me. This is the third time we've done this action, and now we get what exactly? It doesn't actually seem to be an item here. Mm. Yeah, what, what was that? Maybe it'll show up in our room as. Uh, some tat we picked up around here. Must be some non-Germanic tourists around here. Right, how do I keep forgetting where the old coot is? Well, I do keep forgetting. No doubt about that. Right, this is my room for sure. I wonder if uh, I wonder if I can change out actually, as the old lassie wants me to. What happened? Who would do something like this? Who would tear up my clothes? Also, Nancy wears a skirt. I better hang on to this. Cornered monster, unable, jumped into the well. Okay, maybe we can fish a girl out of the well as well. Seem to be able to find anything down there. Standard German clubbing attire. Have you ever looked at the game covers, Jake? Uh, don't we have one of them on the screen right now? Oh yeah, thinking about it, the silhouette of Nancy Drew does show her in what appears to be a skirt. This is that old coot. And how do I keep forgetting where he is? 
There's not exactly a huge amount of space around here. Hi. Thanks, see you later. Bye, Nancy. Oh, we should grill the kid. Maybe it was him. What's up? No, no, we don't want to play around a monster. Whew. Why would you leave a bucket of water over my door? I'm only allowed to watch two hours of television a week. I've got a lot of time on my hands. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. <laughs> oh, you're way ahead of the curve with that one, kid. There was one lassie in school way back when who wasn't allowed to watch television at all, and she was really weird. Don't know if the two things are related, but... Change of fact that she was weird. Okay, where the heck is that old guy? How, how am I so lost here? Don't want to leave yet. It's not around there. It's not up the stairs there. Oh, well, a bit more money for me to be had. Okay, how am I not finding this guy? I thought it was just upstairs and through to him. I go through here, it just takes me out to there. Oh yeah, and where was that box again? I feel like there's a whole area that I saw early on and have been unable to find since. No, no, we don't need more food and we certainly don't need you. So things we translate don't stay translated. Interesting. Okay, this is getting slightly ridiculous. Where is that old coot? This is our room, yes. Oh, the music isn't driving me mad at all. Ah, yeah, this is it. Right, how is this so hard to find? Ah, probably because I come through and I blast through there without actually taking a swift turn and going over here. That's it. Okay, right. Now then, I believe we have all the pieces for this puzzle because we found a little colored square to use. Now, the real question, how do we do this? Well... Well, 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 where's the green one? Maybe I don't have all the pieces. I should have a big green square, but I don't. That's definitely a bottom piece right there, but... Either I've magically gone colorblind, or I don't have this shade of green. Maybe she would say something like, oh... Oh, there, <laughs> there is a click to rotate. Good, we have an otate button. Anyway, I probably need another piece for that. And, uh... God knows if we're actually going to be able to find it. Better get my game face on. Nancy, what is going on? Have you seen a burr like this before? Let me see. Hmm. Yes, I've seen something like that out in the woods. Anya mentioned a glass shop. Can you help me find a way in? She did, did she? Fine. You want to look in there? Go ahead, but stay away from the furnace. Why's that? It's a glass furnace. It's deadly. We've had accidents. It is not for fooling around. Be very careful. You could die down there. Thanks. What do you think of Marcus? He does not know what he's doing. He thinks we should all listen to him because he has a briefcase. Any fool can get one of those things and anyway, they are silly. 
What is this, 1986? Not anymore, it isn't. What do you think of Renata? Did you know that Anya wants her to go? I don't understand why. She's such a great storyteller. This isn't the first time she's come here, you know. Although it was before my time, she knows a lot about this place. Anya told me she likes Renata. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Maybe she's trying to impress you by pretending to be far friendlier than she actually is. This thing, what is it? Why does everyone just call it the monster? Honestly, there is not much we know about it. What do you mean? Most of us have only seen the destruction it leaves behind. But it still seems like you would know enough about it to at least give it a name. After all this time? I heard it had a name long, long ago. The villagers, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they knew the monster. They would leave food for him deep in the woods. They were all terrified of him, of course, but so were the wolves. If they kept the monster fed, he would not bother them, and they could raise their livestock in peace. But one night, the monster broke into the castle and kidnapped the Freiherr's only daughter. He was broken-hearted and decreed that the monster be killed on sight. He demanded that the townsfolk no longer leave food in the woods. It was forbidden to speak the monster's name in town. What happened? No one knows. No one even knows how true the story is. It was a long time ago. But there are many stories like it that happened in these walls. I'd like to help you with your character again. All right. Now, what do you think? Brown fur or black fur? Brown. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Why does it have to have fur in the first place? Okay, there was also some stuff I wanted to steal in this guy's room, right? Like this. Nancy, I'm shocked. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just uh, turned around. <laughs> Does that even mean? Right, so there's definitely some rooting around to be done, but only in Burgermaster's absence. Otherwise... We don't have another one of those wee glass plates for the puzzle box, do we? Hiding around here? Evans knows we still need some more things. This game is running in a very small window on my laptop here, so forgive my lack of attention to details. It was, it was running full screen, but it was very important that I keep an eye on chat and OBS because as a, as we were discovering at the start of the stream this internet connection here is rancid and I don't know if that's because that's a thing in Austria or if that's a thing in this area that I'm in or if the owner of this home which I am renting for just a few days is skimping big time on it. Now, Katak asks an important question. Are we puzzling all the way, or are we... I intend to puzzle all the way, but it could go very late into the night, and I don't know how much uh, of a nuisance I'm going to be for the Austrian neighbours here, so if somebody starts yelling at me, I might call it there. But my intention is to finish it up. Maybe I can just be a little quieter. But James, my voice carries in this place. You can probably hear the echo like nobody's business. Why are you still wearing that? My clothes, they're gone. Someone tore them to shreds. This is bad. Who did it? I don't know. I don't even know why anyone would want to do it. Someone thinks it's important that you look the part, it seems. Why do you have such a bad reputation? That's not up to me to decide or care about. Why is that? I have more interesting things to think about than my reputation. And so do you. Are storytellers still in demand? No. Today people want flashy computer games and big budget movies. They want instant gratification. The old stories they traveled from one storyteller to another for millennia. Now they are dying off. Ah, that must be sad for you. No, I know the stories. You do not. It is sad for you. How much longer do you plan on being a storyteller? As long as I've got teeth, false or otherwise. Do you and Carl get along? No. Why is that? I ask you, do we seem like we should get along? He's an officious bureaucrat. He's desperate to control everything. 
You can't trust someone like that. Thanks, see you later. Goodbye, Nancy. That was not a very Germanic answer. It is you that cannot be trusted. I shouldn't do this right now. <laughs> Don't tell me I want to snoop around her stuff again. Uh, no saying that we don't want to knock her out again with some more cake and then have our filthy way with her stuff. I'm going to be bothered by trying to find that piece of glass for ages, though. We got one here. Heavens knows where the other one could be. Maybe I should keep my eyes open for other bits of stained glass. Don't recall seeing any, but that doesn't mean they weren't there. For example, are there any on the stairs? There's more glass to be had over here, but it doesn't look to be bits and bobs for me to steal. And yes, Nancy Drew, it is stealing. It's not snooping or borrowing or anything of the sort. You steal constantly. I haven't been able to use the shears on anything either so far, but maybe I need to go out to the woods and investigate this the burr. This is the lowest room in the castle. I should be able to find the dungeon through here somehow. We also need to try and find a way to roast Nancy Drew. In a, in a literal sense. <laughs> Just take all this off. Oh my god, Nancy. She can't help herself. Good thing her dad's a lawyer. Object redistribution. Ah, of course. Perhaps you should read the sign, Nance. Oh, maybe that's some kind of heat shield thing. This could come in handy. Yep, yep, just grab, 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 Nance. Freaking Nancy Drew. There we go. You don't have to worry about that summer tan. You're not going outside again for a long, long time. There we go. Gotta find those fatal errors after all. Okay, so there'll be something I have to do with this. I just don't exactly know what. Maybe I need to blow some glass? Do I have any items that look like they would be blowing glass around here? Just pick things up without even knowing what they are. You wanna pick up the angle grinder as well? No, but we do want that money. Show me the money. Uh, show me the buckets. I hate snakes. Odd thing for Nancy to hate. Good prank, though. The old snake prank. I bet Lucas is behind this. Oh, it's also got a wee thingy of the monster on it as well. Can we not take this? No, maybe it's a trigger to go and talk to Lucas about his pranking ways. Anything else for our time here? There was money. Where was that money at? Oh, oh don't mind me. Clicking off the game here. As I said before, it's in a tiny, tiny window. There's no power. Mm -hmm. And nothing to really interact with here. You're the power switch. Aha! That's why it's not working. And good old now European plug work. as well. Stick your hand in, Nancy. Better yet, stick your face. Maybe I could make these tools a lot better. I can't sharpen that. I don't need to sharpen that. I can't sharpen that. If we can't find the monster, we will become the monster. Let's go full clock tower on the situation here. Ah, there it is. There's my money. Better question is, how does she hold all this stuff? She doesn't have a handbag and her dress doesn't have any pockets. Yeah, but it's one of those dresses, right? There we go. She can just use nature's pocket. Hi, Nancy. It sounds like these monster stories are all pretty old. 
Maybe that's why we're all so afraid of this thing, whatever it is. It's from that old world, just like this castle is. I don't think we have what it takes to make it in that world anymore. That might be true. I didn't always think so, but... Remember the last time you were somewhere when the power went out? There is that split second before you reach for the flashlight, where it feels like the bottom is dropping out of the room and you just want normal back. And for that second, there is this part of you is so scared that it will never be back. That's what it's like when I hear the monster. I'll let you go. Bye. Goodbye. I'm no stranger to the lights going out, thanks to power cuts. I had plenty of those as a kid. I honestly don't know what she's doing. Oh, Christ. <laughs> come on, come on. We got these sharpened for good reason, right? Come down here. I need your help. Can you go distract Carl? I've got a really great prank idea, but I need him distracted. Can you do it? Sure. You are my favorite new person in the world, Nancy. Come back and let me know when he's distracted. Good shouting the kid. Doesn't even care that he knocked his head. Thanks. See you later. See ya. Three cats in a car is saying, I hate all of this. Don't worry, all of us kind of hated Nancy Drew getting into it, but kind of worms its way inside you, and then before you know it, before you know it, you can't wait for the next bit of Nancy Drew. You want more people to play it. Oh, dang, it resets things, so I don't actually know if I have all the tiles. Can we do a tile count at least? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we should be able to solve this. Unless my counting is way off, which is possible. I was told that Na uh, Nitro spent a wee bit too long on this one. So let's hope that I do not fall prey to that as well. These are all base on the very bottom. Looks like the big orange one is also... Is that orange? It's kind of pinkish. Whatever the case, it's pretty base over there. And so are you. I think you went there. And you are underneath this. And then you look like the one that goes around here. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, you get to go over the pinkish one. You're not over anything else though, so that should suffice. Then we have you on top of it. And then we have you right about here-ish. Something still seems a little wrong about it, but okay, let's just roll with it. You go here, and then you go there. Jesus Crivens, what is this? Puzzles for dummies? I take this with me. Recht, we need to go and distract later hosen man. Hi again. I'd like to give you more help with your character. Now the character needs a special item. Should it be a magic golden ring or a never ending pocket full of gold coins? Come on, old man, who do you think you're talking to? My character should have gold coins. Thanks. Can you help me distract Lucas for a minute by staying at your desk? He wants to set up a prank for you. I will sit here and be your unsuspecting prank victim. And finally, I will be able to catch him in the act. Thanks, see you later. Auf Wiedersehen! So, I guess I'll go and tell him that uh, the moose is loose or whatever code word we want for this. I should check it on Granny here just in case. You never know when people get new dialogue triggers. Nancy, I'll let you go. Bye. Thank goodness. Goodbye. It looks like she's wearing huge amounts of medals on her there. Maybe she got those Germanic mothered many children medals. 
Right, what was this thing anyway? Can I play around with it? Can I use it with anything? Looks like a cipher-ish thing. It's uh, not what I'm looking at. I don't even know what these things I have are. Probably not important then. Hello. Okay, Carl is distracted. All right, I'm off. Wish me luck. And while you're going there, I'm going to steal whatever you own. The middle of this message is in some sort of code. A code, you say? If only I had some kind of cipher-like thing to figure it out. I uh, sure hope this is in English. <laughs> Imagine you cipher it into German and then translate it from there. Such difficulty. Right, does that mean we actually get to, to do it? Oh god, that's not what I want. Not what I want at all. Neither is that, although... Mm, do we ever find out how to get to the dungeon? Come out of the shop. Looks like maybe there's a way through the glass blowing area that gets you down to the dungeon. Maybe I should try that. Hello again, Nancy. Thanks, see you later. See you later. Yeah, that is certainly not what I want. So where's this? Where's the code thing in my inventory? There you are. I bet if I try moving the letters around in the columns, I can figure out what it says. You really think that? Right. This will be something like uh two. Wait. Can I even use the cipher here? No. No. I just have to use common sense. Oh, oh man. Right, to uh, the or to okay, I see it to open the do we have like incinerator? No, the Hmm. To open the something. To open the sr er or orn orc. To open the Son, soin, sock, son, sod. Hmm. Start with the two letter words, but yeah, it probably makes a lot of sense. We can grab the thes and such quite easily, right? There's no the here, but maybe it is eight. No, no it is not. How about... Math, off, eth. One. Not even one. Hmm. Common sense is a weird pronunciation of brute force. <laughs> Nothing brutish about my force. If it's not two, then it's probably the. They'll have a LAN party. Speaking of which, that LAN party at uh, Castle Mosna is going on right now, if often abbreviated is to be believed. With a bit more planning, I probably could have actually gone and crashed the party. This is probably in. In the. Mm -hmm. To open the... We don't have dungeon here, do we? No, it starts with S or I. P H T. Can we go tell? No, no. 
Strange that Nancy looked at this and immediately decided that we, if we sort things out vertically, we can get it done, but that's just that Nancy Drew experience shining through. Ellie, belly, pally. Only penny, penny, henny. Mm. Look at the top of the page. To come visit me, unscramble by swapping letters in each of the vertical columns below. Ooh. Ah, see, there's a clue on the page itself. <laughs> Just would have shown up and said, do you know who I am? <laughs> With the echo, it almost sounds like you're in a cat. It's, it's a pretty huge place here. Good Lord, what a big, probably German word that is there. What about this? Uh, thawed, fed, them, them in the, mm-hmm. How about sell? No? Okay. Hmm. It's not plan? How can this be? Oh, but it is play. Okay. Something. Play them in the... Something of... No. Oh, yeah. Of... Of the... Okay. We've got another the that we can have here. Can't believe this isn't one. Looks like it should be one. Any other easy peasies? Mm-hmm. Something are something something the something something. Play them in this man. This feels like trying to translate Japanese. The something something of the something something, yes, great. To open, what would I want to open though? If it was a U here, I might consider Southern, but nothing else works out there. <laughs> what could all round possibly be? <laughs> okay. Um. Inris are something around the... Can we have guests? No. Can we have playing or looking or trodding or... Fish... Fish... Fishel around? Hmm... <laughs> Probably another R here. And that's probably below. Is there anything that I have very few options left for? Well, yeah, these. Hidden. Actually, the bottom one is probably hidden. Hidden, so the the Glock Glockenstop. Oh, tell me it's not Glockenspiel. Damn it, I said tell me that it's not. Okay. So that means this is probably play the Glockenspiel. To open something, play the Glockenspiel. This one's a bit of a mess. Something are... Can I do inside? No. Can I do hidden? Something are hidden around the castle. Near? Over? Something... well... Something them. 
Now we tried eight before. I think I tried one as well. Play them and then play them in the order of the list. The hidden locative. No. <laughs> okay. Some of it's looking painful now that we see it. locations are listed below. Oh, we got both. And then, and then, and then. Find something. Security. There oh, we go. Got it. Whew. I need to track down these locations and find all of the hidden notes. Thank goodness it was not in German. To open the security booth, play the Glockenspiel. Notes are hidden around the castle. Play them, and then play them in the order of the list. Don't know what list. Hidden locations are listed. Oh, maybe this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just... <laughs> this mean old lassie working in the castle just glaring at us as we figure out a child's puzzle. Hi. Our feet is in. Goodbye. Oh, come now. Marek didn't play the Nancy game. He just let it run for a couple hours whilst complaining that he can't play it. For a man who likes to play his games hardcore, he's very quick to throw in the towel. My poor clothes. Hmm. This appropriation of tartan. Uh, right, we told the brat to bugger off. But now, we should go and see if he's been caught in the act. Hello? So, how did it go with Lucas? I did not catch him in the act. I don't want to talk about it. I'd really like to help with your character. Now you should choose hero or monster. Hero. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Question is, is it made now? Because it was an open spot. No. Oh. Probably something else we get to choose about it later on. I want to be a video game character. <laughs> I suppose I am. I'm in Hearts of Iron 4. And I'm in some uh, EU4 event pictures. Unless I've been torn out of those, that'd be quite funny. <laughs> Just get uh, get retconned out of the game after I leave. Hello, Nancy. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye, Nancy. Mm. No, I didn't get thrown in as a Scottish general, not to my knowledge, at least. We're we going to try and find our way through to the dungeon, though. So we went down here. All right, check these. Maybe the the big hint is that we need to climb through this. That engraving must be one of the letters that Lucas's dad was talking about. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, A. Didn't even know I was looking for that. Ah, jeez. Normally I have a pen and paper to hand with me at all times, but here I do not. So A is the last one. Let's try and remember that. I should work on this then, or else I'm just going to forget. And <clears throat> the castle gate's bell. We have a bell. I guess the implication there is that it's on the castle gate. Oh, well, what was really cool is that some actual artwork was made for it, Marvin. Now, that's that's effort, right? Anyone can just sling in uh, a name, but to get some artwork for it is pretty hardcore. And I think that happened for some other folks as well. 
don't know, it was a long time ago. Anyone spotting a bell around here? Uh, it was the castle gate bell, so surely it stands to reason that it would be at the castle gate? Don't want to leave yet. There's a letter G on the doorbell. There is? I bet it's another one of the notes I need. Oh, Crivens, there it is. So it ends in gah. What's next? The hallway book stand. There was a book stand? There was a hallway? Hallway book stand. What the heck is there this? There must be a specific order to play these in. Too damn good, that's my problem. There we go, grab ourselves some money as well. Hmm, book stand, book stand, book stand. Book stand would have books in it. Don't recall seeing any, but oh Christ, get away from me. Where is the security booth? I can't just tell you that. I don't have time to play games right now. I really need to know where the security booth is. Sorry, can't tell. So, how did the prank go? Pretty good. Not my best. You speak English very well. Did you study it in school? Yeah, but my mom is from America, so I learned it from her. Oh, really? Where is she now? Away on some stupid business trip. Why is it stupid? She's on a job interview. If she gets a job, I'd probably have to move. Would you miss it here? Duh. It's a castle. This is the coolest type of house. I'm sure if you end up moving, you'll grow to love your new home. Everyone says that. But I say castles are awesome. Stop pretending that they're not. I'm not that stupid. Even when they have monsters? Especially when they have monsters. Where would you go if you had to move? I don't know. Somewhere far away. Up north somewhere. I'll let you go. Oh Bye. god, sounds like he has Bye. to go to Sweden. Even this gremlin does not deserve that. Right, hallway bookshelf. Hallway bookshelf. Well, that's not a bookshelf. It's some kind of crockery shelf. Burgermeister had books in his place. These are not books. That must be another of the musical notes I need. Not exactly what I was thinking about when it came to bookshelf. Maybe it wasn't bookshelf, maybe it said something else. Oh, a book stand. Okay, I'll buy it. So it ends in Bega. Florist initial. I don't know. Upstairs portrait of young lady. Upstairs portrait of young lady. You, this perhaps? Must be one of the musical notes I need. Uh, oh, G. Oh, God. <laughs> Just put that on. Okay, so it's G something Baga. There's a florist here. Do we know who the florist is? Maybe somebody else would know. I'll let you go. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. There we go. Finally get our Auf in. My parents don't much like Germans, so I'm really looking forward to speaking to them in German. Oh, they're going to be mortified. That must be one of the hidden notes. Oh, well, oh, thank goodness. It's, okay, I've forgotten the other one, though, but it goes... Um... G... D... G... GD Baga. GD Baga. GD Baga. Are you hoping to beat the sassy detective time? Curiously, what is the sassy detective time? As we've seen from Alpha Gamo, there can be some wildly different times for people that run these games. 
enormously different. Oh, no, I think they like the Austrians even less. Right, uh, now I don't understand musical notes at all. Even, even my own xylophone, I label the C keys, because otherwise I never know what to hit. Um, oh, we can't whap out our phone here? What's the point in taking these photos if I can't actually look at them when the time is right? Ah, oh, jeez. Um... Alright, big one on the far left is C, right? We can work with that. I think. I think. So if that's C, C, D, E, F, G, H, no, no, I think it goes back down to A. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, so this is G. G, D, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. No, that was A. Ah, oh, crumbs. Okay. C, D, E, F. Am I actually getting these notes right? I may or may not. Phone, help me out. Five hour ten min on Sassy Detective? Ooh, that puts a bit of pressure on. Because I'm three hours deep now. Right. Oh, this is, this looks like a homework which was right or wrong. Still though, I think I'm I think I'm right. Right. Okay, let's try it once again. C D E F G D E F Okay, so G D B C D E F G A Okay, obviously not. C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, F. Alright, G, D, B, G, A. Whoa. Musical genius me. Get me working on the RE1 director cut music. Ah. I wonder what this does. Well, we can find out thanks to the wonders of our dictionary. Security I alert. Try that with my phone. Place phone here until the light appears Everyone to receive must alert. Have an area of the castle to secure when the alarm rings. This could come in handy. Okay, so I can force these people to move around. No dial tone. I guess I'll have to use the phone in my room. Place phone here until... All right. It looks like I'll be getting security alerts on my phone now. Technology. My phone's already set up. There's no power. Can I enable the power? Zap up. Am I meant to click on something? Maybe it's not running because there's no power. Looks like I need a key. Oh my, this castle's getting all sorts of futuristic here. Enigma operating procedure, once again, thankfully in English, requires three rotors placed in. Decode, code, special starting, rotor, spin, rotor. Is that the rotor that I picked up here? Maybe it's some kind of key. Looks like I need a key. Okay, well that key don't work. Nancy, shove metal things into the power socket. Looks like I need a key. Damn. Always looking for those, but oh. God, imagine having to work and have that thing staring at you the whole time. Power up sequence. Well, I need the key first, don't I? Where is that key? I bet Carl has the key. Carl? Uh, Lucas. Hard to remember all these heavily Germanic names. 
I should know a German chap called Lucas. He's huge. What's up? I'll let you go. Bye. See ya. Right. Anybody got anything for me then? Start with Lederhosen I Man. Fancy? I'd like to help you with your character again. Excellent. Now your creation needs a name. Should it be the Great Bear or Ursa Major? Ursa Major. Thanks. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy. So much for creation. It's just been 50-50s every time. Are we in the game now? Ugh. Some suspicious looking things around here. Right, so obviously what I want to do is put on high alert to make uh, both of them go away so I can snoop around their offices. Well, the shop and the office. You ever seen somebody working in a wee shop and they say, Oh, I love working here. Anya did. And uh, it's awfully suspicious if you ask me. And again, everyone here is a bit suspicious. Right, what was I trying to do? That's right, distract people. Yeah, then again, I say I love jobs that people would say are god-awful. Alright, let's clear out both of them. Probably gonna get caught at some point, but hey, that's all part of the thrill. Okay, books, no time for books, need some kind of key, <laughs> just put our fingers into the register, okay, just nick everything in the shop while we're at it. Quite nice that these gullible fools never catch on to our menacing plan here. I need a key. Festival planning. Don't know what that's all I about. Have to translate that. Die Unger something something. Well, that's the festival thing, the jigger that we saw earlier, isn't it? Translated anyway, Nance. There we go. Oh, the Monstrosity Night Festival Eve. Otherwise, though, probably another developer picture there. They love to put those into their games. Where was that stuff I was trying to root through before? It wasn't it wasn't here. There was something else that uh, big mean later hosen man would say. Ah, oh, what are you doing? And we'd say, this Oh, we just, just turned like around. Picture in the raid guide. There must be something special about this painting. What a strange place to keep a key. What a convenient place to keep the key. Yoink. Now, for that desk. Right, let's just take everything, starting with this. Oh man, I don't know numbers. We'll leave that be for now. It says Anya. Could it be for the shop? <laughs> it's ours now. Yoink. My dearest Mildred, not a day goes by where I don't find my to skip to the end. Too dangerous for you to know me. Okay, something weird's going on. Hmm, do I have any clue as to what this number could be? Maybe yes, maybe no. After all, there's still something else to check out here. Getting wonderful flashbacks to fan of gaming, trying to root through an office in the Greek game and... <laughs> oh boy. God, the Nancy Drew marathon. Almost too good, really. Key doesn't work here. What about the other key? Nope. It's locked. Nine, nine, nine. Oh, it's just a single number. Nancy Drew games don't tend to allow brute forcing like that. As in, even if the answer were thirty-three, it would say no until I actually find out that it is thirty-three from somewhere. But, that's me making an assumption, you know what they say about assumptions. 
They're usually correct. Do I get these security alerts here now? Can we get a not terrible wallpaper here? Well, at least it's easier on the eyes. There we go, we'll do that for Mord. I know he's at work right now, but I'm sure he'll appreciate it one way or another. By the way, according to Sassy, this is a bottom tier Nancy Drew game underneath Midnight in Salem. There is something bizarrely wrong with Sassy Detective. We disagreed on almost everything when we did the Nancy Drew rundown. Then again, it was just me and... Oh, Crivens, who joined in the, the rundown? Eurysto and fan of gaming and... Crivens, who else joined in? I'm trying to remember who was around for that now. Oh, right, the shop. Let's go. I mean, everyone was around for it, getting in on, on the talking about it. Oh, Christ, you're still Hello. here. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. She looks so unhappy. Probably because she had to run off for an alert that was not real. That's up. Bye. See ya. Was it Heldon? Yeah, well, oh yeah, of course, because Heldon ran Midnight in Salem. And of course, he was the one talking about it. Alright, let's get Anya out of that shop and start stealing her stuff. Still, it was just the uh, the four of us that put those ratings together, whereas when we did the rating for the Rose Tinted Marathon, everybody voted on it. So I guess you could say that uh, there's a bit more authenticity to the ratings for the Rose Tinted than the Nancy Drew Marathon. Well, you could say that. Still not going to budge an inch on the Sassy detective ratings and things. On one of the clocks. Something isn't quite right. Why would Anya print these emails and keep them here? Revenue has dropped. Dramatic action. Ensure the castle reaches its monthly goals. Those employees found to be lacking will be terminated. This is a for-profit community. Remember this? Ah, oh, it sounds like something I'd send out. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, ooh, my. Yet again failed to improve. Dramatic action. Forced to sell. <laughs> my patience at an end. Must break even or turn profit. Think of the tools at your disposal. It's got a history. Not a very pleasant one. Use the lore, the history. Get people through the gates. Do not find a way to bring in more guests. You may soon find a guy. Ooh. I'm starting to think Marcus might be behind all of this if he's the one saying that. It sounds like a not-so-subtle hint about our monster friend. Anyway, let's get out of where Anya notices us. And, yeah, we found this thing that we could apparently use in a clock. Have I looked at any clocks? Weren't there clocks here and I wanted to buy one? Hello, hello? Okay. Maybe one of these cuckoo things is hiding an item inside it that we have to grab. Oh. Rakusa says, I'm off for today. Don't know when you go to Murzeschlag, but I hope you enjoy the train ride. Riding the train in Austria is usually a pleasure. Okay, well this is doing a fat lot of nothing as far as I can tell. Something weird going on with you, but what? Ok, 
Okay. Is there some kind of hint as to what to set the times at? Did I read anything like that? Anya, are you back yet? It'd be very creepy if she was. Hmm. I don't know why I instinctively came back here. I also don't know why I have all these tools from here, but have them we do. Ah, welcome back. Hello again, Nancy. Bye. Bye, Nancy. She so knows what we're up to. It's just a prank. What's up? Bye. See ya. It's doing the rounds with everyone. Sometimes the trigger is behind uh, your spiel with the locales. Jinx. <laughs> getting late. I'm getting pretty hungry and I'm not sure what my food options are going to be tonight. What do you want? Bye. Aside See from me. <laughs> A box of pork scratchings that I bought thinking it was shredded meat. Uh, last person to check out is... Oh, we haven't been back to our room for a while, have we? Maybe we should make some phone calls. Hi there. I'm stuck in this weird dress. Well, I'm sure it looks great. That's sweet, but it's still a little weird. The compliment or the dress? The dress. I love the compliment. Well, I meant it. I wonder what it means. Although it might be good for you to fit in while working on the mystery. You're right. Carl has a bunch of unsent love letters in his office. Interesting. How do they seem? They seem like love letters. I mean, do they sound excited or manic or worried? I guess, if anything, they seem a little sad. It's almost like he's given up on things working out, but can't bear to get rid of the letters. I wonder why that is. Maybe the relationship didn't work out because he's stuck at the castle. Could be. Bye. Bye. Nancy, what's up? I found some strange emails from the castle's owner. He seems pretty worried about money. Not exactly what you'd expect from a person who owns a castle. Really? It seems like a castle would be the definition of a money pit. True, but if you own a castle, you're probably doing okay financially. I wouldn't be so sure. It looks like he's pretty desperate to bring people into the castle. Desperate enough to pull off a dramatic stunt? Maybe, but then why would he hire me to investigate? Good point. Renata seemed really upset when she saw me in this dress. Did she explain why? No. It's an older style, isn't it? Maybe it reminds her of something from her past. I changed into a costume, and when I got back to my room, my clothes were shredded. Shredded? Yeah. That is bad. Someone is definitely trying to send you a message. I know, but what's the message? It seems like this person wants you to stick around, and they want you to be in costume for the festival. And they're trying to scare me. Well, that's a tall order. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Hello. I understand you're having financial problems. Look, I'm very rich. I found an email from you that says otherwise. I'm afraid that I don't know what you're talking about. The email says that things are tough and that the castle's going to have to make changes soon or dramatic action will have to be taken. Not the case. So the castle is doing well financially? All due respect, but I am not going to discuss my financials with you, Nancy. So what exactly is your business? It's simple. I, I take money, shuffle it around, and then BAM! Additional money. That's not very specific. You sound like my financial advisor. Are you planning on selling the castle? No. I found an email that says otherwise. Whatever you think you have found doesn't concern me. What did you mean about using the castle's history to bring customers in? I don't know what you're talking about. It was in an email you wrote. I doubt it. Now, unless you have some big news about the monster, I suggest that you get back to work. Someone put out a traditional costume, but no one will say who. 
Wow, I do not care about that problem. Put it on, have fun. Bye. Bye. Just about every Nancy Do game, no matter how bad they get, has at least one redeeming character for the game. In a certain game, it was Manette. In this game, it's Marcus. God, I Well, I mean, I hate Manette, right? Manette is insufferable. But the suffering that she brought to BRs... Oh, my days. I wish I could put it in a bottle and drink it. It was so good. Yeah, I haven't found any use for this, have I? Unless maybe there's some kind of... Well, I am looking for a number, haven't I? I'm looking for three numbers, even. A number for the... Um, that we punch pad code in... Uh, Doctor Singing and Dancing's office. A number to put the clocks at. And I swear there was something else that needed a number as well, but... I can't remember right now what that was for. Yeah, I mean, Nancy... Nancy doesn't think that her crimes are crimes. She's a monster. Hello? Who are all those letters to? What? Sorry, I just sort of saw them. No one. Why write so many if you're not going to send them? That is none of your business. Is my card ready? Here you are. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Oh, he's just going to give it to us? Must be really enthusiastic about it. We should be able to see our entry here then. Ah, come on. What a layabout. Hi, didn't we just have a conversation? See you later. Bye, Nancy. Oh yeah, I have a little clip, Bell, uh, that is just Minette. Well, it's not even Minette, Minette's assistant saying, you made the tea wrong again. And Nancy says, say no more, but Brelix just goes, ugh. And it's just wonderful. Nancy? Thanks, see you later. Goodbye, Nancy. How German are you feeling right? Oh, more German by the minute. It's so good being here, while being in Sweden is so bad. And I think a big part of that around is that around here, everybody's speaking German. I got people walking up to me in the streets and just immediately talking to me in German, despite me not understanding a word of it. Whereas in Sweden, you're instantly clocked as a foreigner, so people speak English to you. And there's so many people speaking English anyway. Just doesn't even feel like you're in uh, another country. Just ain't right, I'm telling you. Okay, I need to find some kind of clue. Maybe this is a clue. This has a time on it, right? Mm, pretty hard to read. So, probably not relevant. Oh, if I end up moving here, yeah, I don't think I'd have any problem picking up German. I'm not gonna bother unless I am fairly sure I'm gonna be moving here, though. Looks very easy to pick up, though. It's just angry English. Right. Where, oh, where... Looking forward to the point where Jake enforces a German-only policy in Strange Chat just to help him learn. <laughs> if it gets to that point, I might make it a channel reward or something. I'm not a big fan of gimmicks like that. Not on my channel, at least. I, I quite like them when other people do them, but for me, it just doesn't feel doesn't feel right for this place. But yeah, you know, rules need exceptions. Otherwise, they're not rules. Okay, I'm a, I'm a little stumped at this point. I need some numbers, and I don't know hey, where Nancy. they are. I'll let you go. Bye. See ya. Is there anything in the items that I do currently have? Maybe one of the numbers from Ursa Major is used. No, that would make negative sense. So Sweden feels more like the UK, but with more Swedes. <sighs> Not quite right, but there's there's something that just feels off about being in a foreign country and everybody's speaking English. But then I don't like, um, what's the word? Cosmopolitan? Maybe that is the word, maybe it's not, but I'm not a big fan of going somewhere and finding it being cosmopolitan. Didn't I used to be French culture in EU4 a long time ago? I think so. Hmm, wonder if there's something up with the colors and the numbers here. And I still haven't found that dungeon. I should probably go and have a look for that. Mm. 
Okay, I'm gonna try my hand at finding the dungeon then. Hello again, Nancy. See you later. See you later. Well, my only experience is in Stockholm. On the rare occasion that I went outside of Stockholm, uh, I certainly wasn't speaking to Swedes when I was out and about. Right, so we suspect that there's a way to the dungeon here. Well, I suspect there is. Maybe I should uh, cross-check that one. Right, here we are in the gifty shoppy. The map is this one, right? So if you come out of the gift shop, turn left, then right. We're out. We turn left, then right. And huzzah, we're heading down into... Left and right and then down into here. Yeah, down the stairs. But it indicates that we need to take an immediate left. Whereas my only option is to go there. What could it all mean? Maybe when we enter here there's a sudden left we can take? seeing. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Is there a penalty for being slow? I assume it's slower than Nitro, probably. Ego damage, unbearable. Nitro actually played blind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would be a it would be a hard pill to swallow to be slower than Nitro at pretty much any game. That said, though, I'm I'm in the stump zone. I am missing some information. No shortage of tools and things that I've picked up, but how do we bring them all together? Oh, there's that A. Did I know that A was there? Nancy? I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. Taken all precautions, sure. Oh, I'll take some more money if you don't mind. Is it possible that I need to buy something from the shop to somehow get the information that I need? This is very suspicious, isn't it? But it doesn't appear to do anything. Okay, we'll grab ourselves some Cocoa Crunch. Oh, we can buy the pig thing! Oh, my days. Hi, Nancy. Bye. Bye. What do we do with... Hold on, did I miss a clock? Yeah, there's another clock over here, which I did not play around with. Get out of there now! Oh. I should try this when Anya's gone. And Anya doesn't want me playing around with it. Why did I... Did I have this in the way of that other clock before, or did I just somehow blank out the fourth one? I do have a blind spot. Everybody has a blind spot. Hello. Thanks, see you later. See you later. Creepy kid. Right. Time for a little bit of pranking. Clear out Anya. Now, what's your story? If I had to guess... Oh. Okay, no, no, that is weird. Maybe I need to make them all... All go to cuckoo clocking times. Or maybe there's a four-digit password somewhere and I need to put them at, the, at that o'clock. 
I suppose it could be up to an eight digit password, really. Is there something like number of trees? Two trees, two trees, uh, no trees. But there's no zero o'clock, two trees as well. Hmm. Perhaps Anya has something hidden back here. Mayhaps. Mm. Uh, I don't think Jingo was given a hint there, Blobber. He was saying what the current times are at. Nothing here that really indicates a time or a bunch of numbers. Best to be safe! <laughs> ah, there we go. What strange looking necklaces. Okay, Chengs, I just clicked on this by chance. Um, maybe I have to talk to her about the necklaces? Not sure if we'd be able to look at those without Anya being sent away. Anything else weird here? Something about Assassin's Creed? Not seeing any numbers that I'm after, though. If this doesn't work, even after I talk to Anya, I'm going to clear Lederhosen out of his room and see if there was something else that I could grab. Huh? Ooh. I wonder what this says. Maybe the pictures will help me figure out how to crack this code. Sun, Moon, Comet. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm glad we got a lucky break and found these. However, can I use the cipher with it? I don't seem to use a cipher for anything. What is this? Sun, Moon, Comet, something, something. Hmm. Hmm. This wouldn't be so bad if I could actually interact with it in some way, but I cannot. Same goes for this thing. Well, now that we've grabbed some loot, let us vamoose. Oh, she's still not back. <laughs> Should just rob the whole place blind. Right, out we come, back in we go. Hopefully she's back now. Ooh. All right, maybe we need to call off the alert. That little runt must know what I'm up to by now. He knows my game. Oh, more Nancy Drew. I am overjoyed, says Flag. I need to go and watch the VOD right now. Yeah, just don't try and click on the quality options. Ain't no improving this one. Huh, where did she go? Perhaps I am the one being pranked now. I suppose in a way it's admirable how swiftly Nancy Drew will admit to her snooping and stealing. Just all the horrible things she does. Maybe a quick run back to our... Back to our base. Make a few phone calls. One of the more infuriating things is when your progress locked by having to make calls and there's just no indication that that's the case. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Nickerson is not who we're looking for. Hey, Nancy. Thanks. See you later. Catch you later. Marcus here. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye. I really like Marcus. I don't want him to be the the orchestrator behind this, but he's probably looking the most suspicious out of everybody. <laughs> I can't believe we play I paid so much for this. So the Choco Crunch. Yismit, so it's made with 80% 
Weak nor fat? Well, that's not chocolate, so what is weak nor fat? Fat would be fat, right? So... Maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> Made from wiener fat? Oh, it's less fat! Ah. That, that surely would not be an attractive thing to put on a chocolate bar, right? I'm not sure if people buying chocolate bars go, Mmm, man, I really hope this is low fat. Hello. Can you tell me about those necklaces? They're based on the original Freiherr's daughter's favorite necklace. She was wearing it when she went missing. Pretty spooky if you think about it. Not really. Did you know that they say that the monster always looks for the girl wearing the necklace? I imagine they're not too popular right now. Indeed they are not. Come to think of it, it would be a nice show of solidarity if we all wore the necklace. A way of saying, if you come for one of us, monster, you are dealing with all of us. That's been my sales pitch lately. It isn't working. Still, you've got nothing to worry about with these. The real necklace, that's another story. Thanks, see you later. See you later. Dang, I was hoping that would be some form of progress. Didn't we just finish talking? I hope Thanks. so. Thanks, see you later. See you later. Hmm, okay. Hmm, still looking for numbers and things to do with these, but I don't know. We got it set to nine six three three. What we do set it to, I don't know. Hey Nancy, see you later. See you later. It's mentality, Jake. Low fat chocolate must be better for you, even if it's terrible. And people buy diet coke. Yeah, well, leave them to their own devices. Wait, we can open this thing again? I'm not sure I want to. It's the same same setup, so surely I wouldn't get anything from doing it a second time, right? Why would it even give me the option to do it a second time? It makes negative sense. Can't be too careful with the old Drew crew, though. because that's the color purple. Sorry, having a pizzerific moment there. And then... Chew, and then... No, I have messed up. You were meant to be one bit lower than you are, which of course makes everything else pretty wrong. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe you're just the one that needs to move. What have I messed up? What have I messed up? Not oh, what have I messed up? Looks pretty correct to me. The problem is you are meant to be on top of that. Which means you need to be brought up, then you need to be brought up. Then you need to be brought up, and you need to be brought up. Crikey, we breezed through this puzzle last time. What's happening now? Ah, no, you are meant to be on top of the... Maybe you are. I can't actually tell. Christ. Okay, so nothing to be had from doing it a second time, which is all the more baffling why it was even an option. Ah, look at there. 1923. 1923. Glass Hot Shop. Might be worth trying, but then so might 1436. 
1894, right, too many numbers, so it can't be one of those. Game wouldn't be that cruel now, would it? Burgermeister. Nancy, what is going on? Thanks, see you later. Bye, Nancy. Mm, yeah, you're the last thing I can think to to check now. We're going to tell you to clear out, and then I'm going to try to rob you blind a second time. Otherwise, I am out of leads. And then it's going to be a... It's just going to be a random and hopeful... What? How long was that sitting there? Probably the whole game. Okay, but that we can use to power this whole thing up. On we go, go. There must be directions for how to use this somewhere. Do we even need instructions? Can't we just press buttons? Oh, crumbs. Does it have a problem with going uh, overcharged? Or maybe we only have two charges at it. We know there are instructions. Where were they again? Here. Three rotors placed in before use. Decode and code. Select. Ah, okay. So we have a decoder here. It has one thing in it. Let's make sure it Looks has... Looks like it's missing two dials. Well, I have one of them. Did I pick up another one? No, if I had to guess, it's inside one of the clocks. Alright, so we need to find out about that. You, on the other hand... Where's the note on you? Power up. Press any zip-zap button to charge that station. Each charge increases by 25%. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, well, that doesn't help out much. Or maybe it would if I actually paid attention to it, but... I'm just gonna press some buttons. So what, do we want them all full? In which case the lowest ones we'd want to charge up with highest priority. Maybe they need to be at uh, full. Do they all need to be full? Oh, that could be a lot of work. Did I say a lot of work? I meant easy peasy. There must be cameras throughout the castle. Is that Renata? What's she doing there? <gasps> the clocks. I don't know what clock is in German, but das Klocken. Mm, okay, now Renata's looking mighty suspect. Die Ur. <laughs> what? That can't be right. Okay, what did she do with those things? I was hoping I could check these, but never mind. Let's just make Anya go away from her job for a little bit. Get away from the glockenspiel. And let's go and solve this mystery once and for all. Nine, six, three, three. I suspect she placed something in this and I need to make it go cuckoo to grab the goodies. Okay, well that was just one. Might be another one. That was only two. Might be one of the other two. Mm, yeah, there was only three of them. There's still one left to check. Ah, oh, son of a crusty Germanic. Mm. Right, let's go and question her about it. Charge, Nance. Hello, Nancy. What were you doing in the shop? I don't remember being in the shop. But I saw you. I'm sure you did. I'm an old woman. I can't be expected to remember everything. I think you're just hiding behind that to avoid answering my questions. Just wait. Should you live to be an old woman, you'll know what it's like. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye. Back so soon? I'll let you go. Bye. Bye. What, that's all we get? I shouldn't do this right now. 
We need to sock it to the old lady again. Hmm. Alright, I'll give the clocks another... Ch well, actually, should always be talking to people. Does that include on the phone? No, come on, we were just on the phone. I can't spend every waking hour calling people here. Jing's coming up for four hours. Actually, there was a bit of a pre-stream, so I think we're at three and a half. Either way, beating the sassy detective time. Starting to feel like a pipe dream. What's up? Are you worried about the monster? Yeah, I, I think I saw it. I mean, I really did see it. But maybe not. Should I not believe in it? Do you know something about the monster? I don't really believe in monsters. Usually it's just someone pretending. You sound like my aunt. Always telling me that monsters aren't real. Well, she's right. But I can tell even she doesn't believe what she's saying. Monsters aren't real. If monsters aren't real, then why do castles exist? And suits of armor? And swords? It can't all be pretend if the rest of this stuff is here. No, that's not right. You're like all the rest. That's different. You'll understand when you're older. Stop touching that. You're going to break it. I've had it all before. You don't want to admit how things really are. You just want to pretend that everything is fine. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Hitting a bit close to home there, kid. Ooh, no sign of Anya at all. Usually when you're in the end game, a lot of people disappear. I don't feel like I'm in the end game since I have a... A purse full of tools that I have not yet put to work. But still, what in the world was she doing with these clocks? Maybe we don't actually get the goodie out of it until we approach her? I don't want to scroll through all of the 12 hours on every clock, but... Something weird going on here. I'm telling. Oh! Renata must have dropped this. I should figure out what it's for. Thank God for my elven eyes. Okay, clearly this is something we put over another piece of paper to get the right words. Question is, which piece of paper? This one, perhaps? Nah, nowhere near the right. Uh... Ah, hang on. The way we hold it up. Maybe there's something that we should look at. Have we look? Have we seen any walls of text in the game? I feel like we have, but who and where? Not in our room. There was that uh, painting of a lassie somewhere. You have to translate that. No, we don't. But do it anyway. Nope. No. 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 There we go. And then perhaps we can click. Nah. What are some mild German that. curses? Have to translate that. Be taking this opportunity to try and brush up in my journey. So I missed. <laughs> I missed. Monster sighted on castle grounds. This is not a drill. Monster sighted on castle grounds. This message will not repeat. Well, now that is strange, isn't it? Better save in case it uh, discombobulates us. But where is that monster? Since you're in Bavaria, I'd say Krusefix. What? Making no sense there, Chief. Yeah, I'm not sold by this, uh, this alert system. Been surprisingly little to do out here in the courtyard, though. Wash is pretty Austrian as curses go. Ooh, hey, that was one of the pennies from uh, the Haunting Castle Malloy. The Ireland one. 
with that old Irish bastard just glaring you down throughout the game. Oh, it was good. There's someone in the courtyard. It's the monster. I better go see if I can track it. I was just in the courtyard, Nance. <gasps> it's the monster. Well, let's go and say hello. Maybe we can steal the monster. Do remember, Jake, you need to learn Austrian German, not German it German. It hasn't me. I should try to get closer without being seen. I'm actually quite curious on the differences. I wonder if it's to German what Scots is to English. Oh no, I'm trapped! Mm-hmm. Are we sure it's a monster? I've seen people look like that. I've seen people look worse than that. I can't open it. You can now, Nance. Not gonna keep the lock or anything, just just make a mess. It looks like that one lever oh. is blocking the rest. I need to see if I can slide it free. No. No, no, no. Oh, okay, this is the time for those Germanic curse words. I don't like slider puzzles. I really don't like slider puzzles. Oh, but that was incredibly easy. Oh, okay, it was part one. Um, okay. Okay. However you cut it, you need to be over there. But... You need to be up first. Oh boy, I hope there's a reset button at some point. I think we need to do it like so. Get these jub jubs out of the way. To move you over, you need to go up one way or another. I want you out of my way so that you can be there, but I also want more space to move around elsewhere. There we go. Alright, now for the next menacing memorandum. At least the ones with limited movements that can be made feel quite a bit easier. The limitations help out. Mm, or do they? I'm not done yet, am I? This one has to go up there, meaning all this has to get out of my way. Are we winning? I'm not convinced we are. Mm 
Mm. So close, yeah, so yeah, I know, I know, there's just something about the, can I back out, maybe? Reset it all? No. And there's less playing field now, but no, actually it's the same playing field as this thing's getting out of my way. Either way. Oh, we're already there. How did that happen? I felt like I was stuck. Oh, that was too close. Well, this certainly proves it was not my imagination. Oh, we can give chase now. Maybe we can find that burr. Maybe I should save so that we never have to do that puzzle again. Uh, didn't we get a map of this place? Still haven't sussed that part out. Nor the clocks. But that's okay, this is almost certainly progress one way or another. Just run our way through blindly like we're doing that secret of ever more deep forest area. And screw that part. I remember the game fondly, but screw just about every single part of that game that isn't the Roman area. And even then, just the marketplace. Oh, oh, some kind of weird looking rock thing. Oh, I want to check out the weird looking That's rock the thing. the same kind of burr that I found in the storefront. Der puzzle master, please. I prefer to go by Herr Dr. Klingmann. Ow! I'd better find a way to clear a path first. Oh, baby! There's a camp back here. It's really nice feeling in a puzzle game when you come up to an obstacle and you've already taken care of what you need. It looks like this was dropped accidentally. I wonder what it's for. This will definitely come in handy. Are we sure a light will come in handy? I'm struggling to think where it would. Anyway, this seems to be all that we can pilfer. God, must be Nancy Drew's absolute dream, just finding somewhere to pilfer that, uh... Oh, 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 speaking of pilfering, I saw that. There we go. Even though we can just steal what we want, making money is its own reward. I wonder if I was meant to get a map to help me out here rather than just blindly clicking through. Oh, oh, what have we here? Certainly something odd, right? Oh, oh, well, big German castle kind of odd. Recht! Let's get back to it then. Hey, Nancy! I got stuck between the castle gates. Did you have anything to do with that? No, but I did lock you out when you first got here. Remember that? Mm-hmm. It wasn't that long ago. Oh, yeah. See you later. Bye, Nancy! Hi. Someone just trapped me in the gates out front. What? What do you mean? I saw the monster, and suddenly I was trapped between the castle gates. Who knows how to operate them? Everyone. There's really not much to them. But you saw the monster? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Should we warn everybody? No. I'm not even sure it was really a monster. Ah, good thinking. We need to be sure. We need proof before warning everybody. Keep working at it, Nancy. I'm sure you can do it. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Oh, something strange going on here, I tell you. Still don't understand the clocks. I still think I meant to use that We puzzle, uh, not puzzle thing, but the, the piece of paper with the holes on it. But I can't think of where I've seen a big block of text. I'm sure I have, but... But where? Hmm. Well, there was some books, right? Maybe if we use it like so. Third clock from left, 1921. Oh, this must man. be how Renata opened a clock. So I need to try this out freaking myself. good. 1921. Third from the left. 
1921, third from the left. 1921, third from the I keep repeating it because I'm so bad at short-term memory, it's unreal. 1931, third clock from the left. 1931. So third from the left. Ooh. Third from the left. Nancy, what are you doing? Oh right, Christ! Oh, you need to clear off. Oh, now I'm definitely gonna forget it. Thankfully, Doc Spengler put it in chat for us. Here we go. Uh, where's our thingamajigger? Ah, there it is. I just scrolled down. Hold on, how do I even do 1931? I can't do 1931 on one of these. I'm sure there was a 9 though, so let's go to 9. was 1931. Let's just bring it back a couple of hours. Mm. I was doing the right one, right? Third from the left. Wait, was I doing the right one? set at times here. Like, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm sure it was nine somewhere or the other, but... Okay, right. Memory has failed me once again. Let's go and double check. This must be infuriating for people that have no problem memorizing these things. Third clock from the left. Nineteen... Twenty! Oh my days. How did I ever think it was 31? Friggin' raggin' dick dastardly. Right. Okay, good. Anya's still being told to go away. I'll just reset that to make sure she stays out of our hair. Third from the left. 1921 There this we must have been what go. Was hiding. Somebody did this to us. Well, a chronomist put in 1931, probably helped. Helped someone. Right, since we have all of the weird converter dialy things, we can shove them right in. No, that's not the right place to shove it. Here we go. Also, have I made use of this? Oh, but I think I know what I can do with that. But later. Now, let's... Uh, do we even know what we want to do with this thing?
doesn't make sense. How am I meant to know? Right. How am I meant to know which one's which? Of the whole sun moon thing. I don't know, but I did pick up an item that seemed oddly useful here. Maybe not. Look at this thing, I can't even look at it. But I thought it had suns and moons and whatnot on it. Select the special starting letter for each rotor. I'm going to guess it's something like sun for uh, S for sun on the first one. Uh, because S is available, meaning the next one will be M for moon. It's nice that they don't just have all of them here. And that last one is either S for star or C for comet. I'll go with C for comet. And we'll go O, E, F, H, Q, L, D, U, U, N. E C A Damn you non QWERTY users. Looks good, right Nance? L U G E Q S G L B K, J, H, looking good. Wait, seriously, you took it? Uh, I'm not sure she really took it. Wait, why is that on J? Oh, it's all reset here. Hmm. But surely it is S, M, C. Hang on a second, there was something in the newspaper that told us what those are, and why would it be in English anyway? There was a thing where the old bag is. Yes, yes, okay, the almonds are activating now. Right, where was it, where was it? You. Thy son. Ah, Comet was a... Okay, those freaking Germans are at it again. Die Comet. Die Comet, die. Das Sonn, das Moon, and die Comet. I've got you now, right. Oscar. No, oh, see, there we go, get something real here. Um, where was I? Oscar, Echo, Foxtrot, Hotel, Quebec, Lima, Delta, Uniform, Uniform, November, Echo, Charlie, Alpha, Yankee, November, Sierra, X-Ray, Lima, Forget what U is. Uh, Golf. Echo. Quebec. Sierra. Golf. Lima. Victor. Kilo. Juliet. Hotel. Decoded. Nice. I'm impressed with your phonetic alphabet. Yeah, I had to learn it for security work. Carl's Day Planner. Eight two. Six one. Finally, we get the number. Eight two six one. I don't trust anyone to put that in chat, so I might as well put it in myself. Eight two six one. Yeah, you for uniform. How did I forget that? Didn't I actually use you for uniform in the middle of that? I know them all, but I drew a blank on you. Right. If we want to deal with Carl, though, we need to flush Carl out. And so we shall. P 
People trying to bamboozle me. It's an admirable attempt, but I cannot be bamboozled. Right, Burger Man. Let's, uh, wait, that's not the right one. His day planner. Where do we have the other place that we needed a number? Was it in here? Ah, yes, this was it. Eight, how come? Can we do this? Eight must be acht, right? Two is zwei. Six is six. And ein is ein. Let's see what Carl's up to. What a monster Maybe a you are. about how to get into the locked cabinet in here. Mm, better, better whap out that dictionary and hope that Carl's going to leave you be for half an hour. Oh, the Kriven, she works fast. Right, design, West German card game, need to find subject, possible themes, shepherd, cowbell, fairy tale, medieval, knights, Cowbell, cowbell, adjustment. Da -da -da -da. Hmm. That's the fifth color coded entry. I wonder what that means. Right, so I think I need the mana and... The, oh man, I wish I had a pen and paper for this. What's going on here? Oh right, I'm translating and non-translating it, aren't I? Right, let's put this book away before it confuses me further. Right, so... We have five numbers. I don't recall needing five numbers, I recall needing two numbers. Yeah, the phone can take pictures, but they can't use the phone in this uh, in this bit here for some reason. So one is what the sea hairs mana. So do we go and check out the sea hairs mana and punch it in? We can try that. Oh, away we go from here. The sea hair's mana. Mm, here we are. Do we even have a sea hair? Ah, no, the sea hair's mana is five. So, what do I put in zero five as the first one? Maybe five is... Hmm. Honestly, not sure. Let's go and see what can be done with this. Okay, so I do need a bunch of them. Oh my god. Okay, right. The first one is five. This is going to be fun with a capital F-U. Oh, and I need the key each time. Right. Let's get this done and dusted. And hope that Carl does not come back, for he would be very angry. Uh, right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You know, this would go a lot faster if I just typed it in. So, uh... Right, so... Rumpy's... Uh... Int... Is the second one. Nancy, I'm shocked. What are you doing? Okay, so we are on a timer then. If you think about it, things could be much worse. You will have plenty of time to think about it on the plane ride home after Carl kicks you out. Oh, but wouldn't that mean that Carl is awfully suspicious? Also, is he going to notice me if I just... Uh... Look, I just need to look at it a little bit. Don't mind me. To translate that. I'm working on it. So, gold chicken uh, strength, and the fourth one is snow white magic, 
And then the last one is... The donkey's... Donkey's health. Donkey health. And I know the first one is five. Okay, great. There we go. So it doesn't really matter that uh, Carl comes back, because we're not going to be doing anything super sleuthy. We're just going to be very interested in his card game. I'm shocked all the tool assistant looked nitro around it himself. Now that must be tool assisted. Okay, so Rumple Stiltskins. Your Rumple Stiltskin, and that's his intelligence. So wait, thirteen. Okay, so it's going to be uh, five, and then thirteen, and then the gold chicken's strength. be you and it's children not chicken and that is 15 and then Snow White's magic Snow White oh maybe the snowy what no okay Snow White magic looking glass from little Snow White probably that then in which case it's your magic which is 11 5, 13, 15, 11, and then finally the donkey's health. That damn donkey lost me my game, didn't it? The donkey's health is 9. Okay, so is, uh, is the big cheese back now? No, but he'll probably come back pretty swiftly, so we should reactivate the alarm. Thankfully he's just so gullible, falls for it every time. There we go, get out of there, Carl. I am severely running out of time to beat uh, Sassy Detective, and I think I'm really running out of time to get some food. <laughs> I'm pretty hungry now. If you know of a decent place to go out and get food at whatever time of night this is going to be in Baden by Wien, then I'm all ears. Because I'm pretty hungry, and all I have is. Uh, well, I got a little bit of milk, I suppose, but milk isn't food. Right, so 5 first, then 13, and then 15, and then 11, and then 9. Castle cast. I should give them a call. Don't mind me, just pirating these documents. Have to translate that. Must we? Let's go for it. Keep on file. Art skills may be useful for game. Objective. Get any job in a really cool old castle with a monster legend. Okay, so these are probably people that have applied to work here. And I'm quite curious about Anya's have one. To translate that. Don't come back now, Carl. Mm-hmm. Anything of value here? Looks like just somebody that has applied for this uh, position. Anything of note here? I think it's just that we want to call somebody to get some background info on Anya. Da, 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 da. Satisfied, performance, self-motivated, but she left. Mm -hmm. Alright, hold on, what was that on the table? Oh, just a freaking game of whatever it's called. Absolutely not. Mm, where's our phone again? Up here. Alright, let's do the phone call rounds. Nickerson. Hello. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Talk the least to our own boyfriend here. Nancy, what's up? 
I got stuck between the castle gates, and when I was in there, I got a good look at the monster. Really? What did this monster look like? That's the thing. It looked pretty real. I'm not saying that it was, but it was actually a little startling. Did you see anything? Any sort of clue? Well, a piece of fabric was left behind, but that's it. Now, I want to interrupt this with uh, Kino 1989's question. Which Nancy Drew game would you recommend after this? My girlfriend wants to play one. Well, we do have the whole tier list out there, but I highly recommend... Oh Christ, I can't remember its name now. The one with the really cool electrified artwork on the front of it is, uh, is very good. Mm, it's very sciencey though. Depending on her taste, she might hate our tier list and far prefer sasses. And she might be more of the target audience. Thanks, see you deadly later. Deadly device. Yeah, you later. Deadly device is so good. Hello. The monster got past the gates. Really? Really. So that gate salesman wasn't kidding. Well, that's a game changer. So if you could do me a favor and step up your efforts and get rid of the monster on the quick, that would be great. Okay, thanks. You are the greatest. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for castles, reenactments, renaissance cuisine, and realistic sword fighting demonstrations. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy Drew. What solution can I provide for you today? I'm staying at a castle that you're staffing. Can I get a little background information about the employees here? Oh, I'm very sorry. I can't give that information out without proper clearance. Thank you for calling. Well, that was illuminating. Can I try again? solution for jesters, terrified astronomers, pitchforks, torches, and horse uniforms. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Hi, Jordan. It's Nancy Drew again. I'm still looking for background information about some of your employees. Oh, I'm very sorry. I can't give that information out without proper clearance. Thank you for calling. Right, need some clearance. Marcus? Marcus here. I wanted to look up some background information about the employees here. Can you give me clearance with Castle Cast? Sure thing. I'll do the right after we hang up. What is Castle Cast? Staffing people. Why do you use them? I don't have the time or interest to do the interviews here myself. They do it, and I spend their time doing anything but that. You seem to be pretty hands off. Of course, I paid my dues, trust me. So now I do what I want. It's pretty sweet. Who, who taught you how to drive? Was it the stupidest dog on the earth? Because that is what it looks like. I tell you, Nancy, no one has manners these days. Bye. Bye. God, freaking love Marcus. Can we get more of that out of him? Hi. Bye. Call me when it's all finished. calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for jesters, terrified astronomers, pitchforks, torches, and horse uniforms. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'm following up about the castle. Oh, yes. I spoke with your boss. Ask away. What can you tell me about Anya Mittelmeyer? Oh, Anya, she was just the greatest. We all loved her so much. Please tell her that Jordan says hello and that getting the mail will never be the same without her. Getting the mail? Yeah, she delivered the mail. She did a really good job, too. And oh, we all just loved her. So she wasn't a manager? A manager? No. Sorry. Are we talking about the same Anya? Anya Middlemeyer? Yes, that's the one. No, there must be a mistake. 
that's what it says on her resume. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but it's not true. I'm really sorry. Can you tell me anything about Franz? Is he one of ours? Think so. He's head of security. Then he's one of the best. We don't take security lightly. Can you tell me a little bit about your publications? Sure. We have many to choose from. I'm curious about the email guide. We had some problems with email signatures getting a little long a few years back, and that's no laughing matter. So we made a little guide. Did it go to all employees? Sure did. I got two copies myself. It's one of my favorites. Do you think she'd be the type to lie on her resume? Not the Anya I know. Thanks for your help. If you're a staffing place, wouldn't you notice Anya lied on her resume? What position is she in? Castellan. Sorry, that's management. She must have gotten the job internally, probably from whoever is in charge at the castle. Can you tell me a little more about Anya? I can't tell you too much. It would be against policy. Please, it's important. All right. You just seem so darn nice I couldn't say no. Truth is, she was a sweetheart. Everyone liked her. Did she ever do anything strange or dishonest? Nope, she didn't. I'd have given her the full recommendation of this office. But it wouldn't have been enough. Why not? Castellin. That's a pretty great job. A lot of people would want it. Now, I don't approve of how she got that job. But she would not have gotten it any other way, I guess. Do any of the other places you staff have monster problems? Not that I know of. Except... Except what? We've got one place that keeps having these large humanoid holes put into the wall. But we think that's just a group of kids. Really? Do you have any evidence of that? No, but these kids these days... <laughs> am I right? Do you know anything about Castle Finster? Sorry, I'm... Wait. Finster? Castle Finster? Yes. Is that where you're calling from now? Is that where Anya works? Yes and yes. Crazy. So are the stories about the monster true? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I can't believe that's where Anya ended up. Talk about lucky. Why is she lucky? Getting to go to exotic places and work in a castle? That's luck right there. Well, maybe luck isn't the right word. I've never gotten to travel, and believe you me, I would love to get on a jet and just end up halfway around the globe, but that's not how things go. Is there anywhere in particular you'd like to travel? Oh, yes. I'm a history buff, so there are lots of places I'd love to see. The pyramids, the Roman Forum, the Acropolis. Sounds like a lot of fun. It's more than fun. I think it's my duty to see the world. I mean, it's here. It seems like a waste just to stay here and never go celebrate Cinco de Mayo in Mexico or Canada Day in Canada. Maybe one day. Do you ever send emails on behalf of Marcus? Oh, my, no. That would be strictly against company policy. Is that in the pamphlet? If it isn't, it should be. What other pamphlets do you have? We have. So you want to host an office party? Don't. That one's popular. We also have, let's be reasonable about office supplies. I helped write that one. And, well, we have so many. Oh, and my new favorite is, so you decided to pretend to be sick and then posted pictures of yourself having fun online while everyone else is working. It's firm, but fair. Can you tell me about your wizard discount? Oh, I'm sorry, that's been discontinued. Thank you for asking. I'll let you go. Bye. Goodbye. We need a palate cleanser. Marcus here. Did you know that Anya lied on her resume? I didn't. That's embarrassing for her. But look, in this world, you've got to make your own luck. Anya's got a lot of heart, a lot of moxie. That's more important than a good resume. Still, I, I wouldn't expect her to do something like that. What made you get into the castle business? It might seem like a strange thing to do, but trust me, when you can afford to buy a castle, owning a castle suddenly makes so much sense. 
Have you ever had something like this monster happen to you before? Not surprisingly, no. Do you spend much time at the castle? No, I, I thought I was going to live there. Why didn't you? Castles are sort of awful. They're, they're dank. They have dungeons. They're, they're creepy. So you try to bring in tourists? Doesn't make sense. Oh, I disagree. A good vacation ends with you looking at your house and promising it that you'll never leave it again. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I freaking love this character. Oh, definitely a very different flavor to Minette, but does exactly the same thing. Uplifts the experience. <laughs> Except this time he's not torturing BRs. Ah, right. What have we actually gotten out of that? I suppose just cause to go over and bully Anya for a bit. Love games so you can just bully people. Need more of those, not fewer. Hi, Nancy. I call Castlecast. The employment place? Why would you do that? I was curious about the monster sightings. I wanted to see if they knew anything more about it. What would they know? You shouldn't be bothering them anyway. They must be very busy. You mean you don't want me to find out that you lied on your resume? Too late for that. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You lied on your resume. I have proof. Why would you do that? Okay. I did, okay? What was I supposed to do? I wanted this job more than anything. You could have been honest. I was honest. I was honest every day. I worked hard at my job every day. No one noticed how hard I worked. No one cared. I'm sorry. I didn't think it would hurt anyone. I love this job. I love this castle. I knew that this was the place for me. I just got a little carried away. That still doesn't make it right. I know, Nancy. I know it doesn't, but... I knew that no one would ever give me a chance if they thought I was just some poor girl who never went to a fancy school. I don't know. You know, there are people who are born surrounded by opportunity, and they squander it. I think that is worse than what I did. I wanted this job more than anything. It was the only way I could build a secure future for myself. Please, I'm begging you, please don't tell. If I don't, you need to. I'll be checking. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I will. As soon as I can, I promise. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. Lady, you work in a gift shop. We, we need a bit of perspective here. Criven's a castle gift shop, no less. I've been in castle gift shops. Actually, my mum worked in one for a while. Criven's some, some grim stuff there. It's funny, the, the delivery of her uh, breakdown there. I've actually been in a meeting with a lassie who, maybe not word for word, but action for action did the same thing, actually. Burst into tears midway. Hello, Nancy. Has anyone tried to fight the monster? Grim. What do you mean? Seems like some of these girls could have used some help. Aren't there usually knights in shining armor in old castle stories? Yes. There were as many knights in shining armor back then. In fact, there are many around today. Do you know what that really means, knight in shining armor? A hero who saves the day. No. A knight in shining armor never did nothing for nobody. He never fought. A knight in dented, scraped armor. Now that's what you want. You want a knight in shining armor? Go see Karl. Anyway, what's with this light talk? You hardly seem like the damsel in distress type. True. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. How did you become a storyteller? Nah, it's a long story. What? Nothing? That was a joke! Always Americans, you have to tell them you are making a joke. Come now, we do it again. What? Ask again. Okay, how did you become a storyteller? Uh, it's a long story. I say this jokingly. <laughs> I get it, but I'm still curious. All right, a pity, love. That's enough. I can move on. It was bad times. Between the wars, I was out with my father and my sister. We had been traveling for a long time, very long. My sister, she was very sick with a fever, and it was raining. She needed a warm fire very badly. My father and I knew this. 
Finally, we see a fire in the distance and a group of men. Like I said, it was bad times. Everyone was very scared and very used to fighting, sometimes killing, to get by. I could see my father was afraid. He said, follow me. If they do not laugh, you must run. I followed him. We got to the fire. The men, they grabbed their guns. I thought, this is the end. My father looked at them and he said, gentlemen, you smell bad. You're ugly and your mother's dress, you funny. What? I know, I know. Dead silence. Then, suddenly the biggest one with a scar like this. He starts to laugh. Then they all do. Next thing, we are by the fire. My father, he tells stories all through the night. My sister, she's okay. In the morning, we leave as friends. And I knew, I just knew I wanted to be like him. See you later. See you later. I, I don't think I got the accompanying paperwork to understand this humor. We'll leave her be to her own devices. I like how everyone else is also just leaving crazy old woman in the abandoned room right in the corner there. Credit where it's due though, this castle is kept real clean. Castles and other large buildings are an absolute pain in the bum to maintain, but someone is putting a lot of effort into this one. Someone with a lot of money. And you know, when you have enough money to afford a castle, owning one makes so much more sense. Uh, I suppose the person we should really be checking in on is so oh. I wonder what Lucas is doing with these. What in the world is this? Oh, they're, they're leg extenders. You put your foot in here and then da -da 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 -da, down you go. I've seen plenty of people wondering. Still, that's the word, leg extenders. Jeez. I've, I've been in Germany too long, right? My, my vocabulary is falling Hi. apart. I'll let you go. Bye. See ya. Oh, it wasn't you? I figured it would have been uh, Lucas playing around with those. Maybe it was Carl. Thinking about it, maybe maybe Nancy said Carl when she picked them up. Anyway, Hi, confrontation. Nancy. It looks like the monster had a target in mind when he attacked the courtyard. Do you think he's going after someone in particular? No, I do not think that is the case. I wish it was, though. Why is that? Then we would know what to expect. See you later. Goodbye! Hmm, I'm feeling a little bit denied when it comes to options here. Oh no! Monster breached castle security. Monster currently in castle. This is not a drill. This message will not repeat. I think this would be actually pretty cool, staying in a castle with an actual monster going around. Oh man. Uh, that would be my idea of fun right there. So we're we gonna run into it. Well, no, what we should probably do is get over to security. <laughs> okay, Anya's already abandoned ship. What about the wee kid? Is he... Oh, he's normally here, right? So everybody everybody just goes away when there is the alert. We know better, though. The monster again. Right, the monster is going down into the... Uh, the fire area. So, obviously... Ooh, I can switch. I God, how did I not know this? I've never seen that room before. I wonder where it is. Dungeon one. And courtyards and whatnot. Okay, very cool. Right, we should give chase, right? Come on, Nancy. Best foot forward. I need to take the quickest route to the glass shop. Never mention how painful it is to move around in Nancy Drew games at times. Hmm. No sign of the monster. Almost no evidence the monster was ever here. So where did the monster go? I need to see what the monster was up to in here. Mm -hmm. Probably not sharpening its claws. Hang on, this wasn't couched over before. Have a really odd shape. 
They seem to be heading back to the hall. Almost as if somebody is using those leg extenders in them. Right, back to the hall. I should follow where those prints lead. <clears throat> Whoa! You runt. It's you. What are you doing? Uh, nothing? Okay, you got me. But this is the first time I've done this, I swear. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's for personal problem. use, right? What's that? What's that? Ah! Shh. What is that? See, it wasn't... See, it wasn't me. Also, you have to admit, my costume looked pretty. Oh, dang, it just looked at us! Lucas, quiet! I need to see which way he's going. I'm out of here. Alright, cowardly kid. It's okay, I can relate. Looked like it was heading over here. Have you seen it? Nancy. See you later. See you later. She is just so not fashed. She's done with life. Yeah, life should be done with her. Right, did it pop out over here? Maybe I can check in the security room. Oh, what's this? I wonder what she wants in the forest. Looks like Anya running away, actually. Well, she's certainly not at the shop. <laughs> Camera put up in the perfect position to be ogling Anya all day, all night. <laughs> and the same story for the Burgermeister. He's playing around with his toys. <laughs> This is actually how I imagine Nitro spends his spare time. Okay, right. Let us give chase. Also, uh, Nancy is doing this whole thing running around whilst wearing... I don't even know what the term for it is. Is it still Lederhosen when it's the ladies wearing it? Surely there'd be a far more flattering name for it. And again, the, the Swedish national dress is far from flattering. Don't know what the Austrian national dress is, though. Surely you have something. Maybe their dress is just to have themselves bathed in sarsen blood. Okay, I thought I might get something coming around here. But maybe what I really have to do is confront Anya at the shop. How dare she walk around where she works. Traditional ladies wear is called the Durndal. So is that what Anya and Nancy are wearing? I'll admit, it looks pretty good. I'm not much of a clothes enthusiast, nor a traditional clothes enthusiast, although I do wear a kilt a lot. It's a special case, you have to understand. My mother would have my guts for garters if I was wearing someone else's kilt. And I don't think that was any joke. Oh, Jesus, ain't the first Nancy Drew game where you can just get lost in forest like this, but... It's the first one I'm playing that has a situation like this that I think of. No, Monkey Island! I swear Monkey Island has some real getting lost moments to it. Depends on the region, and yes, not a clothes enthusiast deity or nudist. Don't get me started on that. Right, Crivens, where am I go? Oh, I think that was it. Yeah, around here and then out we go. We couldn't find her, but let's go and chase her down. Unless you know a thing or two. For not getting me in trouble. For that, I'm gonna help you track down that monster. No, you don't need to do that. I'm on it. Hello. Your monster costume was actually pretty good. It was? Thanks, Nancy. I spent a forever on it. As a rule, I don't condone dressing up as a monster and scaring people, but it looked good nonetheless. All I did was think of what would scare me if I saw it when I was alone at night. And then I tried to make it. What made you dress up as the monster? I don't know. 
It just made a lot of sense, and then I did it. Truth is, I'm sort of a monster expert. A monster expert? Yes. I have seen all of the monster movies, and I know all of the monster rules. Silver bullets, stakes, water, sunlight. You need to fight a monster. I'm your guy. Any clue what I could use against the castle's real monster? Oh, I guess I didn't think about that. He's probably invincible. I think I'm probably fine since I'm small, and he's probably pretty hungry. Got any more advice on catching a monster? Yeah, but it's a secret. The best way to catch a monster is to think like a monster. Do you know how to do that? Sure. You do? You're supposed to say no. It's kind of creepy that you said yes. But that works. I guess you know what you need to do then. Isn't it a bit late for you to be up? Shh. I've got a good thing going. Don't ruin it for me. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Whose kid is this anyway? Because he, he kind of acts like Marcus. I'd buy that he's Marcus's kid. <laughs> yeah, we need the shot and Jaeger on point here. Damn that Gabriel Knight game. Why did it have to be so good and then just so awful? Hi, Nancy. I just found Lucas dressed up as the monster. What? Really? Oh, that kid is in for it now. <laughs> How does costume look? See, I knew all this was nonsense. You know, I've got to give him credit. He had us all pretty worried. Oh, he is in so much trouble. I ask you, what is the appropriate punishment for something like this? Wait. When I caught Lucas, the two of us saw the monster. What do you mean? Are you sure? Positive. So this creature is wandering around now? And of course, Carl is doing nothing about it, as per usual. How many times did he tell me he was sending out patrols? I've got it all under control. There is nothing to worry about. Blah! So incompetent. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. Baron is saying this outrageous slander and that Gabriel Knight was excellent all the way through. Well, I'll have to trust you. You've played it more times than I have. You've played it one and a half times. I've played it one half time. I don't like ditching games that I'm not done with, but man, seldom have I been... Seldom has a game done such a 180 on quality. Hi, Nancy. It would be like playing uh, Starship Space Breaker. No, um, Hard Space Ship Breaker. Uh, you're playing it around, around, along, and then suddenly, bang, the story hits you, and then you go, oh no. I actually have to drop uh, Space Breaker, because it's just... Holy moly, it's bad. I mean, good game, but, oh, it's bad. Why would Anya be going out into the woods? What do you mean? I saw her go into the forest. It looked like she really didn't want anyone following her. She should not be doing that. She knows not to be doing that now. I'm sure she had a reason. It does not matter. I will have to talk with her. I have big news. What? I just caught Lucas dressed up as a monster. I knew it. I knew it was him this whole time. And here I've been worried that some monster was coming back. Can you believe that? How silly had I been a monster. <laughs> As if such a thing could actually happen these days. I'm such a fool. Well, I guess it's time to have a party anyway. But instead of being about the monster showing up, it will be about sending that scoundrel to the strictest military school on the planet. By the time they're done with him, you know... I think I'm getting ahead of myself here. Is there anything worse than military school? Hmm. I should ask the internet. No, wait. There must be. Could I send him to the circus? Is that still done? <gasps> Ooh, I could send him on a walkabout. Hmm. I doubt his father would like that. Wait, you need to let me finish. Germans, please, what yes, is a walkabout? Lucas was dressed up as a monster, but after I caught him, I saw the actual monster. You mean you saw Lucas as the monster? No, wait, I'm confused. What did you... I saw the monster, or something. I don't know exactly what I saw, but it wasn't Lucas. Are you sure about that? Yes. Oh, that is disappointing. 
No, 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 no. I'm sure it was just your imagination. You've got the real culprit. I'll call Marcus and let him know that you've got everything under control. Nice job, Nancy. I'm positive I saw something. If I leave now, you'll still have the same problem on your hands. I'm not sure I believe it. I had my suspicions that it was Lucas. It's true. I'll prove it to you. You can try, but as far as I'm concerned, you've caught our monster. You should be proud. I've spent many years trying to catch that little monster in the act, and he's always just way too fast for me. See you later. Goodbye. Okay. Are we reaching a crescendo here? Feels like we're about to do the final part of a Scooby-Doo episode and catch that monster, but... I don't really feel like I have the tools of the trade to make that happen. Well, I, I suppose I've got my giant chopper with me. Oh, hello, Nancy. Thanks, see you later. Yeah, Goodbye, thrilled Nancy. to see you too. I wonder if I could have made a living as a storyteller way back when. Probably give it a try. Nancy, I think I can hear the monster outside. I'm sure it's just your imagination. No, something bad is going to happen now. I just know. I'm sure everything is fine. No, it isn't. Promise me you'll stay close, okay? I promise. Thanks, Nancy. See you later. See you later! Didn't really pay attention to any of that, but if he thinks the monster is around, then surely we should have a look inside the security... Oh, man, it just brings me right back to my security days. Right. Can we infer anything from the cameras? Anya's around... I don't... <laughs> He's still playing with his freaking toys! Oh, I am tickled pink by that. I don't have anything to do with you, so that's A-OK. -okay. If you think monster's close and I can't see it on the camera, then what am I to make of that? And how do I get down to the dungeon? I feel like that's a... Pretty sizable part of everything that. that we haven't found yet. Maybe the way that the footprints were left around might do the same for showing a way into the dungeon. Footprints are still there. Uh, sadly not. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't even done any of the glass bro uh, blowing that we were promised here. Also, wouldn't, you know, this door lead to the dungeon, maybe? Dungeon isn't so unknown. They have CCTV set up there. Hello. Thanks. See you later. See you later. When it involved a lot of travel by foot or by horse, you're... If you're a rather wealthy storyteller, there'd be a risk of bandits and inclement... Yeah, well, how does one get wealthy being a storyteller? Who pays for these stories? Sounds like fun, though. But, uh... I'm sure there'd be very different metrics for fun back in those days. Mm, you said it's close by when you're there, but... Maybe you should try talking to... our best friend on the phone again. I mean, really, that's what we're playing this game for. The angry, road rage German. I found Lucas dressed up as the monster. The kid? Yeah, but then I saw the real monster. So, the, the situation is still pretty much the same. There's still a monster on the loose? Well, maybe. Okay, um, good talk. Come on, what do you think you're even doing? I'm doing my best. Not you, the idiot with the... Yeah, you, buddy! Where, where do you learn how to drive? The, the, the 1800s! Are you driving right now? Yes, I'm driving. Uh, and this guy, uh, yeah, still you, buddy. It's going so slow and swerving. I, I memorize. I am memorizing your license plate. Sorry, this, this guy. I, I know you see me. I know you know why I'm yelling. Should I let you go? Uh, if you want. I, I got one of these hand-free phones, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, this weather is, is not great. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> just, I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough of this guy. 
need more of him. Hopefully he makes a return in the 33rd Nancy Drew game, which is hopefully going to happen, but hopefully not if they just go with their current format. Oh, Midnight Salem just ruined the franchise. These doors, but we cannot go through them. Where are we? Where are we going then? We saw the monster outside, but didn't further pursue it, did we? No one's given us much to go on. I don't want to leave the castle yet. Oh, thank God, we don't need to go out and get lost again. Yeah, whoever the monster is really smashed up uh, that door pretty bad. I don't know how much replacement glass and door would cost, but probably an unpleasant amount. Bother all the German tourists. What's up? Thanks, see you later. Bye, Nancy. Hmm, the monster's close by, Hello. you say. Bye. I'll feed us in. You're hanging around here. Hey, I wonder if this is what the kid used to dress up as the monster. It looks like the looks like what he was in, right? Hmm. You know, that's one thing we didn't buy. Let's let's go and get ourselves something to eat. Oh yeah, Gunnar really uplifted the Icelandic Nancy Drew game, and it didn't even need uplifted, the game was already great. Okay, I already dealt with the clocks. Is there any clues that we haven't played around with yet? This thing, whatever this, uh, not that. I, wait, did I already do that? Yeah, I think I did. The torch. I really think there must be like a dungeon where I have to go in and use the flashlight to see around, but what the heck is this hex thing? And what's with all these other tools we have? I'm starting to think there's a way into this dungeon that has eluded me so entirely, and it's probably very important. Still no dungeon to be had for us. Oh yeah, if Alpha had uh, quit while he was ahead. Poor Alpha though, he cracks under pressure. He doesn't like uh, the idea that people will gloat at being superior. Now, I don't know who would possibly gloat at being superior around this community, but uh, I don't think I don't think that rubs him too well. Maybe if I just leave that on, oh, it automatically turns off when we go away. Deary me, right, I am back to stump zone. Nobody wants to give me anything Nancy? useful. Oh, oh! Would you like some food? That is just what I wanted, thank you. Yes. Ah, oh, damn. See you later. Goodbye, Nancy. Well, I'm not sure we'd get much from putting her to sleep again, but it was worth a try. Just as well we don't have to. I'm not up for just getting loads of money to keep feeding the old bag. Yeah, we drugged the lady before with some Black Forest Gatto. Seemed like the right thing to do. And we were right. Hi again. See you later. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Inhale the strudel like she's Kirby. See, I like that. Hey, did we ever manage to open this? Do we need a key to open this? Maybe his key? Uh, maybe that wasn't his key. Oh, well, I've only got these two keys. No, 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 no. That The whole thing opened up when we solved what this. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was just turned around, right? 
Yeah, so if we've already dealt with that, what is there even left for us to do? I don't know, I can feel the whole game off vitazing me away here. Alright, you were the one Hello. that said something's going on around here. Bye. Bye, Nancy. You said you can hear the monster nearby. Well, I've been all around the castle, to my own knowledge, and have not found the monster. And when I check all the cameras, I see no monster. Would like to know how to get into the dungeons, though. Interestingly, I can still use this. Normally, if a puzzle is done, you can't keep using its parts. But then again, this thing still opens, so I wouldn't infer anything from that. Have to translate that. I have to translate that. But you already translated it early. You got worse memory than I do. My phone's already set up. I wonder if I can tell them to go away and then loot their stuff again. Mm, have those old emails. Is there anything else here that I was able to grab or interact with before? There were the necklaces, I suppose. Can't do anything with them. Hmm. Wasn't there a map hours ago that showed the dungeon entrance? You could probably go way back and get it again. I have the map that has the dungeon Looks entrance. Like Nada knew exactly where the monster was going to strike. I need to check those sites out. Uh huh. What do you mean, Renata knew? I don't recall her knowing anything. I don't think anybody is excited for Silent Hill announcements, Arnold. I believe I heard they're working on a Silent Hill 2 remake, so remaking the greatest horror game ever made. I dread to think how much they're going to butcher that. Sites am I even meant to be checking out here? Maybe I'm meant to check the appearance areas. Also, do we still have that bit of fabric? No. Okay, well, maybe I should go to where the monster has been. Courtyard and... Actually, just the courtyard, wasn't it? Or maybe I could talk to Anya... Uh, not Anya. Um, Nancy. Ranya? Ran something I'll let it. you go. Bye. See you later. Or maybe she does have something in her bag that we need to go and grab again. That would be funny. Alright, if I still can't find anything after looking around, we're going to drug the old lady again. Mm. Oh, we can go back out here, even after saying that we couldn't before. Still no clue to be had around here, though. Oh, man, getting out of here is a pain, a right old pain. Oh, but we got it done easily. Nice. Hmm. So what exactly was I meant to check out from this? Abducted girl, dead animal... Okay, maybe I meant to check the sightings areas. There was one sighting in the woods by a big tree. Maybe that's worth checking out. 
So if I think I go straight ahead and then take a right. So straight ahead, take the right. Some kind of tree or something here. Start to turn back around. You then? Oh! This was a sight on the map. I should wait and see if the monster appears. Another coded message. I need to figure out what it says. Oh dear! Now it's not the time, Nance. We got a clue. Let's blaze forward with the clue. Or just get lost around here for a while. Oh no, not this again. Just going around in circles. Ever mention how orienteering is not my strong suit? I mean, with so many strengths, I needed some kind of debuff. Alright, let's get on the deciphering. Uh, is everybody still here? I'd be curious if the monster is out there and then somebody is suspiciously missing. Anya is not. What about, what about playing with his models, man? <laughs> okay, so it's the old lady. Throw away and uh, well, lock her up and throw away the key. Uh, we're probably going to find out that these are different in German. Did we find anything that had these? Oh well, of course, unicorn is going to be U, right? How could dragon be anything other than D? And then the mouse. Oh come on, it must be Mauser or something like that. We'll find out pretty quickly if this is good or not. Oh, it could be Dirat. Hmm. Um. Um. And okay. Well, certainly not that. Oh, it resets. Do we have an R for Dirat? Sure. D for Die Dragon. And it must be Unicorn, right? Whiskey. Michael. November. Ockf. No, I don't think that's it. Sierra, Michael, Kilo. Ah, oh, jeez. Where do we have mythical animals in German? There'll be a book around here somewhere, right? Mm. Hello. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's clearly die kleine Malschen. Uh, we got a book on glass. Blowing, right? Hmm. Doubt there was anything there about animals. Ah, oh, jeez, where are we going to find information like that? See, that's not what we're looking for. Although we did need this earlier. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Thanks, see you later. Goodbye. Very harsh with us there. Probably because we know she's sneaking around. Couldn't we just look them up in our dictionary? Would that be too much to ask, Nance? Mm, evidently. Do we have anything on our inventory that might help out there? That's just instructions saying you must do as you're told and whatnot. That's some old stuff. 
Similarly old stuff. Maybe it's something to do with the cards? I don't remember any of the cards involving mice. Do recall there being a book here, though. History, blah 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 blah. Nope. Nancy, what is going on? See you later. Goodbye! What do we have here? Donkey, wolf, hunter, sparrow. No rats here. Rats or mice. Looks like a no. Hmm. What's a man to do? Funny that we don't have people going, oh, by the way, I couldn't help but notice my key is missing ever since you turned up. Give it that kingdom come deliverance approach. It's like, I didn't see you commit the crime, but ever since you turned up, all these crimes I have been happening. Translate that. Right. Come now. Damage in the fire, blah, 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 blah. I see the Germans aren't helping me out here. Celebrate the safety. Anything here that might indicate mice or otherwise? Minor thefts increasing massively when Nancy's into... There was one game that they threw Nancy in the slammer and they let her out. Snatching defeat from the jaws of victory right there. Can we just phone up uh, Marcus and ask him hey, what's German for rat, dragon and unicorn? I keep finding codes around the castle. I don't know what to tell you about that. Could be the kid, maybe? I love stuff like that when I was young. If he's cool, he's probably got a decoder around here somewhere. Bye. Get it done. <laughs> oh, I will. Hi, Nancy. I found a weird pair of stilts. Huh. Well, maybe you should look for a short person? Or someone with unreasonably high shelves. Good plan. I discovered what the stilts were for. Yeah? Lucas was dressing up as the monster. So, case closed. You're on the next flight home? Not exactly. When I caught him, I saw the real monster. This place has too many monsters. Do you think something like a monster could really exist? Sure. It's not likely, but it's not impossible. You really think so? Well, it sounds crazy, but it's true. There are plenty of monsters in the world. We just give them names and pretend that they're reasonable. Like what? Like sharks! There is no way that sharks are not monsters. Have you seen those things? They have a scientific name now that we have learned all we can about them, but take a swim with one and tell me it's not a monster. No, thank you. Right. So whatever it is that's scaring people, it may turn out to actually be something else. But if everyone is this scared, it is a monster. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Right, no one is ready for Frank Hardy's bombs of truth. Still don't know mouse, dragon, and unicorn in German, though, and I have no idea where I'm going to find that out. Nobody wants to talk to me. Maybe I need to go to one of the other sighting areas, and then it would have uh, something else. So where are the other sighting areas? Uh, I have to translate that. No, you really don't, Nance. Um, no, that's still not what you need. Here we go. So another sighting area was the courtyard. I haven't been to the courtyard. Are you tell me that there's now somewhere else to look in there? I don't want to get loads and loads of these cipher things to have to figure out. That would be a royal pain. Was the sighting area relative to the gate? Actually, if we look at the main entrance way, it's just on the left there, so possibly this you can hear the soft hissing of some fire there, interestingly. We already put the fire out.
I'm pretty close to just brute forcing that puzzle. I mean, who, who could possibly have words for unicorn that don't start with you? The other sightings are down in the basement where we can't go to. This is one that we saw, that's one that we saw, and that's one that we saw, although it was, uh, it was Lee. We Run. Oh, 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 hang on. Maybe this has something about, uh, something about the animals. Da da da. University, fairy tales, stories, solicited friends. Wild sister. Those are humans. Success. Fairy tales. German dictionary. Da, 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 da. Honors. Seven. There's nothing about animals there at all. Couldn't we just ask somebody? This is where we did our own sighting. Nothing else to be seen there, unless it was over here. They both look the same anyway. Nothing to be had. Hmm. Tricky situation. Right, I think we're just going to have to activate brute force mode. Come on, how could it not be die mouser? But what would dragon be? Assuming the unicorn is you for unicorn. Uh, okay, there's our you. So we already tried the D for dragon. Then again, that could be a rat. I don't know how to tell a rat from a mouse. W, M, N. Okay, well, it's certainly not that. W, M, N, O, O, O. S, M, K. Okay, no, I don't think it's Holkvi. W, M, N, S, M, K. No, certainly that not that. Right. That's certainly not right. H. Yeah, it's not Yid Wolfy. W M N S M K. Yeah, certainly not that either. That doesn't look right either. Q. That makes even less sense. Ulpni. Nope. Even less sense. No. Oh god, a Z. I do like those Zs. B. Oh, okay, I'm running out of options here. Unless it's not a mouse. Unless it's not a unicorn. Hmm. Second try. How do you say one in German? Ein. Ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf, dreizehn, vierzehn, etc., etc. So, in my language, unicorn is one horner. Ah. Ah, that could be something, couldn't it? I'm still going to assume that dragon is D. W, M, N, S, M, K. Heeb, by. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Maybe it is Diarat. W M N S. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh yeah, Ein. Ein with an E, and we have E. Still gonna try Moser then. Makes more sense than Diarat, surely. W M N. S M K. Ooh, legend. That sounds good. All right, November, Victor, 
Oscar, Hotel, Quebec, Foxtrot, Echo, Uniform, Yankee, Papa, that, that Y and that P throwing me off ever so much. Uh, Tango, Whiskey, Juliet, Foxtrot, Delta, Victor, X-Ray, Romeo, India, Charlie, Kilo, Hotel, Quebec, Whiskey, Hotel, Bravo, Sierra, Whiskey, Echo, India, Zulu? Oh, oh Z isn't there. Uh, Zulu, November, Quebec, Victor, Hotel, Lima, Echo. Find a young woman to cast as the victim. <gasps> this is about me, isn't it? Legend and find young woman cast as victim. Okay. Whatever you say. Now, does that tell me anything? I suspect not. Is everyone still in their location? Anya is. <laughs> Nitro aged another 50 years certainly is as well. Okay. So something spooky's going on. What could it all mean? Hey, Nancy. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Bye. I'll feed us in. Nothing out of you. No need to get some more. Hang on. Were those books there? Okay, but not books about animals. Anything going on outside? No, although we can go out. I don't want to go out because I keep getting lost in there. Yes. <sighs> See you later. Bye. Alright, Nancy, put your back into it. I'm getting tired and I'm getting hungry. Dangerous combination. Should I? Nah. Well, well. Never knew Nickerson might have something for us. Hi there. I found out that Anya lied on her resume. That's pretty bad. Are you going to do anything about it? When I talked to her, she seemed pretty sorry about the whole thing. Well, that still doesn't make it right. I know, but I think Anya needs to take responsibility for fixing this herself. I agree. When I caught Lucas, I saw the real monster. Carl won't believe me, though. Why not? He wants proof. What kind of proof? I'm not sure. A picture of the monster, maybe? That sounds dangerous. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Incredible. Nickerson's helping us out here. It did cross my mind to whap out my phone, but when I found the clue there, my mind immediately went, oh no, let's start uh, start working on decoding. All right. Fortunately, we live in an age where everybody carries a camera with them. It eliminates uh, such things as Nessie and Bigfoot, but I can live with that. That was a crappy photo. No, that, that's also a crappy photo. Come on, turn around and smile for me. It'd be funny if he says something like, Oh, no, no, not good enough. I need to see it turned around. I'm trying to think of games that have particularly picky um, photo-taking mechanics. There's Dead Rising, but it's not that picky. If I recall well, there's only one photo that you really need to take in the whole game. Mm, two photos. There's one photo that you're meant to take of the ventilation shafts so that people know you're not pulling their leg when you say there's an escape plan. And another one is an upskirt photo of Jesse to get enough points to impress the photographer whose name I think is Carl. Fantastic game, Dead Rising. If you haven't played it, you should rectify that post haste if you don't take a good photo Carl just laughs at you and buggers off
I'm not sure if you actually gain or lose any survivors from dealing with them there, though. Don't know, didn't play that game too exhaustively. Right, photo time. Uh, that's not where I want to go, not at all. Hi, Nancy. I have proof that Lucas wasn't the monster. Take a look at the picture I took with my phone. Do you believe me now? This is not good, not good at all. If that's the monster and he's real, then I'm afraid it's you he's coming after. If you can't solve this case soon, you need to leave here. See you later. Auf Wiedersehen! Oh, trust me, I would like to be leaving. Also, welcome, computer. All is going well? Of course it's going well. I mean, p playing Nancy Drew is a joy. Even though the games can be terrible and people often have miserable times playing them because they discover they're not quite as hot at figuring things out as they think they are, or they completely freeze up and fall apart on stream. Hi, Nancy. See you later. It's still Goodbye. a good time. Okay, did that actually get me anything? I want to leave yet. Well, thankfully, I can't go out that way now. Hey, Nancy. Ooh. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Right. If old Bat doesn't want to talk to me, I'll try my luck with Marcus again. And what would old Bat even have to say to me? Oh, well, she was the one that was initially saying that we are, we're the one they're after, right? Nancy. Ooh. Thanks. See you later. Bye. I also think I said I wanted to drug her again, but it doesn't feel like that's particularly necessary right now. Then again. Does it have to be? Hello. Thanks, see you later. Get it done! Thanks, see you later. Catch you later. Nancy, how's it going? Bye. Bye, Nancy. Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for jesters, terrified astronomers, pitchforks, torches, and horse uniforms. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Thanks. See you later. Talk to you later. Now, I cannot stand the automated switchboards of a telephone service, but I feel for anyone that has to say that every time you're called on the phone. I have worked a switchboard before. Well, switchboard's kind of overselling it. But all the calls to a company at one point did go through me. And let me tell you, that's unpleasant work. I had this old lady, and it, she must have got the phone numbers mixed up or something, but she just kept calling me to be like, no, no, you've got the wrong number. She'd just ignore you and keep talking about whatever. I think she was thinking she was through to a garden center or a kennels or something that old people use. Insufferable. Oh, hello, Fräulein. I'll let you go. Bye. Okay, Bye. speaking of insufferable, I'm at another stumped point. I don't think I have anything that can reasonably be used right now. That didn't really unlock anything, did it? Unless I meant to find another one of those, which would be a bit... Ugh. I used to take complaint calls for Pizza Company in Canada. Oh, well, we need to save that for another uh, Stories from the Front Desk thing, Baron. Now that, that I'd like to hear. James, what can we even do at this point? I suppose that the one thing that still evades me is I have not yet found a way to the basement. Despite your directions, game. Ooh, well, don't mind me grabbing a bit of extra dosh while we're at it. Right, drugging the old lady. It's clearly the way forward. Although, 
Always worth a check here to make sure everything is run smoothly. Oh, this brings me right back to my security days, although I could control the cameras from where I was. My phone's already set up. Can't think of anything that I could steal from these guys by making them go away, but I haven't snooped around Carl's desk for a while. This thing can still be interacted with, which is a bother. I really don't want to have to do it again. Nitro knows German. He had a natural advantage over me in this game. And I'm running out of time to go and beat him with. Uh, right. Carl, then drug old lady, and then... Oof. And it's anyone's guess. Nothing to be nicking here. Go around the back and the side. Give this another sneaky way to open up. Yes, yes, another another sordid love letter, that key for Anya that I already stole. Nothing else worth our time in there though. Oh, nothing to be had. Alright, drug an old lady's time. Sure. Where should we think of a chigger? Ooh, got five euros for a pin. Hello again, Nancy. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye. The mind boggles at what must be happening behind the scenes here. I sincerely doubt it's making the cake for us, so it'll keep them all refrigerated back there, right? But how would they? How would that keep the breads fine? And do they really just want to eat that sausage cold? Some cold sausage can be good, but that doesn't look like it would be good cold sausage. I'm thinking about it. I've been here and I've not found any nice sausage sellers. Maybe I need to fix that tomorrow. Been uh, looking around, checking the prices of things around here, and holy moly, some of the prices I'm seeing here are probably exceed that of Stockholm's. And not even in Vienna here. Oh, hello, Nancy. Would you like some food? Welcome to my world, food! Yeah, now what do we have in here? Oh, another game of Bleeding Mastermind. Look, we, we already solved this. I'm not solving it again. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's get away from that. Nothing with our phone that we can't do better in the guest room. I don't have a task list. Decoded message about... There might be other references to her around the castle. Oh. A message pointing to Carl's day planner. Oh, I already checked that out though, didn't I? Other references around the castle to Freiherr's daughter. Oh, oh I saw that. Other references. Don't know what they mean by this. Mm okay, we're on the hunt for progress. Any progress. See you later. See ya! It's a world coming to when even drugging old ladies won't help you out.
surprised this hasn't uh, come to pass. Figure I would want these words for something. Maybe I will. Okay. I don't want to pay seven euros for one of those. No way, no how. We already dealt with the clocks. I don't want a t-shirt. I wouldn't mind that German flag, but I doubt it's for sale. Hello again, Nancy. I'll let you go. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. That was fast. Did you want something else? I'll let you go. Bye. Oh, man, See you later. It's the worst moment in a puzzle game when you, you don't actually feel like you even have something to use your puzzling instincts on. It's a case of finding the puzzle. Definitely the worst part of such a game. Still stole a lot of tools here, didn't use a single one of them. <laughs> true Nancy, true experience. This is where Professor Layton far outshines. Professor Layton, you're always jumping from puzzle to puzzle. And I managed to tell a better story while you're at it. Oh, Sierra games are a different kind of hell altogether, though. At least the death scenes are pretty funny. world is this dungeon I'm supposedly meant to find? I suppose there's all these footprint things and claw marks. Maybe I meant to check some of those. I mean, there's claw marks apparently on the wall there. You'd think that might lead to... lead to the dungeon, but no, we got nothing of the sort here. This is that senior detective burn, isn't it? Speaking of Professor Layton, are we getting another 24 hour stream in the future? It's pretty hard to plan something like that when I'm on the move right now. Anyway, 24 plus hour streams are pretty torturous. I'd need a really good game and almost definitely not a puzzle game to work through that with. Because James Professor Layton, my brain was absolute mush getting through that. And my uh, bottom supply of pomegranates did sadly run out. Holy crackers, I got no idea what I'm meant to be doing from here. Where is the puzzle, Miss Drew? Wrapping up OpenTTD in 24 hours makes <laughs> more I'd want to be on better internet than this to be streaming OpenTTD. It deserves the finer things. Plus, unlike this, OpenTTD isn't just a bunch of stills. Hmm. Boys, oh boys, this ain't working out. Where are we meant to go? What are we meant to do? Hey, Nancy. Thanks. See you later. See you later. We talk to everybody. Nobody has anything for us. Best clue we have is that we need to go and check for things relating to the monster around here. We have looked at all the monster sighting areas as best as I can tell. Would we suddenly start shouting down the well that we have dropped a bucket into several times? Okay, I think there's some leap of logic here that's uh, Wait, beyond me. That? I bet all of the edges that are touching need to match up. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, I didn't hear what she said. Something about edges? Uh, Nancy, back at the well, please. Why was the well suddenly something to look into? 
And why is there suddenly not water down there? Alright, now let's give me that killer clue again. Probably something about all the edges touching. Oh god, we can move them and rotate them, that's... Can we? Yeah. Oh, it's the Flumin Otter puzzle from Castle Malloy, but reskinned. You know how we feel about this puzzle. Nay, good. Okay. Worth noting that I cannot move the center one here, so I know I'm always going to need this kind of setup. Let's see, one sword out there. What's is the sword the rarest thing we have? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe they all have one of each, do they? Oh, they all have one of each. Oh, that's bad. Okay, wait, no, that can't be right because you have two swords. What about the red thing? One, two, three, four, five, six of the red things. Silver bird thing. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. Crown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Loads of crowns. Forget the crowns. Yeesh. All right, let's go with golden bird thing. So if you were there. This is terrifying. Right, how about the thought that adjacent ones like that would surely... Oh, there's no surely they'd have to pop away, would they? Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Mord. Don't have to be a restaurant, any food source will do. some lovely logical way about this. I think that double ring is important though. I think it's the only thing that has two adjacent to it. Of course there's nothing saying the double ring has to be against here, but if it were to be against there, I would need it to touch a ring that has a golden... Oh well no again, it doesn't have to be facing that way, it could be facing this way. I would need a ring with a golden thing adjacent to it then. So it could be ring and gold, and you have exactly that, actually. Let's go with this bead of logic. And then I would need a ring with a red thing of a jigger adjacent to it. Uh, but it needs to be adjacent in the other way. Oh, oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Oh, if you click too far down, you back away from it. out because there's no combination that has something that can fit in here, is there? Not as best I can tell. Hey, tell you what, there are very few of these. That doesn't tell us much because there's none in the center. telling you that. Okay, well, let's just try with the gold crowns. Which means we need a sword here of sorts. Ooh, hey, that actually works quite well so far. 
can we have the weird lilac-y thing next to you? Well, not with you. I need a sword. You don't even have a sword. You, however, do. So there you go. I'm gonna need a ring next to a golden... Uh, next to a red thing, and that is you. And then I need that bit over here. And then you need to... Holy moly, what an easy puzzle. I'm kidding. That was not an easy puzzle. We just got very lucky. I now let's go. I that stone tile with me. I don't want anyone following me through. Just so you know, Nitro was at this point ten minutes after you. Are you sure? I'm not keeping a timer going, so we don't know how long I've been at this. Maybe somebody knows. Oh, goodness. What's... What's with this look? Castle Crier... Anti-tourism rant. Now from the Burgermeister. <laughs> oh, here we go. King Queen Dungeon Unicorn Das Einhorn. Incredible. And there's Daimaus. Ah, good thing we inferred all of this using our giant brain. We don't, we're going to remark on the, the skull. Oh, aren't we in the Burgermeister room? No, we're back in our own room. Oh, that's spooky. It means someone could come in and oh, shred our clothes. We must tell Marcus about this. you go. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, now that we have this, what can we do with this information? Hello. Thanks. See you later. See ya. Actually, come to think of it, did we get any information? Hi, Nancy. See you later. Goodbye. Or are we not going to tell anyone about this? Surely we could tell the Burgermeister. One of the nice things about the first castle we did the Polish land party in, the Polish EU4 land party, was um, secret passages galore, and you needed them, because we were really scattered around the castle. You wanted to do di diplomacy with them, they might be a few minutes away. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Find the Burgermaster, talk to him, see what he knows. Hi, Nancy. Tell me about the accident. What are you talking about? I think you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> This castle, it is very old. It is not built for so many visitors. When I started, I thought it would be nice to have tours, take people around. Right. I took a group down into the dungeon. I thought it would be fun to show them the cells. I did not know what would happen. I really did not. What happened? I closed the door and the whole room collapsed. Ugh. Was everyone okay? No one died, but a few came very close. I stood on the other side of the door, and there was nothing I could do. Is that why you don't want tourists here? I am a magnet for bad luck. It is best that I be left alone. Why do you say you're a magnet for bad luck? You will think it silly. No, I promise I won't. When I was a boy, I took a train to Berlin with my father. Oh, that is unlucky. I fell asleep, so I wandered the train in the pack. I found a boy my age to play with. Strangely, he looked just like me. Like a doppelganger? Exactly like a doppelganger. The boy was very strange. The whole time we played together, he did not say a single word. Very unnerving. Eventually, my father found us. He had this expression I'd never seen before. At first, I thought he was angry I'd wandered off. But no, he was scared. He grabbed my arm and yanked me back to our car. I remember looking at the boy, and he had the oddest smile. I don't understand. You must never meet your doppelganger. 
And if you see yours one day, run! To allow them even a moment in your life is to be cursed, like me. You don't really think you're cursed, do you? After that day, everyone I loved, everyone I cared about, got hurt or fell ill. So I moved here. Why? Some people hide in castles to stay safe behind the walls. I use these walls to keep the world safe from me. But now, you see, even that isn't working. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. It's not. Now, if you'll please leave me alone. See you later. See you later, Nancy. Yeah, was I'm in the echo chamber here. The place I'm staying at for a few days here in uh, Baden by Vienne. It's huge. <laughs> huge and lots of bare walls for sounds to uh, bounce off of. In a sense, a bit of a spooky place to be. I'm playing spooky games here. It's adding to the atmosphere something fierce. Let's hope there aren't any monsters peering in through the windows here, although there'll be giant monsters. I'm on the third floor here. Right, we got all that bad luck spiel. Didn't give us anything Hello. that felt like progress, though. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Yeah, there is a temptation to completely break the... Wait, we can still go in here? There's a temptation to break the mood of it all by going, hey, you want to play a game of Raid just to turn the whole situation on its head, but I don't want to waste time here. I gotta find who's behind this whole monster lark. Maybe there was something that I missed down here. Can I head back down? Oh, please don't tell me I have to solve the puzzle again. I would not be happy. Oh, thank goodness for that. peeled anything here anything at all worth our time oh there's a left hand turn oh but we took that to find all these newspapers that they for some reason just keep down here and then there's that oh but I don't think we took a left turn here did we oh I saw that this looks like it's about the monster legend Dirt, exhausted, spin around, roar echoes, something's coming closer. Oh, what have we here? Two keys. Hey, I think I have two keys. Oh. And I go over to the keys. So, uh, Nancy Drew games actually have Easter eggs. And they are well-hidden ones, generally. Oh, I take the keys back. I don't even think that many of them were found during the entire Nancy-thon. Certainly don't remember many of them. I've only found a few of them myself. Being the god gamer I am, I naturally expect to find all of them. Nice thing about the games, though. Decent Easter eggs. This must be the scarf Renata mentioned. Scarf? Renata? Oh, yeah, yeah, I vaguely remember that. With the marching golden elephants. I can bring that to Renata, surely. Maybe she'll reward me with some progress. That would be nice. Not gonna remark on the chains? Okay. Oh. This looks just like the boulder I saw in that old picture. Is it all coming together, Drew? Let's see what that girl was hiding. What girl? Do I have a shovel or something? I, I did get a bunch of tools, didn't I? Nothing there. Nothing here. <laughs> Empty. Nothing there. Hello? Ha! A necklace. It's so old. This must be what the girl was hiding. I wonder why. I better keep this. I will likely be running KCD, but I think I'll do it off stream rather than on stream. Had my fun with uh worst Henry. Everyone's so judgmental of you when playing KCD. I've been enjoying watching Marek play it, but uh, don't think I'd be streaming it. 
There's plenty on the streaming shortlist as it is right now. Also, it's a pretty hefty game, so I'm not sure how well it would stream when I'm on the move. Might be worth a try, though. Holy smokes, I get lost here so easily. At this point, it would be easier to go back into where the... Um... Oh, no, there we go. Back into the dungeon and out again, but no. Right, come on, we've got, we got progress to make. I wonder what uh, cunning yet hungry Austrians do at midnight. If I was in Britain, I'd have absolutely no problem getting myself some chow at 1, 2, 3 a.m. here. I don't know. Yes? I found a strange necklace out in the forest. It's like the necklaces in the gift shop, but much older, I think. Yes. Much, much, much older. You must get rid of this. Why? Because it's dangerous, that's why. I found this scarf. Does it mean anything to you? I thought this was gone forever. Where did you find it? In the passages. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you, Nancy. That story you told me about the girls. That was you, wasn't it? You chased your sister into the woods, but couldn't save her. You're half right. How so? I was the little girl. It was my older sister who chased me into the woods. My sister died trying to protect me. I'm sorry, but you do know that it wasn't your fault. That is not what matters, I guess. Is that why you're here? Yes. I promised myself that it would never happen again. I came here every time there was talk of the monster. Back then, back then I was ready to fight. Now, look at me so. I know there is not much I can do, but still I have to come. That's why you're always here when there are rumors of the monster returning. Do you really think it was a monster that, you know? I don't know. I don't know which is easier to live with. I know you would have done the same for her. It's not up to you to keep everyone safe. Maybe you're right. But wouldn't it be nice to be able to? Yes, it would. Nancy? Yes? Thank you for this. I don't know what help I can offer, Nancy, but whatever you need, I will help you. Thanks, see you later. Bye. Okay, that's nice and all, old drugged up lady, but I need some progress here, and that didn't seem like it. Then again, I might be able to talk to everybody again and get a new nugget of progress. Ah, Nancy, like do you this? mind if I ask you a question? This has been bothering me. Why are you here? What do you mean? Marcus explained why you were coming here, but it doesn't make sense why he'd send you to solve this problem. You're just a kid. It's not right that he should send you. I'm not a kid, and I'm good at getting to the bottom of tough mysteries. I've heard, but something about this seems wrong. Marcus or whoever recommended you be sent here, maybe they had not the best of intentions. I don't know if that's true, but I do know that I'm going to figure out what's really going on here. Is that what you think? I hope it is true. I'd like to play a round of Raid. Great! Aw, oh, look at him light up. And you know what we do? We say no to your stupid game, flip the desk, and out we go. Jinx, that must hurt people a lot. I want to try it someday. Find someone who's into this really niche board game that no one plays and say, oh, I'll play with you. And then, oh, they'll dump all this crap on you and then you sit down for a game and you just literally flip the table, tell them their game is stupid and leave. Oh, I bet it would break some people. <laughs> Salivating at the thought. <laughs> Hello again, Nancy. I found this necklace. What do you make of it? This... This is not like the necklaces I sell. This is... old. I'm not certain, but that might be the original necklace. What does that mean? I don't know, but I wouldn't be carrying that thing around. That's what all those girls were wearing when... Well, you know. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay, this sure does not feel like a slice of progress pie. What's up? 
I'll let you go. Bye. See ya. Oh, bollocks. We did all that and we got nothing to show for it. But maybe, just maybe, we need to phone this game's equivalent of Best Marvin. God, I never thought I'd be missing Bess, but when she's not in a game, you really feel it. Nancy, hi. See you later. Call me when it's all finished. Hi, Nancy. I think I found what that girl was trying to hide. Yeah? What was it? A necklace. Supposedly, all of the monster's victims wore this necklace. Anya told me that the necklace I found is dangerous, that it's what the monster is always looking for. The same necklace you have? Yes. Maybe you should get rid of it. I can't do that. It's a clue. Good point. Also, bad point. I'm undecided. I wouldn't get rid of it, but I would let Joe be the one to hold on to it. Oh, you would not. I might. Bye. Catch you later. Hiya, Nancy. I found an article in the Castle Crier about Kara wanting to keep tourists away from the castle. Now that doesn't make a lot of sense, in my opinion. It seems like he'd want the castle to be packed. I know, right? That sounds a little suspicious to me. I'd try to snoop around, see what's really going on with him. I'm on it. I asked Carl about the accident in the dungeon. And? And it was just that. He was giving a tour and part of the dungeon collapsed. Everyone was okay in the end, but it really seems to have upset him. Maybe that's why he's not so keen on having tourists. That's it, exactly. He seems to think that he's cursed, and everything that happens only reinforces that idea. And if you believe you're cursed, you might as well be cursed. It's like the story of the monster. How so? The people here believe that there's a monster, so they only pay attention to evidence that... That backs up what they already believe, right? So they're an easy group to trick, if you wanted to. But who would want to? I don't know. I'm working on it. Any great ideas? Not yet, but I'll be on standby if you need me. Were you much of a prankster when you were a kid? Oh, of course. Pranking people was so much fun, although it wasn't as easy as you'd expect. Why not? Well, you've got this elaborate setup, and you want it to be this big show-stopping thing, and everything has to be just perfect or everything's a wash, so lots of times you've got everything all set up, but your victim just won't go in the right room or something like that. It's pretty frustrating. Ned, that's it. What's what? That's what this is like. The dress, the necklace, the stories I keep finding. These are all pieces of a big setup. And once everything is perfect... What? Then the monster strikes. And wait, what did you say about show-stopping? What did you mean by that? Well, you've got to have an audience, or it's not fun. Marcus, and the investors. What? I've got to get to the bottom of this before Marcus gets here. What? Why? Think about it. If you wanted an audience, who better than the owner and the investors he's trying to impress? Good point. How much time do you have? I'm not sure. Not long. I think that I've been cast as the next victim. What do you mean? The dress, the necklace, all of the weird warnings I've been getting? Nancy, you need to get out of there fast. I can't just walk away from a case. I'm not sure I even could if I wanted to. I wish I wasn't so far away. Do not put yourself in danger. You've got to play it safe. I will, I promise. Thanks, see you later. Bye, Nancy. I know exactly what Ned means when it comes to the, the setup for a prank, and sometimes it just doesn't work out quite right. Hey chat, surely some of you have been delightfully devilish in your own years, so any good prank stories, either doing it or being on the receiving end of, I'd like to hear them. Marcus here. Bye. Get it done. I'm working on it, Marcus, jeez. Right. So, how do we deal with this issue? I feel like we don't quite have enough information or moving parts for this. Anything going on in the telly? That's a no, but... <laughs> Still good. No, never, and not... What is that spooky face? Oh, that's pretty spooky. 
My mom once waited outside my room for like 20 minutes silently wearing a zombie mask. I was seven and absolutely terrified. <laughs> that is badass. Tell your mom that I really like that story, so it was all worth it. But man, what a horrible thing to do to your child. Hello, Nancy. See you later. Goodbye. I see where she's coming from, though. I once waited underneath the stairs uh, for a whole hour to spook my housemate. Silently giggling away to myself because I thought it was the funniest freaking thing. Hi, Nancy. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. I used to live on the stairs. And uh, that was the first place I lived when I started streaming. People used to draw the line between that and Harry Potter, and draw the parallel rather. You could always hear when somebody was walking up the oh, stairs. Hello, Fräulein. I'll let you go. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay, bollocks. We're back to this position of we don't even know what the thing to solve is. We think it's all set up. We know we need to figure it out. We have this necklace that we can't seem to do anything with. Other tools that do a whole lot, a whole lot of not much. I don't know why we're keeping the hex. Undercover over easy Easter egg. Then you got the letter to join Paradox. Well, I didn't get the letter to join. I applied for it like any other job or any other schmuck. Childhood pranks include foil wrapping someone's root. Oh, now that's good. Can take quite a bit of work and quite a bit of foil, but uh, the end result always looks good. I think we tinfoiled somebody's desk at Paradox, if I recall correctly. Can't remember whose or exactly why. Guten Abend, Jake. I know this question is probably useless early, says Nancy Drews Ericsson. Do you like Austria so far? What's the first impression? Uh, I'm just very, very happy to be outside of Sweden, so anything is going to be biased by that. Even so, I like it, but it's very expensive in Austria. I actually think it's comparable to Stockholm. I'm not, I'm not even in Vienna here. The prices for food is really high. Now I know the price of food is growing damn near everywhere, but it's been growing in Stockholm as well. It's, some things are cheaper, some things much more expensive. Fish is so much more expensive here. Meat and dairy seems a bit cheaper. Just about everything else is comparable though. Good thing I prefer fish over uh, meat over fish, but I do also like fish. Hmm. Jake Potter, you're a game director, Jake. Here's your magic invitation to Stockholm Works. Headmaster Johan will sniff at you. Oh man. Nay bad. Unlike my performance here, what the dickens am I meant to do? Felt like we were having progress, and now it just feels like we're back to nay progress. Think about it, what have we gotten ourselves? We've gotten ourselves a necklace. We got that shovel, didn't we get something else though? Tongs, we haven't used tongs at all. Same for a pry bar, nor have we seen anything we could reasonably use those on. However, what I'm thinking is that the basement is relatively unexplored. We need to fix that. Can we move through here? Is this going to open up and let us back through? Well, don't be like that game. It opened up to let us through and now we can't get back. Nice looking bed though. place I'm staying at right now has these comically large pillows to the point where it's actually a bit uncomfortable to sleep on. Uh, no, let's take another trip down the well. Might be some more things for us down there. Find the dungeon, Jake. I had to pop out for a bit. Yes and no. We went down the well to what appears to be the dungeon. Kind of hard to say compared to this map, though. I mean, 
Where does the dungeon start and end? Oh, hang on, hang on. There's dead animal, isn't there? Maybe that's what the... Oh, hold your horses. I thought I saw a turn there. Clearly I did not. Are you not the dead animal? If you are, and that's what I'm looking at, then I would go right and up these stairs to something. Mm, perhaps not. Oh, but this says up. Up to what? Ah, but wasn't this up into my room? Yeah, this is up into my room. Not exactly where I want to go, though, is it? I don't think I understand the perspective here, but maybe I shouldn't try. This is bringing back memories of playing Ghost of Thornton Hall. I spent a huge bit of late game not knowing what to do, because it really felt like there was nothing to make progress with. Here's hoping we're not spending an embarrassingly long amount of time again like that. This looks like the other oh. room, but the pictures are different. So there was something else here. Now we need to get a bit more translating done. Looked like there was a bat, a knight, and a something else on it. Also, some weird, uh, weird thing over there. Right, where were those? Where were all those newspapers? I need some quick translating done. The Germanics in chat feeling decidedly unhelpful today, so I better. Rely on the game's resources. Ooh, where was it? Where in the world was it? Aha, here we go. Right. Uh, what are we looking for? Bat, castle, and armor? Knight? Die Burg. Burg for the castle. Burg. I will forget that, so Burg. Flender mouse, like flying mouse for bat. Okay, so far so good. Love that we have that einhorn there. Okay, that leaves the the knight, but hang on, didn't we have one that had like king, queen, maybe that one had knight on it as well, and that was back in the, uh... oh there it is, there, I know Ritter, I... <laughs> so the first time I ever played uh, Settlers of Catan, or Zietles, uh I had to play it in German, because we were playing with my, uh, my German uni mate's uh, copy of it, and that's how I know the, right, the knight is the Ritter. So I draw the Ritter card. What was the... What was the... Uh, Jinx, there was a lot of terms in that game that I've long forgotten. Gabriel von Ritter. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Klingman. That splicing up of the tape was really cool. I'm surprised it didn't make up more of the game, though, given that you are so-called writer. Uh, this is where we found a scarf or whatever. Come on, how do we get out of here? I am beyond lost. Oh, oh, what do we the have here? Stuck. Need to find something that'll pry it off. Well, I'm glad we stumbled in here, because I wasn't going to be coming back that here anytime exactly soon. exactly like what the monster was wearing. Ooh. Ooh. Mighty suspect, isn't it? So someone's coming down here. Leaving money behind for me as well. With that, the only thing that I haven't used, I suppose, would be the tongs. Now, I think sometimes you do get red herring items in Nancy Drew games, but...
knowing that or not knowing that changes little. Alright, let's see if we can remember all these uh, all these terms, because now we've got to punch it all in. Jeez, here we go again. Right. Die Flutermausen. Die Burg. And the Ritter. Of course, Burg. The, the, I went to a, a ruined castle, and I think it was the Burg Ruin something or other. I don't know the name of the actual place. There we go. Ritter. All right. Once more with gusto. Papa, Mike, Zulu. Oh, freaking German layouts here. Papa, Mike, Zulu, Kilo, Quebec. Is that a G? Or a... No, I'm guessing it's a G. All right. Golf, X-ray, Whiskey, Juliet, November, Whiskey, Delta, the free hairs, okay. Hotel, Victor, Zulu, Foxtrot, Oscar, Quebec, India, Oscar, Foxtrot, November, Hotel, Victor, B -b -b Bravo, Echo, Delta, Charlie, Zulu. Decoded. Daughter is step one. What could it all mean? Actually, that felt very unhelpful. <laughs> what did we even get from that? Hey, Nancy. Bye. See you later. A man from the country of Edinburgh should know that word. Is Berg even used as castle there? Berg is more of a... Mm, well, an area around a castle, Hi perhaps. Again. See you later. Goodbye. Doesn't sound like Berg when you put Edinburgh. No, it's, some people call it Edinburgh, but no, it's Edinburgh. There are many boroughs in the UK: Middlesbrough, Edinburgh, uh, other ones. Jeez, I don't want to make more phone calls, but what's a man to do? Hello. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Nancy, what's up? I think I might be in danger. Why? What's happened? Someone is trying to draw attention to the castle by making the monster myth come true. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? I think I've been brought in to be the next victim. The necklace, the dress, the stories, it all adds up. Why would anyone want to do that? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm right yet. Nancy, if that's true, then this is very serious. I know. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Nancy, hi. Thanks, see you later. Get it done. <laughs> I'm working on it, Marcus. Edwin's Borough. Edwin. Edwin, I think, was one of the wimpier characters in Stronghold 2. I think he's one of the first ones that you absolutely crush. Ah, Stronghold 2 had his problems, but at least it wasn't Stronghold 3. Yes. Bye. See you later. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> Why? Why do we keep finding something doing it and then just still ending up with no clue what to do? That parrot was right, Nancy Drew needs to get a clue. Hi, Nancy. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye, Nancy. Mm, unless there is yet more in that basement for us to discover, did I already talk to the runt? Hi. Thanks, see you later. See ya. Uh, I was watching somebody play Stronghold ro uh, Warlords. Wrong Lords. Uh, was it Baron? Was it Marek? No, someone around here, but the game did not look good. Nancy, what is going on? I'll let you go. Bye. See you later, Nancy. 
Yeah, Stronghold 2 was obviously finished, just not very good. Stronghold 3, though, oh, you could smell the lack of budget. Okay, um, getting nowhere fast here. These so-called clues we're finding don't seem to be advancing towards anything. What does my little notebook tell me? Girl burying something to hide it from the monster. Yeah, but we found the buried thing. Oh, dang, she writes everything down in her journal here for the translations as well. Oof. There might be other references to the daughter around the castle. Hmm. Phone numbers, the observations, the suspects. Still haven't figured out what Anya was doing out in the forest, though. Can we go back out to the forest? Please tell me no. Oh, dang. Yeah, but Baron, you're incapable of saying something's bad. Firefall's downfall, uh, downfall. Really sad, and don't see them bouncing back anytime soon either. Oh, that was uh, one of the dolls from Castle Malloy. That's right, I know Nancy Drew so well I can identify all these little bits and bobs from the various games. Not true, Outpost 2 was terrible. What in the world was Outpost 2? What do we do, or where do we go? I already made those people run away before. There wasn't much to be had. We've hopefully done all of the... Uh, all of the decoding that we'll ever have to do in this game, because we've done it three times now, and it's not getting any newer. Can 1990s RTS and... Oh yeah, well, Crimmins. Don't slide that one my way, please. RTS. Oh, thank, thank goodness it's a dead and dying genre. Oh, that was the one with all the honking. Yes, yes, I remember now. Well, you, you kept playing it, so more power to you. What in the world do we do? We phoned everybody, we talked to everybody. I can only imagine that maybe there is somehow yet more I need to do underground. We already searched through the forest, unless there's something else I need to find in the forest. I don't want to leave the castle yet. Oh, thank God. Okay, doesn't look like we have to do more there. Is there anything more to be had down here then? There is the daughter, remember her? Not really. What do we call him, the monster? Phineas J. Monster, the forest fiend, Dr. Monster, Finister Frank. Boy Monster Sights and Andrew. Guess the name Andrew didn't really take off. If it were today, it would be called something like Monster McMonster Face. Oh, 
already opened you up, but it was just a... an Easter egg? Well, just an Easter egg. Finding those in Nancy Drew ain't easy. Hello, have we been up here before? Son of a gun! We finally found a dungeon. Looks like something could fit in here. Finally found the dungeon. Okay, do we have anything that would reasonably fit in that? The medal, uh, the medallion thing, perhaps. Ooh. I'm glad I wasn't standing over that. I'd better be careful around that trap door. Don't go in that trap door. Ah! What the <laughs> Nancy? <laughs> Took a while for them to ditch the good news, bad news thing on fatal errors. Right, so I think that closed it up. There's our trap door. Here's a regular door, it doesn't want to open. Goodness, it's dark here, can I have my flashlight? No. And who would have thought? It was a place we were trying to get through all this time. So... This looks like it's about the legend. And there are letters in the corner. Some of the other ones have letters on them already, but I wonder... What do we do with that? One part of the legend mentions a girl burying something. Yeah, we already found that. Whoever comes down here leaves money for us. I suppose I could try putting this in the other way. I'd better be careful around that trap door. Mm-hmm. Talking, what else we got? Wait, didn't this just take me back out the way I came in? I think so, and I it even sounded like it closed behind me. Okay, so we found a hidden area here. We don't really have much to do with it either. But maybe we went to tell people, hey, I found a trapdoor route. We'll tell all these suspicious people about it. Oh, oh, Lucas. Lucas was, uh, was saying that he knew of a secret passage, but he wasn't willing to tell anybody. What do you want? Do you do a lot of traveling? Yes. What's your favorite thing about traveling? These days, less and less. Since I've been a little girl, the world has decided to spend each day forgetting what makes it special. What does that mean? A long time ago, when you would travel from town to town, each place would be different. You'd never know what you were going to find over the next hill. But now, it's all the same. Now you just wonder, will the fast food place be on the left side or the right side of the street? I feel bad for your generation. There's less to explore. I still think there's a lot to see. There is. But there is also less. What you think of as wild now is nothing. Too many people want to tame this world, and too many people think that they have. What do you mean? The world is a dangerous place. It will always be. Your grandparents and parents spent their lives rounding the sharp corners off of the world to make it safer. But all that they've done is make the world uniform and boring. It is still just as cruel and deadly. I agree. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. Mm, too many truth bombs in this game. Can't handle it. It's also not what we signed up for. All right, Lucas. Come on. I gotta make progress here. Can't be done. Can't be outdone by the hey, Dutchman. Nancy. What's up with all of the signs everywhere? 
Oh, yeah, those are weird, right? Who put them up? Carl? He's always so worried about everything. They used to be funnier, but then they made him change them. What were the old signs like? Oh, they were great. It was like, warning, stairs, falling may occur. Or, avoid chucking hazards. Use the buddy system at dinner. What happened to the signs? Someone made him take them down. You seem to know a lot about what happens in the castle. Totally. Oh, do you want to hear a secret? Sure. Carl has a bunch of love letters in his desk. You've got to see them. They are really funny. Bye. See you later. Seems ill-timed, given that we were laughing at those love letters ages ago. Right. Do you want to tell me about underground hidden Hello, pastures? Nancy. The girl in the painting, was she really the Freiherr's daughter? Did the girl in the legend really exist? Who knows? She's not real. I mean, those girls really did disappear, but that's just an artist's guess of what they look like. She probably looked nothing like that. The part of those drawings that always gets me, they just seem to be looking to you for help. I always just want to say, I'm so sorry, there's nothing I can do for you. Don't stop running. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. What? <laughs> sorry, something went over my head there. Okay, come on. <laughs> Give me something that seems like progress. Not sure if the dungeon could have been found much earlier, because to get down there, you need at least the torch. Where do we get the torch again? We certainly stole it. From where? I can't remember. We grabbed it and said, ooh, this could be useful. Found the torch. Oh, when do we do that? I think that's when we followed Anya outside. Nancy, what is going on? What's the story with the De Ungeheuer Lichkeit Nacht Festival? It's simply the best night of the year! Well, normally it is. This year, I don't know. What does the festival celebrate? Every year, the whole castle gets together to celebrate another year without a monster sighting. I don't understand. Why are you having a celebration this year? There are strange things going on, but we're not sure that it's the monster. Also, we... We already paid for the custom-made cake. Well, if you've already got the cake. Truth is, it's best to give everybody something positive to focus on. These are frightening times. I keep finding references to these missing girls. Those I do not like to talk about. You're supposed to help me out here. I need to know what they mean. Those girls... There's a monster's past victims. What do you mean? This monster, this is not the first time he's been to this castle looking for a victim. I've gathered that. Why are the victims always young women? No one knows. Some say that the monster takes a bride and that the two live together deep in the forest. Is that what you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on now. What do you think happens? I do not want to know. Those girls never come back. That alone is enough to keep me up at night. And Nancy, if the monster is back, you do well to distance yourself from what you see in those paintings. What do you mean? We can only guess what will happen next by what's happened before. And if anyone here looks like one of the girls in the paintings, it'd be you. I'd like to play a round of Raid. Great! And away we go, because your game sucks, and you suck. And that did not give me anything that smelt like progress. Holy moly, where do we even go from here? Mm. <laughs> Jeez. Do I make more phone calls? Do I do the rounds with everyone again? Yes. So many I'll let invisible you go. Bye. triggers. Goodbye, Nancy. Mm. Don't want to make 
phone call? No, I want to talk to the other two and then make phone calls. And if that doesn't get us anywhere, then I am beyond stumped. So that's the little runt and the lassie. What's up? Do you know what the stories about these missing girls are all about? I heard that all those girls, they were killed by the monster. Do you think that's true? I hope not. See you later. See ya! Okay. Hi. Can you tell me a little more about the festival? It's the best. It's a shame that you're here this year. Normally it's so much bigger. It's this big get-together with lots of dancing and great food and great stories. Oh, and there is this fantastic cake. It's just amazing. What is the festival a celebration of? Well, the story goes that when the monster took his first victim, the whole castle got together and built a huge bonfire and took an oath to find and destroy the monster. They met each year to renew their pledge, and they'd burn a monster made of sticks in effigy. But as the years went by, it just became an excuse to get the whole castle together for a fun night. Well, that's the story most years. See you later. See you later. Sounds a bit Guy Fawkesy, really. Jinx, I haven't had a Guy Fox night in forever. Hey, Nancy. Bye. See you later. Oh, man. Feels like I need to do the rounds after every time I get a new bit of dialogue pie because as we saw those oh, hello, Nancy. those I'll two bits of conversation, Bye. they weren't Bye. there last time we spoke to them. Oh boy, how did we rate this game on our own uh, on our own charts again? Oh, hello, Fraulein. Bye. See you later, Nancy. Might have gotten flated by Marcus, and to be fair, Marcus is great. See you later. See you later. Hey, Nancy. I found a dungeon. That is really cool. I wish I was there. Anything interesting in there? Well, if creepy is interesting. Bye. See ya. Hiya, Nancy. I found the castle's dungeon. Wait, a real dungeon? Yeah. Dungeons are crazy if you think about it. I'm so glad they are not that common over here. Agreed. You know, it just occurred to me that someone had to invent the first dungeon. Invent? Well, they didn't always exist, so one day someone had to say, you know, the living room is nice and the kitchen's great, very convenient, don't get me wrong, but you know what would really spruce up the place? Our own private jail. When you put it that way, it does sound really strange. No joke. I'd steer clear of that place if I were you. At least as much as you can. So, how's Joe? The same old Joe. It's hard to be in a bad mood around Joe. Have you noticed that? Yes. It's like he won't stand for it. I know. He'll just wear you down until you agree to have a good time. He and Frank are really good friends to have. I agree. So, how's the search for adventure coming? I've found the perfect thing. What's that? It's a bit of a surprise. But we'll need a team. Maybe Bess and George? Perfect. I can't tell you too much more, but we'll need the perfect team name. I'll work on it. Great. This is going to be so much fun. I'll let you go. Bye. See you soon. Yeah, bottom of good tier actually makes a lot of sense for this one. you got to remember this is in terms of Nancy Drew games, not in terms of overall games. Yeah, it still doesn't let me down there. Always takes me to that. I thought maybe there'd be some way to go back down into the underground from there, but I don't think the game wants you going back out to the forest, so hopefully that means I found everything there is to find down there. Maybe I missed something in the dungeon, though. And I think we opened up a way to the dungeon that we can get through from here, right? Down and round and through and ups and downs and... Here it is. Hmm... Okay, how am I meant to get to the dungeon if I can't open you back up? I 
don't get me wrong, I'm pretty happy if I cannot get back to the dungeon. It limits the amount of places for me to uh, shake until it spits out some progress, but none of that seemed to help much. No, I think the I think the Venice game was uh, was around there, good to your right, but. What's up? I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. But 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 it wasn't showing off particularly well. Hello. I'll feed us in. It's a shame I'll he's not uh, still around. If he was, I'm sure he wouldn't uh, appreciate it being brought up like that. But uh, Serenader Walters was the runner for that game, and man. Seldom do we have people tilt that hard around here. I could think I'm a little too tired for tilting though, but what in the world are we even meant to do? There's so many moments in this that's just find the progress. Guess I can try checking the cameras again. <laughs> He's still playing with his wee toys. These are not toys. Oh, I have no intention of playing Carl at Raid. I hope we don't have to beat him. Scopa, though. The Venice game forced you to win at Scopa before you could proceed. This puzzle is still the same as before, and we've already solved it, so I'm not going to do you again. Oh, that money would disappear buying the tat inside the gift shop. Nancy, what is going on? See you later. Goodbye! Oh, jings, right. What is there even to do? Getting to the... dungeon necessitated... Well, getting to the underground part first, and I think we can't get there anymore because we can't seem to go outside. Or at least not outside the castle walls. Too soon to leave. Maybe there's somewhere else to explore around here. It's too soon to leave. Maybe there's somewhere else to explore around here. Maybe. Oh, oh right. No, no. What am I thinking? We can still go down the the well. Oh yeah, there were these letters on the the sheets that we found, right? But I don't know what. I don't know what we would make of that. O M M E T K Metcom. Do I have another one? Certainly not that. Certainly not that. I tried the glass making room and I couldn't open my way through there, but we could still go down here. Yes, Scopa was so good. Yeah, I'd be taking Scopa over this, that's for sure. Right, this just takes us back out to our own room, correct? We don't want to go through there, it just kicks us out to our own room. Yeah, I'm starting to worry that Nitro is going to be faster. And that, that would be, that'd be a tough pill to swallow. It's okay, I'd, I'd swallow it by ignoring that it ever happened. And, you know, again, he's got that uh, natural advantage. He knows German. Probably knows how these Germans think. Anything else to be had here? Hmm. 
Are we sure there's nothing in this? Can't open the doors or anything, just peek on through. And then... You know, we opened up this trap door, but we didn't really looks pretty dangerous. go down and explore it, did we? I'd better be careful around that trap door. Can I go down it with something? You gotta remember, I haven't used the tongs at all. Is there something that I can... Ah, oh, my days, Nancy. Oh wait, the monster broke my fall. What's the implication there? I'd better be careful around that trap door. <clears throat> okay. I don't think it's something that you're meant to throw items down. Better watch my step around this. <laughs> Even looking at it is too much. Too much for the Drew crew. And we can't seem to walk around it. looking at there just takes me over to the part where we shove in that necklace. This is just taking us around. Nothing else I can see. Oh, oh, what is this? What is this? It appears to be nothing. Maybe this is the caved-in room that crushed people? This bit stays open for us now, but for what purpose? Take something out of the oven with tongs, huh? Yeah, could be worth a try. Although if we ever open up the oven without the guard up, we just get roasted. <laughs> Lizard isn't happy about the hint though. Well, too bad. It's been seen now. But sadly, no, we don't appear to be able to tong it up. Those are the tongs, right? Nah, no tonging. No tonging at all. And if we open this up without the uh, the shield... Woomph. Frazzled Drew. It is a little concerning that the tongs have not been used at all, though. I tried tonging my way down the trap door, but the game was having none of it. Is there anything I can tong here? No, I've not seen any kangaroos. Okay, I am running out of ideas here. Well, I think I ran out of ideas a couple hours ago. Progress is rough to find. It's not unthinkable that there's still something hiding from us down in that basement, though. 
door has closed itself on us, so if we want to go down into the underground, we've got to take the well route again. But James, we've done so much for so many people and it's just not given us any progress. How bizarre. Hey, Nancy. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Oh, Euristo Boom is always worth a watch. Hi, Nancy. See you later. Goodbye. Probably the best compilation that we've ever had around here. Not that we've had many, and no, uh, no disrespect to any of Pepper's work, but Euristo Boom was just an instant classic. Hi. See you later. Bye. Okay, I am, I am out of ideas here. Feels like I have looked everywhere and done everything. Now I obviously have not, otherwise we'd be done with the game. But I am beyond struggling to think where we go from here. You know, I thought this would be a happy, easy, fun time blasting through this game, but I am the one getting blasted here. And hang on, we can go back out through here? We just said we don't want to go back out here. What's your game, Drew? Uh, okay, I didn't actually intend to come back here. Oh, oh yeah, I'm enjoying my stay in Austria so far. I suppose except for playing this game. <laughs> this was a mistake. Hey, Nitro, maybe you can offer some, uh, some words of wisdom. Feels like there is nothing left to do, but there must be, because we're not done with the game. It's possible I missed something down here. I mean, I missed this thing for a while. We grabbed the... Grabbed a bit of cloth, which for some reason didn't go into the inventory. But we haven't been able to confront anybody about all the cloth either. Just having another look around, see if there isn't some tiny little item that has... Uh, Evaded my ever watchful eyes. Hang on, what is this? Uh, okay, well, obviously not important because there's nothing to do with it. Yeah, I, I found the Easter egg. Needed both the keys, but I had both the keys. I suppose you'd have to, there's no way you could get this far without the keys, surely. Ooh. A map of the passages. This should come in handy. Okay. Just had to look under the rock. That said, a map doesn't seem like progress at all, does it? And it's not particularly useful without knowing where I've already been. Hmm. What am I to make of all this? Let me think, there's an exit to the woods, an exit to my room, and an exit to the boiler room. So does that mean there's another exit that I've missed? Oh yeah, exit to the dungeon. So dungeon, forest, my room, and boiler room. And we've done all of them. No, the boiler room was the dungeon, so maybe there's a fourth exit that I need to check. Let's see if we can get our bearings, shall we? Like, here's some chains. Do we have chains here? Uh, well, those are chains, right? So if we go out from the chains to see the tree and then we take a right where does this take us out to this takes us out to the woods okay good let's check all the exits here then so from here if we follow the way right there's this collapsed thing i think we found the the scarf there, that sounds about right. And if we follow still... Why does it even turn this way? Was, was that area even on the map? A little bit. So what is supposedly out here? This is the dungeon, right? Yes. We go go. So 
something on the ground there. That's just broken boards and whatnot. So, didn't we come out and then go along here? Or did I somehow... To Wait, I'm back at the chains. How does this even happen? Anyway, I'm back at the chains, so... Let's go out towards the end here. We spot that. And then there's the exit up that we went into. Come along here, there'll be this shield here. Follow it around. And then down to the end there's the Easter egg. Came down. Turned left. Go down there, take two lefts. A left, another left. And then a right. And then a right, so we're staring at this thing. Meaning there's an exit over here. Well, supposedly. Ah yes, and this one takes us up to... Our room, for weird reasons. However... If instead of that, we turn away from you, we can go along here, find all these newspapery things, and then. Ooh. Oh, this is the. I have to find another way out. Oh, this is to the well. The well is the fourth exit. Ah, crumbs. Okay, so I can't think of anything that I haven't done here, then. Staring back at you. Have I seen whatever that is? So, well, our room, the outside, and the dungeon. Oh yeah, seems like Mr. Maze. He always has his filthy way with me. That's where we found the map, of course. Well, maybe having found the map is a trigger for someone to want to talk to me about something. Heaven help me what, though? So I guess we'll have to do the rounds of talking to everyone again. Yeah, the shield does nothing. Okay, back to it then. Hello, everyone. Let me show you a map and see if that unlocks something, oh, anything. Oh, Nancy. I'll let you go. Bye. Goodbye. So, nothing out of the old bat. Surprised we aren't talking to people about the, the whole dungeon thing. Hello. See you later. See you later, Nancy! <laughs> Definitely don't want to play a game of Raid. Uh, I don't want to do phone calls yet. Phone calls should be the last thing. Talk to the runt. That's up. Thanks, see you later. See ya! Oh boy. Talk to you. Hi. No. Nope. See you later. I'll feed us in. We'll do the, do the rounds on the phone then. And if that's still not doing it, I am at the end of my tether. Please, game, where is the puzzle? That must be the Freiherr's daughter from the legend. I need to find an undamaged version of this painting. But why? Why? <laughs> We've stared at that painting so many times. Why now? Oh, man. Okay. 
All right, do you do you have Hi the again. painting? No. Nope. See you later. Auf Wiedersehen. Maybe there's a book with the painting in it, although I don't recall finding such a thing. Ah, perhaps the old bat will know. Or maybe it'll be here? No? Hi. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Undamaged version of that painting. Maybe they sell it around here? No, that's just the Assassin's Creed book. Mm. Hi, Nancy. Thanks, see you later. Bye. You're no help either. Do we have any old books with those pictures in them? Nobody wants to tell us about it. <clears throat> oh, maybe maybe the old rich guy has one just hanging around. Oh, yes, I have. I made a copy back whenever. Hey, Nancy. I'll let you go. Bye. See ya. Did the game stutter? It stuttered because I clicked off of it. Uh, you make a good point, though. We have not saved in forever, so let's change that. Another version of that painting. Hmm. Where, oh, where? All right, let's talk to the eccentric rich guy on the phone. Have to translate that. Thanks for me to say some restoration work was required. So what am I meant to scrape it off somehow? I can't interact with the painting at all. Hmm. Hang on, don't we have some kind of book in our place here? No, it's not a book. No, thank goodness. None of these books here are interactable. All right, let's try the rounds again. Marcus here. Thanks, see you later. Bye. Hi, Nancy. Thanks, see you later. Catch you later. Did you think of any team names? The Clue Crew. Perfect. I love it. Thanks. See you later. See you uh, soon. Thanks, Ned. Good old Nickerson. Okay, right. Cheng's mullings. What is there even left to interact with? Can we just start making wild accusations at this point? Okay. Nope to be had, nope to be had. But that is the original painting, right? It's just had restorative work done on it. So a quick glance around here. Maybe there'd be a book with a copy of it. Oh, the music being gone is a little creepy. We can look at this thing, but uh, he doesn't mind me checking the back, and he doesn't notice that we've already stolen the key from it. Also, why do we want to look at the original? I'm so lost on what Nancy wants to do here. Oh, hello, Fräulein. Thanks. See you later. Auf Wiedersehen. Mm. 
Does this come down here somewhere? One part of the legend mentions girl burying something to hide it from the monster. Yeah, but we already we already dug it up, didn't we? I can't think of having seen that painting around anywhere else. So, 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 so. Well, I suppose I could look at some of these other paintings, but it's not much in the way of cameras pointing at them as we go around. I don't think we've done any sequence breaking. Certainly okay. done some breaking, though. Bye. See you later. Ah, maybe there's a postcard. A postcard I with it. I wonder if this there could be go. the undamaged version of the painting of the Freiherr's daughter. I should take a closer look at this postcard. Oh, finally. Take that and I check it out. Anything behind that sticker. It looks like there were letters in the corner of the original painting. Ah, oh, dangerous amounts of progress. Okay, so does that mean we're gonna find letters if we look at the painting itself? Or just that we have a lot of letters to somehow put together? Freaking Da Vinci code right here. E N. But we have the other bits as well, right? E N T K O M. M E. And then never mind this piece of junk. E N M E O M T K. What, what the heck do we even make with all that? With all that, and there's nothing saying I haven't missed some kind of uh, scrap of paper that had more letters on it. Check and see if I don't have anything else with a bit of letters on them. Of these letters. Well, I guess we should do the rounds again, see if anybody knows anything. Hi, Nancy. See you later. Bye, Nancy. What to what to make of letters must be playing a game of raids. No, I hope not. Well, there was the cipher machine yes. thing, but I wouldn't know what See to use later. as my ciphers. Goodbye. Have to translate that. What's up? Thanks, see you later. See ya! Hi. Oh, I'll let you go. Dear, Bye. Oh dear, right? No one has anything for me. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, if we don't get something good in the phone, I am still in trouble. What a horrible game of Find the Puzzle. See you later. See you later. Hey, Nancy. Thanks. See you later. Catch you later. Nancy, how's it going? See you later. Bye. Okay, none of that's a help. Oh, dear, oh dear. 
Right, maybe if I type it in, it'll help me. So we've got E-N, there's also that G on it, but I'm sure that's not important. You are not what I'm looking for. You're also not what I'm looking for. Right, we've got TK, E-N, TK, M-E, Don't mind the stuttering, that's just me tapping in and out of the game. And OM. Om me mean hmm. Not seeing how that could fuse together to make anything useful. I suppose it does worry me slightly that we still have access to the cipher machine. No, that's not the cipher machine, that's the zappy energy thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Enigma machine never ends. We've already used it three times, I hope it ends. Besides, not really much point if we don't know what to set these at. We don't, as far as I know, have any clue for that. Oh man, TK, TK, Metcom, Metcomet, Comet, Metcomet, hmm, yeah we've only had to do three ciphers so far, what do we get out of them, yeah. Carl's Day Planner, we already used that. Daughter is step one, yes. And then, where's that other one? Here we go. Find young woman, cast as victim. You have one M too many for comma ten. And, and even then, how would we use that? I'd have to translate that. Oh boy. I am not pulling a Dr. Massange here, I'm pulling an Alpha Gamma. In the world am I meant to do? Maybe go find a place to use letters before playing Scrabble. I can't think of anywhere where we punch in letters other than the Enigma machine. here. Mm. Hang on, hang on. When in doubt, grab a bit of dosh. How enjoyable is this game compared to the previous Nazi? Oh man, I don't know. Uh, there are some good parts to it, but we've got that horrible find the puzzle part, which is where I'm at right now. Pretty rough as a game, but as a Nancy Drew game, it's still one of the better ones in my eyes. Nancy Drew games can be tough ones to swallow. This is actually one of the one of the older Nancy Drew games because it still has this old layout. Looks pretty good though. Where in the world can I put these letters to use? We already solved this puzzle. And this this one was very easy. But what else? We've already done Mastermind. I'm not masterminding again. Right. 
Nitro just mentioned the forest, which made me think maybe, just maybe, I managed to miss something in the forest. Because there is a whole lot of just samey samey out there. But the Drew crew might not want to go out. Oh no, she wants to go back out. We do have that map of the outside, don't we? Well, that's not it. Uh, this doesn't show us too much, although it does say... It does give us a general direction layout thing. We already looked around here. Is that monster still prowling around? No, it is not. Stills. That's the tree, right? Passed by the tree, we come along here. Is there something over there? This is just our way down into the basement, nothing spectacular. Nancy Drew did mention something about the rocks before. Oh, this is me just heading back towards the, uh, the castle. check there and we dug something up. That was the necklace, which although we can use it to open up a trap door, that, that, it feels like there's been absolutely nothing to do in the basement, which is weird. Very weird indeed. We went to the basement and went, ooh, there's a dungeon here, and we called up uh, Frank Hardy and Ned Nickerson about it. But beyond that, there was nothing we did there, nothing to get. And we didn't talk to anyone about it, so maybe, just maybe, there's something that I haven't done there, which is weird, because I have been there three times. Can you show the inventory? Yeah, sure. Sharp shears, we use those. We use the antique key and the drawer key. We use the shovel. There's Lucas message, the old burr, we showed those. We did the clock winder on the clocks. We have not used the tongs, nor have we found anything that reasonably seems like uh, like it could have the tongs used on it. Necklace we can use to open the trapdoor, dictionary used for translation, pry bar we use to open up a barrel to find some patches. The easter egg, we use the flashlight to get down the well, we use the cutout to figure out a message, we use the hex to open up the wall in the well. And then we have these things, which are, what, what's it, what is it called? Legend Clue. Legend Clue, Legend Clue, Legend Clue, and Legend Clue. Castle plans, some decoded messages, the freaking passages map. Hmm. I don't think I ever finished a game of Radius or wanted to play. I said, yeah, and then ditched it. Don't tend to bother with mini games in Nancy Drew games. So we're back in the dungeon. Seems to be a whole lot of not much I can do here, apart from insert the medallion, turn it around and get not much out of it. Hmm. No rules said go to every A. 
What is every A? There is this which we don't appear to be able to do anything with. Okay, Jake, you're now officially slower than Nitro. Whoa, now that's that's a tough one. Jake's getting tempting to load up. Um, the legends, Jake, the legends. Carl's day planner, we already did. The daughter, well, we already did that too. Find young woman to cast as victim. Well, that's us, is it not? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is now closed. James Nitro did the whole thing in seven hours and nine. And here I am. I must be about seven hours ten by now. And I spent so much time unable to find the freaking puzzles. That's how it goes sometimes in Nancy Drew. That said, though, I have no clue what is meant to be done at this point. Oh, I hope it's not a looking for stick situation. At least for Jagger, he knew that stick finding is what needs to be done. Here, I don't have any clue what's meant to be done. Mm. Oh, hello, Nancy. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. Last time you tried using the tongs, you came from the dungeon. What if you try it again? Last time you tried using tongs, you came from the dungeon. I don't know what you mean by that. You want me to use the tongs in the dungeon again? Well, I'd have to go down and round and through to the dungeon once more. But we don't have many other better things to do. Or any other better things to do. Oh, on the fire. Um, we did use the tongs on the fire, if you mean the um, the glass blowing fire. But it can't even be interacted with once you open it up. Good try though, if it'll make you happy. Can't believe the mods are being such sticks in the mud. It's not a weekly one shot or anything like that. Well, such is their privilege. So we open it up, but uh, the tongs, they do nothing. Oh, I can tell, Nitro. Well, they won't be able to stop me opening up your run and going, Oh, so that's how it's done, but I'm not quite that desperate yet. I might be soon, though. Why are people saying below A? Below a what? us back up. Hey, that means we could have come down to the dungeon a long, long time ago. But that doesn't do anything for us. At all. I do not like the idea of that being a trigger for things. Right, let's go talk to people. Hello, Nancy. 
See you later. Just Goodbye. do those rounds. Oh man, I'm getting so tired here. It's past midnight. Okay. Hi. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Hey, Nancy. Thanks. See you later. See you later. Uh, actually, that only leaves the Burgermeister. Hi again. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Mm. I'm not sure that was progress, though. Nobody wants to talk to us and say anything new. We still have these letters that I have no idea what to do with. See you later. Get it done. Hi, Nancy. I'll let you go. Bye. See ya. Starting to think that wasn't progress. Hi, Nancy. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Okay, no, that appears to have done a fat lot of nothing for us. gonna be so knackered tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so knackered now. Oh. Did Jake forget about the real pick? Well, we've got the picture here, and we've got our picture of the, the this. So we see there's an EN there. What does EN mean? I don't know. But I know that we have four sets of letters, E, N, T, K, M, E, and O, M. The significance is lost on me. I have to translate that. Hmm. Well, chat, I am more than open to ideas at this point. Start the game over. Be rough. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not giving up. We'll get this game done tonight, one way or another. But you know, if chat want to pitch in a bit, it's not like everybody running the Nancy Drew marathon did it completely on their own. Oh, far from it. Strong Luke Cole shouldering Borm through a fair chunk of his. Hello. Thanks, see you later. See you later. Mm. <laughs> Christ. What now? What in the world now? Not blinding ourselves on the light, that's for sure. Pixel hunty check, see if there isn't something to interact with that I've been missing this whole time. Use a medallion from this side again. Hmm. So one side opens that, that up. Looks pretty dangerous. We know that. That 
closes it. Then that opens you. And we have been all the way through this thing already. I I'm quite confident there is nothing I've missed down here because yeah, we've been through and through. We grabbed the scarf, we grabbed the uh, the weird patch thing, although it's not in our inventory. Grab the map as well. Just thinking about it, the map placement was probably easier to immediately find if you came in through that way. Maybe there's something new here. There was a monster sighting on the map from the old lady, I think. Um... Monster sighting in the dungeon, sure, but beyond that, then again, maybe I should be checking the dungeon for that. down to the dungeon once again and see if there's something more of those bleeding ciphers. Oh god, I would hope not every one of them has a cipher paper. Those ciphers, it's kind of cute the first couple of times, but I am, I am done with those. I should think we would have found the paper the amount of times we've been looking around down here. I am well overdue a uh, drink more gal, but finished off my water hours ago, and I am a thirsty bugger right now. So this looks like the signed entrance. I mean, this is the dungeon part down here. Uh, most more likely so. See anything? Having consulted a guide, I think I know what's missing, says Fishlips. Does he now? So it's strange that we can look into this, but not see anything. Well, I mean, we see something, but there's no items or anything. Not even anything interactable there. Is that a light switch over there? There's something there, isn't there? Nothing we can use, though. else about monster sightings here either. And again, nothing to interact with. Well, I'm all ears, Fishy. You think you know what is? I want to hear it. However, I am very thirsty. I'm going to go and uh, top up my water.
There we go. Right. <laughs> I am way above using game facts for these runs. Well, for now at least. I haven't been driven to enough desperation, but crivens. What am I missing? Don't have a ghost of a clue, and Fishlips has not furthered his I think I know what's missing comment. So either he is pulling my leg, or he just wants to stealth gloat and not help out at all. How many letter clues do you have? I was waiting until you get back. I have four of them. I've got this, uh, this picture, and I've got three snippets. Some kind of page 17, page 19, and page 11. If it was something like 16, 17, 19, then I would think, oh, I'm missing page 11, but I doubt I'm missing that many. It wasn't unreasonable that uh, we might be missing another cipher page at another monster sighting area, but didn't see any such item there. Holy moly, I am getting all sorts of defeated here. Nobody wants to talk to me anymore. Okay, go drug the old lady, but, but we drugged her, we drugged her twice! We already played her game of Mastermind and we got uh, something out of it, it was some kind of snippet. If I have to drug her again, then that would... I mean, we have plenty of money, and I suppose drugging old ladies is reward unto itself. So I don't know where we meant to use the, uh, the letters that we're finding. Hasn't been anything other than a cipher machine that takes letter input. Hello again, Nancy. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Hmm. If you run out of money, I wonder how you make more. Maybe it respawns on the map? Now, drugging the old lady and going through her belongings was pretty fun, especially the part where we... Uh, the part where we found out that we could actually rotate the items, because until then it was a horrifically difficult task. Anyway, Fishy wants us oh, to hello, uh, drug the Would old lady. Would you like some food? Oh, that looks so good, thank you. <sighs> All right, down she goes. We've already beaten this game of Mastermind, so I can't imagine there's any use in playing it again. And actually, aside from that, there's a whole load of nothing here. Come on, fishy. We, we drugged the old lady, now what? There are two things in there, you blind fool. Oh my god. I better hang on to this. I could have sworn I'd clicked for that before, but apparently not. Alright, well now I have five of these. Remember those legends, Jake? No, no I don't. Legend clue. So this one's... that's TK. We already had TK. N star. Hmm. N star. 
star. Hi. What's the real story with the monster? I do not know enough to say for sure, but I do know it is tragic. There are two choices. One, the monster's real. He's a living mystery, some terrible abomination hiding in the woods, something that doesn't belong in this rational world. It could just as easily be something else, something worse. Like what? The worst monsters are self-made. There are people like you and like me, but they have taken a terrible turn. They let everything awful, everything sad take up all of the breathing room in their hearts until all they know is revenge. But if it's just one person, why the pattern? Why always the same girls? That I don't know. Every generation has its troubles, Nancy. When the troubles can't be contained, the monster comes out. One thing I do know, it's monsters, human or otherwise, can't stand hope. They can't stand being near a good heart. They try to destroy anything honest and good. They can't bear to remember how they once were. Thanks, see you later. Goodbye, Nancy. There we go, Jinx. If that's a bit of progress, I dread to think how many hours we've lost in not having that. Come to my office quickly, something terrible has happened. Ugh. Probably three, I'd say. Right, something terrible. Sounds good. Nancy! Something terrible has happened! It's Lucas! He's missing! Could it just be another one of Lucas's pranks? I wish it was. It's not his style. He wants to be there to see what's happening. Anyway, he... He's just not capable of something like this. You've got to make sure he's okay, Nancy. I thought you didn't like him. This is not about liking, Nancy. Everyone in this castle is family. See you later. See you later, Nancy. All right, where's that run, run off to? He said he knows about the secret passageway, so I think a good chance he's actually in the basement. I'll have a quick scour first though, especially with you. It's Lucas, he's gone. I'm sure it's nothing. He's probably off trying to play some trick on Carl. No, I've searched everywhere. He would never just leave like that. He knows how dangerous it is to go outside the castle walls at night, especially now. You've got to help me find him, Nancy. M must I, though? Hello again, Nancy. Thanks, see you later. Bye, Nancy. All right, but I, uh, I do reckon he's going to be down in basement area. So off we trot yet again. This is a pretty nice shortcut to have, though. I wish I found this, oh, I don't know, five hours ago. Yeah, Chang's looks like a uh, drug and the old lady's the uh, solution to all of our problems. Lucas? Is everything okay? The creature got me and locked me up in here. I'll get you out. Hang tight. Looks like I need to slide the bar across to unlock the door. I'll have to avoid those pegs while it's moving. Avoid the pegs? Slide the bar? What? I can't let the bar hit any of the buttons. Oh, right. I see. I see now. We press the buttons. Yeah. Is there logic to how these things move around? but I think I'll just mash my way to victory. Oops, can't 
do that. Mash my way to victory. <laughs> Brute force has gone this as far. I can't believe I didn't check that other thing in her purse. How could I have not checked the other thing in her purse? Oops, can't do that. Or maybe I should spend a little bit of time thinking about the logic here. Mm, I don't really want to though. Yeah, klepto drew. Oh boy, it's not a lot of not a lot of time to switch between these. I better hurry. Do that. I better hurry. Oh dear, am I on a time limit here? smooth run to the end there and then I gotta hope I can mash the right one for the very end. Maybe I should test some. Not that. Not that. Not that. Ooh, well let's hope it's you. what we need the Scottish guy to come up and say stop messing with that and then that becomes the bad end faster Nancy sounds like you want all of them active before you switch the button to change it Gets us all the way to the end there, but now I need to activate everything on the end bit there. Okay, maybe those two and then something to eliminate them. So that's a U and a U and then a. I need to finish and fast! We're working on it, Nance. Oh my Baron must be having a great time. See, this gets us good all the way to. Oh no! <laughs> you probably won't survive. So, maybe I should figure out how do we change it from here? Feels like I'd want those two on and then. Uh, nothing seems to take it all out. Ah. Whatever I did there seems to work. God knows what I did though. Well, let's not worry about it. Oh boy, <laughs> painful puzzle. Well, this game's got no shortage of painful puzzles, that's for sure. takes care of it all the way down to there, but how do we 
take care of it beyond that. Mm, I just have to mash for the win here, although I don't have a lot of time to mash things. For the best. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> That's just to sand the wooden pegs down. Just set fire to them, let them burn out. Thanks, Nancy. I'm out of here. Hurry! I'm fine, Lucas. I need you to go and get help. Get anybody, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. I'm stuck. How could this happen to us? Maybe we can get out the way we... Hold on, is the monster going to come in? That'd be cool. What's going on? Hello? Is anyone out there? I need more light. I can't see anything. Dumped into the oubliette, thankfully, with all of our stuff. These images must hide some sort of clue. Oh, no. That one's of the necklace. I wonder if the legend pages I've been finding would help. Oh, no. Deary me. Well now, this will be unpleasant, won't it? Definitely brute forcible, but uh, I want to. I want to get to my bed soon. <laughs> I think food is off the cards by now, but bed would be nice. O M. I'm also gonna write down N star for this. Mm, what could it all mean? Maybe we have to go in order of the pages, but then what page would this be? There's that star there, right? And the star is only present there and there. And that's the latest page, so it should probably go star E-N-T-K. I found a bar that does hot food until 2.30. No, I'm not going to go for bar food. Our 19 is OM. Twenty-five is the N. It's okay. TK is 17. M-E is 11, so it's kind of like M-E should be before T-K, maybe? So E-N-M-E-T-K-O-M-N. Okay. Well, what does that tell us? Do all of these start with different uh, letters? I don't know. Well, E is probably from Ein Horsey thing. What's the M E? M E M E. 
Wait, Ein would be E I N, not E N. Hmm. Anything else start with E N? Son, Mond. Did I did I have an M O or an O M? I think it was O M. Hmm. E N E N. I don't think we've got anything with E N on it. pictures and the pages means something. Ah, oh, it wouldn't be unthinkable, would it? Now, the first one has the necklace on it. Hey, there's a well, and there was a, there's a well here as well, isn't there? Good Nacht! We get a steer? I wouldn't know, Casey. Let's not pretend I know any German around here. Change which one was Emmy? And it is OM. Right, Emmy has a towering boulder over a buried secret. Any of these look like boulders to you? Well, that kind of does, I suppose. And then the well is on 17. last one. Kind of the trap door thing, right? Did you... it! Oh, what's this? Oh no. The legend pages have letters oh, like this no. on them. I wonder if the order they were in before spells something. That must be the word I need to spell on the wall. It looks like I can start anywhere. Oh, sweet Jesus, not this. <laughs> I, I remember Nitro being here for quite some time. Well, if I can start anywhere. Can wow. I... It looks like the pieces slide to the next spot when they're put in. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's definitely not where I wanted you. I should have done the, the star, shouldn't I? But now I can't get you here, can't? No, no, I cannot. No, I cannot. So how do I get that over there first? And does it even work that way? Get me a Nancy Drew clue. Seems like everything advances by three, so I wonder if there's some way to do this more reasonably. Because if we start going around one, two, three, then we miss a whole lot, and then we miss what we can do to put into these. Connected. There's no starting point that I can use without scuppering everything else, right? 
Well, not necessarily. If we work backwards. That's what we need to do. Oh, jeez. Okay, right. Right, right, right. And. O. M. M. E. So then in here, star E N, star E N T K O. So then star E N, another star, I guess. And then the M E. K here, E here, and before the end of the star, another M here and a T here. Oh, thank goodness. You know, I'd still be stuck looking for the, uh, the last legend piece if it weren't for Fishy saving the day. Actually, it wasn't even fishy. Even after I drugged the old lady, I figured I could still only get access to the um, to the mastermind. I'll have to find another way out. Yes, you will, Drew. wasn't there before. These look like spare costume pieces. All of these supplies must belong to the castle's monster. Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Captive curse. Hey, the name drop. This email has tomorrow's date. It's a forgery. Looks like whoever this monster is is trying to frame Marcus. Ah, when we confronted Marcus about the emails before, he said, I don't know what you're talking about. Nancy should have considered they were forgeries. Memorable day, off to a good start, concerns, welfare. Too late to make changes, follow through, or you'll be terminated. Uh oh, uh oh. Stop! I know it's you! Uh, well, it's not going to be the old lady. And you had the other emails that were... Uh-oh. Don't oh, crikey. <laughs> I didn't think it would put me on a timer for that. Okay, it's going to be Angie. She was the one with forged emails and we just found more of them. Stop! I know it's you, Anya. Looks like I don't need this now, if you had any idea how hot it was in that thing. But enough with the niceties. Why are you doing this? This castle was never yours. It should have been. It would never have been Marcus's if it weren't for me. He can't have it without me. I don't understand. Neither did I. I pushed him every day to go out there to make a mark on the world. I made him. And one day he makes his first big deal and the very next day he leaves me for some stupid young blonde who really gets him. Then he was gone. This isn't exactly gonna bring him back. I don't want him back. I want him ruined. By scaring away his customers? Uh, no. What if he told me to orchestrate the creature sightings as a publicity stunt? 
Did he? No. But maybe I've got some emails and letters that say otherwise. And what if this publicity stunt led to a deadly accident? He'd be done. Over. Worse off than the day we met. You won't get away with this. Yes, I will. Do you still not see who you are in all this? You're the girl in the dress. And yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm the girl in the dress, and you're the monster, remember? You don't want to make an enemy of me. One day, I will find you. Well, there's a waiting list. I hope you're patient. Goodbye, Anya. Auf Wiedersehen, Nancy. You do know what that means, don't you? It means until we meet again. Yes, yes, I know. Dear Hannah, the police soon arrived, and Anya traded one cell for another. She swore her revenge, which may be something I need to keep an eye out for. In 20 to 30 years, Marcus was shocked by Anya's lingering anger. Despite their past, he really felt he could trust her. Now that the castle's dark history has gotten a little too personal, he's decided to put Castle Finster up for sale. He thanked me for my help and promised me a special surprise in the future. When Carl discovered that Castle Finster's monster was at long last a hoax, he decided maybe he wasn't really cursed after all. Having his board game approved seemed to reinforce that idea, and he decided to use earnings from selling his game to leave his job at the castle. I have a feeling he may be planning a trip to Canada to meet a certain special someone. Renata went off on her travels the very next day. She seems to have no intention of ever returning to Castle Finster. And I think she's happy about that. She thanked me for all of the snacks and told me to always keep an eye out for her on the road. I hope to meet her again. Maybe I'll even hear the story of our time together in Castle Finster. Lucas and his family moved away from the castle. At first, he seemed sad to leave the castle behind. But after the package I just got, it looks like he's already back to his old self. He promises he won't be dressing up as a monster anytime soon. Knowing Lucas, that probably means he's got something better planned. We'll just have to wait and see. Now that almost everyone has moved on, the castle is no longer the nightmarish place it once was. The new owners don't fixate on the castle's deadly myths, but instead embrace the entirety of the castle's rich history, the bad and the good. Although Castle Finster has seen its share of tragedy, it has also enjoyed many years of peace and happiness. Now the castle's residents no longer hide behind locked doors in fear of a mythical monster. From what I hear, Der Ungeheuerlichkeit Nacht Festival has been cancelled and replaced with a Finster Festival, a celebration of all the wonderful and unique things that have happened within the walls of the castle. That sounds like more fun, and it's easier to say. Last I heard, my luggage was in Moldova. Hopefully it will find its way back to River Heights before too long. As for me, I'm finally coming home. I can't wait to get back. Love, Nancy. Oh God, the were you paying attention test. They're really old. That sounds like the buzzer of correct. <laughs> there we go, we didn't even get half of the achievements here. Security guard, probably for turning on all the cameras. Checking out everywhere underground. Finding that Easter egg. Lost artifact? I don't know what that was. And, yeah, overuse the, the alarm stuff. What did I not get? I didn't uh, buy everything. The well content. Oh, right. If, I suppose if you fish in the well often enough, you'll get that. The fallen euros. This movie, if you find all of the dosh. Hmm. Strange that I didn't get this. I fed the old lady all the kinds of food. I definitely didn't play a raid. Oof, oof. Keep me keep me away. I'm returning home to River Heights to compete in the annual clues challenge with Bess, George, and Ned. But when the competition spirals out of control and River Heights' beloved old town hall is burned to the ground, 
I find myself the prime suspect in a high-profile arson case. It's up to me to clear my name before I'm forever known as River Heights Public Enemy Number One. Join me on my next adventure, Alibi in Ashes. Oh man, the Nancy Arson Spree game is really, really good, except that it just handles so badly. Because you're constantly jumping between characters and you manually got to do that every time you want to switch and check something. You go to your phone, you go to the character, you select them, they have a little quip for you, then you start playing as them. Whoa. Not that I've played it, but I could feel the burn as our very own Doc Spangler was playing through it. You can force feed Bess obscene amounts of ice cream though, if that's what you're into. Okay, whew. Well, I got my butt thoroughly caned by this game, taking eight hours to beat it. I reckon two and a half to three of those were just being locked behind not rooting through the old lady's handbag enough. But such is the nature of the beast when you're dealing with Nancy Drew games, and to that I say... May someone who has actually played Nancy Drew and not found themselves in a similar situation throw the first stone. If you haven't tried it, it's worth a go. Anyway, I don't think I'll be touching Nancy Drew again for a fair while, but I do want to play more of these esque games, and I've got my eyes on Laura Bow. But more so, I've got my eyes on bed. It's already tomorrow. I am starving, but I'll deal with that in the morning. Hey, maybe if the Austrians can recommend some uh, good thing to try around here, I'll give that a go. In any case, I'm going to do probably some more castle exploring tomorrow. Don't know if there'll be a stream, probably not with the gash internet we have here. We'll see what the internet's like in the next place. But until I am back, for me, it is cheers. And from Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys and Ned Nickerson, and that weird Marcus character, a cheerio. Drew. What is your quest? My quest? What is your favorite color? Can I talk to someone else about coming in? No! The monster is in the castle. Here at Castle Finster, we aim to provide a first-class clobbering experience. Your monster attack may be monitored for training purposes. is in the security booth. Please hold. Was a little creepy. Back for more, are you? All right, cut, cut. What's the deal here? Doesn't this guy know his part? Stay out. The monster has broken my boombox. I fear for the worst. <laughs> 